I'm not. I'm not ready. <laughs> oh crap! He walked out. Welcome everybody to Towers and Guns episode eighty-five. <laughs> we are here. We are live, and we are happy to see you. And uh, yeah, if you don't know what Towers and Gods is, it's Tower of God in D and D. I'm joined by my amazing cast. Here we have Isaiah as Kun Jong Se. I didn't have anything planned. Cool. We have uh, Milios as Brack. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Shoutouts to the Game Awards, you know, beautiful hey. showcase. We got it. We got a release date for Black Myth Wukong. You know the greatest thing, Team Cherry. I'm on your head. Just, just know that. I believe you're real, <laughs> but I'm on your head. Just give them time. Just want you to know that. Strongly worded letter is coming in your direction, but yeah. Ooh. Next year, for it, sure. The One Piece is real. That's what you said, right? <laughs> Yabba dabba. <laughs> oh, they ain't lying, brother. Oh, they ain't lying. <laughs> Speaking of which, we have Sun Wu as Wu. I'm just gonna steal that. Yeah, I, if I'm not that, look, anybody that's been asked me where I've been at, there's a long explanation for all that. But if I am not streaming by the time Black Myth comes out, best believe I will be there that day, day one. Let's go, all of you, Let's be go. there in August on Sun Wu's Twitch channel. Oh, yeah, Twitch or YouTube? I don't even know. Okay, <laughs> well, <laughs> go to both. <laughs> go to all of them. <laughs> you can dual stream on certain platforms. That's true. You can do it both. Website. It'll be, it'll <laughs> be there. New platform you've never seen before, dude. <laughs> okay, let's go. Let's go. The Sun Wu streaming service. Uh, we have Hannah as Eden. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the stream. My cohort, my non cameraless cohort is back. All is right in the world. Let's go. And. We're here tonight to talk about Cristiano Ronaldo. Take it away, other Joe. Cristiano Ronaldo is perhaps one of the greatest athletes of the entire century. He is so perfectly muscular. He is the perfect athlete. He's able to do incredible feats. Pause. That's not what I'm here to talk about. Pause, pause, pause. <laughs> um, what? <laughs> Hello and welcome. Wait, Hello, Hello welcome, and, my friend. Be towers and gods. <laughs> well, that's beautiful. That's beautiful. Uh, so there we go. Jo Other Joey's back. You all don't have to blame me for, uh, for, for you know, acting out of character as Damien. The boy is back to take the reins, which means he had a good fishing trip. Joe, how come you used an AI to synthesize my voice into saying those things at the beginning about Towers and Gods Plus, by the way, at the very start? We would never do that. I would never do that. Listen, I am pro voice Cause, actors, okay? Because I because I would never, ever say those words, ever. And there's no evidence to say otherwise. <laughs> of course, of course. For well, sure, for sure. You yes, might, you might need to get his trailer back, bro. You might need to get his trailer back. We'll talk. And if you show me evidence, I will delete it and ignore it entirely. <laughs> because I know... But it is my God-given right to be correct. Okay. Well, there. Well, <laughs> other Joe is back. You know, everything is right yeah. in the world again. Um, we have some go. super chats I want to read out. Just a few here. One from Sonic Gold that says, Sonic Fact in 2005, Shadows the Hedgehog. There are multiple different story paths you can go down. Uh, good, evil, and neutral. In the evil path, Shadow must assassinate the President of the United States. Isn't that interesting? And we don't condone that on this stream. Of course we at don't. All. That is in the because, Sonic game. Oh my gosh, I can't that, believe you two let that through. Uh, that is a Sonic game that has nothing to do with us. So there we go. Oh my they gosh. Really we're good to go. Doing that though? That's crazy. That's how we're starting out, huh? Assassinating the president of the United States. Let's no, not, yeah, let's not, uh, no, uh, no. You know, it's in a Sonic game. We don't want to condone. Sure. That's just, just don't be like terrible. Shadow, kid. Don't, don't be, be like, like Shadow. Shadow. That's a horrible thing to do. Not, yeah. Moving horrible. on to Raphael. Raphael, spoiler from recent chapters, uh, has Wu. So, okay, spoilers for some Towers and God stuff. Or, sorry, Tower of God. Has Wu been inside the Lopobia Aquarium? And what are his thoughts? I don't want to answer your question. I appreciate it just because I don't want to spoil people that may not mm. be up to that point. But um, let's just say he's he's been around. Okay. Well, there we go. Well, there we go. Take that as you will. Uh, Najinrin saying, still catching up, <laughs> dropping by to show my support. That's so cool. Thank Aww. you so much. Shout out to you. Uh, thank you for the generous donation. Um, I saw yeah. someone earlier say the same thing. Nicholas, <laughs> I believe. So shout out to uh, everybody who's catching up. That's so cool. And then Najinrin also said, okay, other Joe, but does he have a World Cup? Oh, no. Ooh, true, true. Ooh. You see, the thing is, I, I will praise Cristiano Ronaldo, but I also love to clown on him, too. You know, <laughs> And then he just doesn't win. 
Got it. Look, in the games, he's you beautiful. Know? As a sculpture and a trophy holder, maybe not so much. He's a, he's a chiseled, beautiful man. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. You know? And he has everything going for him. So, you know, if, if, if you want to hate on him, <laughs> not winning anything. You're cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're not like a defender <laughs> to the extreme. You're like, I see. So nice. It's 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 totally that's fair. Fun. That's fair. Also, OBS totally said we disconnected, but we're back. We're good. I don't know <gasps> how much we lost, but we're good. We're fine. Could you imagine five minutes in? We're good. Everything's fine. And then Matt eighty seven Eagle says the one. Oh, I'm not reading that out. Hold on. The one true Joe is back. Yes, and he's in the upper left hand corner. He looks Man, beautiful. Joe. He's wearing a blue shirt. Wow, thank you. He's, he's oh back. God. So yeah. How, how do they? How do they know I say that to you in real life? That's crazy. <laughs> exactly. exactly. I don't think we keep it a secret. To be honest, to be fair. Doctor <laughs> Joe has that. a PhD title. Okay, people. It's true. He's a doctor. Just, he's a doctor. Just, okay. But other That's Joe, right. I, I, don't know. I got my medical license revoked, so I can't go by. <laughs> oh no, more lore. <laughs> Add it to the list. Uh, Najiran also said other Joe is objectively correct. Let's go. Okay. Well, there we go. About about what though? Christiana Getting Ronaldo your medical problem. license. No. I don't think that. I don't think it was about that. <laughs> Something tells me it wasn't about what that. Oh, but thank you all so much for your generous donations, generous super chats. Uh, Really appreciate that. And um, yeah, if you want to support the series even further, leave a like on the stream. Uh, we really appreciate that. And um, yeah, it's going to be a doozy. So I think we should dive on in as soon as we can. Uh, any other quick thoughts from people? It's going to go. be a doozy. That's what you said? I said it's going to uh -uh. be a doozy. Uh, that's what I heard. I, I'm just... <laughs> He's Why are you prefacing it like that, bro? <laughs> what are you trying uh, to do out here? Yeah, can, can you define doozy for me? I'm, I'm not... I, I, I saw that message you put uh, in the Discord. Brother. That actually does remind me. Uh, just because this is sort of more or less the finale of the of the saga that we've been on for quite a while now, um, if people would be careful not to read the comments potentially, just just be, you're, you've been warned, right? You've been warned about comments and about the Discord chatting. Just, you know, be warned. Nah, uh, the last time you said this, it doesn't, I didn't have a good week. It's just, it's just, oh, okay. That's also okay. true. Listen, that was a very particular <laughs> example of a reveal, okay? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I didn't okay. want to get ruined, but uh, right, anyway. Right. Just, brace the yourself, Oxford, just brace yourself. Hey, go ahead. The everybody. Oxford Dictionary defines doozy, mm -hmm. D-O-O-Z-Y, as informal North American language. And it is it means something outstanding or unique of its kind. Unique. To, exactly. use it, to use in a sentence, quote, it's going to be a doozy of a black eye. Oh, that's a very weird example, <laughs> but okay. That. That's a strange <laughs> really? example yeah. of, of doozy. That's what they had. Oh. That's what the Oxford Dictionary weird. has. It makes sense. <laughs> Does it? <laughs> I know, I get, I get it. No, yeah. All right. But wait, I never, right. I, never, I never looked up doozy ever in my whole life, so I was like, what is that? Uh, okay, you know? You were genuinely confused. That's fair. Well, now that we're all on the same page, we're going to go ahead and get started with the episode. As a very brief recap, we did Brax Purification last episode, which was a short and simple purification. We got to see some <laughs> some history regarding some of our NPC characters. We got to uh, relive a couple of the islands from uh, King of the Sea. And we ended with collecting these three fragments that allowed us to exit the purification and see... The Duke of Bones, who is standing uh, almost on an invisible bridge in the middle of this pink, pinkish cloud arena um, that you've seen many times at this point. Uh, you, you can tell that the, the mood of this arena is getting more and more somber, down, depressing, <clears throat> and uh, it's being reflected by the sort of darkening of the skies uh, very, very slowly. And uh, yeah, we're going to pick up there. So... I'll just do something like this. Uh, all, I believe, nine of you are standing across from the Duke, who is probably about a good 20 feet away from you at this point. I had run up and hug him, but I'll no, back thank away. You. Yeah, 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 sure. You're, you're, you're closer than everybody else, yeah. And he's, uh, he's standing there. He has his arms at his side, and his face is expressionless. You can't tell if he's sad but he's definitely, he doesn't have the usual scowl, the usual, you know, personality that he displays 24-7. He uh, appears to have been through a lot since you last saw him. I'm the man. Go. 
to him. You're gonna hug him? I'm also here, by the way. No, I'm saying go, go to him, Eden. Oh, okay. I already, I already did. I hugged him, and he was like, I did these things. So, what did you figure out? Everything. I remember everything. Okay. I'm not the then Duke of Bones. We... I'm the Archduke. I was born 2,000 years ago. And I was reborn as Data so I could fulfill a mission that I failed all those years ago. My treasure, and he looks at you sincerely, was to fulfill my purpose. To complete this spell that I had cast and erase this mirror from existence. At the cost of you. He doesn't respond. So, if you're just data, does that mean your teammates are also data? He smiles a little bit, in like a sad smile. We didn't used to be. But ever since that day, when we made that mistake inside of the hidden floor. He looks at you. Normally we can't say that word, but inside this mirror, it's allowed. I specialize in alternate planes of existence. Some people don't think they exist. I disagree. Call them parallel universes, alternate timelines, or maybe just other worlds that exist within the tower. And I wanted to find out for myself if it was real. So I gathered a team and, uh, We made a mistake. It cost us our real bodies. And now, we gotta fix it. Okay, well, Hans walks up. We'll help you fix it, boss, and then we'll, we'll all go back and get the rest of the guys together. And Ryobi just starts nodding. You can't come back, can you? It is at your cost. <laughs> I understand why you might care, Aki. After all, we've known each other for so long, but uh, he looks at everybody else. I'm sure you all won't miss me, huh? While you've been walking around without your memory, your team's been here, cleaning up this train, desperately trying to finish the mission you all started. And they've been here a long time, Duke. They mean to die to get out of this. And I'm prepared to give that to them if it puts them the rest. Can you say the same? That's awfully sweet of you. Jung. It was five of us. Five bodies of data that were required to seal the mirror. An incomplete spell. But enough to stall the inevitable. And so, and he looks at you seriously, right in the eyes, it'll be the five of us that finishes this. Duke. What happens if... fail? <laughs> and it was all for nothing. This... calling that I've felt ever since I was born. 
this feeling burning in my breast. It will have amounted to nothing. Maybe the tower will crumble. Maybe we'll all just die. And that'll be that. So let's not fail. So, for you all to succeed, the mirror, and I suppose with it the mirror world, also has to go. Am I correct in that assumption? He steps forward a little bit, just kind of like walking on the air. And then, almost like he's he has complete control, he's remembered everything, he just kind of swipes with his hand and all around you the clouds kind of dissipate almost as if you're looking into a memory bubble or something except a flat screen kind of surrounding you don't worry i won't take too much of your time i just feel like i should explain this thoroughly so as you all probably know i'm the sage you're looking for i've gone by many names Eventually, my studies earned me a simple title. <laughs> Looking back, it's kind of pompous. Everybody called me Duke. The Archduke, to be specific. They called me the Archduke of Knowledge. I gained a bit of a cult following, even met with a couple people from the Pobedao family. But... Overall, I wasn't even a regular. I'd never entered the tower. I'd never been able to prove any of my theories. They were just fun to toss around and talk about. And you, you look on the screen and you can see this like city coming into view. And eventually, even more than that, it's a uh, like a room, like an office space, like a room that uh, features a bunch of people around a table holding some kind of a meeting. Let me... And you can see the Archduke. All right, everyone. And he puts his hand on the table. I've officially decided. I'm going to enter the tower. And everybody, like, stops what they're doing. One dude's coffee, like, starts to fall to the ground. Someone drops a pin and can be heard around the room. Duke, what are you... No, no, no. You can't convince me out of this. You can't talk me out of this. I'm going to prove my theories myself. What do you think? Anybody with me? And they're all, like, looking around. You can tell they're very nervous. One person slowly raises their hand. You can speak. Aren't you, uh... If you little... Um... Old? To be entering the tower? Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, come on! I'm spry as I was 130 years ago! And they're, they're, they still look a little unsure. Doesn't matter to me if I finish my climb. I just want to see what's out there. I want to see if this, and he like slaps a bunch of papers, is reality. No one? And they're all just like looking around at their desks and such. Understandable. Well, he starts to walk out of the room. I don't know if we'll see each other again. He turns around, but thanks for everything. And he starts to leave the room. Uh, Archduke! And the door shuts. And he starts walking down the stairs. Whistling. He doesn't seem to be phased at all. He seemed to be maybe even expecting such a reaction. But then uh, he stops. He turns around. How long are you planning on listening in? He turns around. I know you're there. And a man kind of walks around the corner wearing a business suit. Impressive. Maybe you do have what it takes to climb the tower. And he reaches out his hand to shake the Archduke's. Poja. And he shakes his hand back. You can call me Duke. Want to grab a bite? And then you see the two of them at a diner, eating lunch, and then the Duke who's standing next to all of you continues to explain. That was the first time I met my teammate. He claimed to be a descendant of the people who built the Hell Train. As one of the destinations I meant to explore, he was the perfect companion. And he's also the one who introduced me to him. 
and you see Lucius take a seat next to Poja and hold out his hand. Lucius Pesuvius Telenor. And he shakes his hand. Hmm. If we're going to make this venture work, I think we're going to need more teammates. Know anybody who's good in a fight? And Lucius looks over at Poja and smiles. I know just the ones. And then time kind of fast forwards a bit. I met Growler and Bridget. And the five of us, we... We became quite the team. Maybe a little eccentric, perhaps, but... Uh, with these people by my side, I was able to achieve... So much. At the time, I didn't have many sponsors. People saw me as little more than a... Little more than a traveling member of a circus. Someone who could show their tricks and their wacky ideas, but nobody ever took me seriously. And then one day, I, before I started my climb, years before all this, I, I adopted a kid. And you can see on screen, uh, on the big old screen around you, maybe in the middle of the preparations that this team has been making, kind of years of making sure they have everything, the Archduke walking past a child, pouring rain in an alleyway, him reaching down, holding out his hand. That child became my son. His name was Ten. That child would someday raise me. <sighs> anyway, we eventually found the Hell Train after passing through many tests, many trials, many good times. And you can see the team go from taking tests to traveling through floors and overall managing to fight with each other and stay together and Climb from floor two all the way to uh, floor 35 as a team. And right before they board the train, uh, Bridget says, ho ho Hold on! Why don't we take a photo? A photo? Why? Well, to commemorate our adventure together, we've already made it to our destination. We've got to be one of the fastest teams in the tower. I suppose it couldn't hurt. And they all start to kind of gather around. Um, Bridget, why aren't you just using your observer? Because real film is always the way to go. And she starts like laughing and uh, Lucius is kind of overlooking them, almost as perhaps a pseudo leader of them alongside the Duke. And that's when we entered the train. And that's when everything went wrong. When we entered the hidden floor after clearing the train. And then the Duke who's standing beside all of you, he uh, turns to look to his side and you can hear footsteps as in front of all of you, not on screen, Lucius walks forward. We made a mistake. And he looks at Duke and we betrayed you. You see, my real purpose for wanting to board this train was, and he looks at you, Jong, my wife. She was a regular who I met while I was working a simple job. She died soon after leaving the hell train. And once I heard of the hidden floor, I knew if there was even a chance I could see her again, I would take it. And then Poja walks up beside the Duke. They were all people that I had hired. People that I knew. I knew Lucius's plan. We all did. And when we entered, while the Archduke was busy conducting his research, I interfered with the data 
of the hidden floor. I interfered, causing a malfunction within the mirror. And you can see on screen, the giant scales start clanging, error, 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 over and over again, over and over again as they're wildly looking around. And we were wiped from existence, deleted. And then Bridget slowly flies over. That was the last day our real bodies were alive. But the error that was caused did more than just delete us. It cloned the mirror. And then Growler crawls forward. The mirror at the end became not one, but two. And with us as data within that copy, And I'm pretty sure you all know what happened next. If the memory served, and he points at Hans. We encountered a family head. And the fear that this malfunctioning, filled with errors family head put into us made us realize. If this mirror continues to copy its inhabitants or worse, if it rejoins with the mirror at the end, it will create an infinite series of copies. Destroying not only the train, but everything we know. And so in my weakened state, I cast a spell. A spell that I had secretly learned while at the academy. I was weakened, and all I could do was bind the mirror to the five of us. And he looks around. The five of us became the vessels that would house a continuous error. Each of us holds an error within our bodies. As long as these errors existed, the mirror would not remember its true purpose the mirror could be controlled and the mirror would no longer clone those that lived within it. It wouldn't seek out its partner, its twin. And to do this, the Archduke sacrificed himself. But then he looks at Duke and Lonnie says, yeah, but why is he still here? <sighs> 50 years ago, just 50 years ago, my past self, he, he set up a deal with Ten, his son. You see, and he looks at the other four beside him, he, and then he stops himself. I knew. I knew Lucius and Poja and the others were only going to try something dangerous within the mirror. <laughs> and he smirks. Call it the mad scientist in me or whatever. But I let it go. Maybe because I was curious. Or maybe because I didn't want to believe it. But the Archduke, he set up a safeguard. I don't know the specifics, and I'm still trying to work it out. But he somehow knew that at a certain time, a cloned copy of me would be born on the train. All I know is that I was found by Ten, given to him after I was discovered on the train as a baby. And he raised me, telling me that I had some grand purpose. And you can see on the screen around you that the shot of the Archduke raising 10 switches to 10 raising Duke. He told me, 
I could find my purpose, my treasure, he called it so many things, on this train. I was so excited. But now that I know, it's not disappointing, it's just, I don't know. That's the gist of it. So then you're wondering what's the next step. The next step involves the five of you. He looks at Jong. Brack, Damien, Eden, Wu. That's me. The purifications served two purposes. Even though the mirror's memories were sealed away, it still felt an eternal loneliness. It didn't know why, but instinctually, these purifications, they, they served as a way to sever the seal that I placed upon the mirror. This is why we've killed every regular who tried to enter it. Essentially, by going through with these purifications, you've been afflicted with code, and he points to the five of you. This code can overwrite the code that I placed with my spell. And with Brax purification being complete, your five purifications counter the five errors that were binding it ever since hundreds of years ago. Even as we speak, the mirror right now is trying to join with its twin. It knows everything now. The sooner we act, the sooner we can prevent tragedy. Uh, what action do you recommend? I have to finish the spell. Partially start over, partially use the base that I created. But instead of a seal, do what it was always intended to do. Erase its existence. Unlike the mirror at the end, this mirror is data. Data that can be manipulated. Data that's existed in the outside world, just like the five of us. This train allowed it to happen. And he looks at Poja. This train that's almost more alive than us all. There's one way out of this. All hope isn't lost. If I'm to recast the spell, and he looks at you five, you'll need to purify us. You'll need to get rid of these errors that exist, this code that's within our body. If you think of it like a computer, you have admin privileges that can override our errors. And once you do, I can restart the spell. That's the only plan we have. Of course, we'll still, once we're purified, the spell will still require five purified individuals. And so he looks around at the five of them. We'll do what we were meant to do ever since we started this mess. So you being this, this sage, I suppose I should ask you, what exactly are the sage relics? That was a question that I hadn't quite understood. 
I'm still not entirely sure. My guess would be... Knowledge that only I could possess. You want to enter some kind of plane, right? That's right. Which plane is it? The demonic plane. Hmm. I've heard of these demons, and I've heard they exist in a void. I've done research into it as well. Theoretically, the... The same principles behind entering the hidden floor and manipulating it should be similar, at least at its very foundation, considering they're both alternate worlds, one with data and one without. And he looks back. I promise you. Once we finish and erase this mirror, I'll give you the knowledge you seek. I'm going to need some sort of contingency on that. I agree. Contingency, how so? Collateral, Archduke. Collateral. I can't be sure that you'll hold up your end of the bargain. Or that you don't die before we get the knowledge. <laughs> I understand. What kind of collateral would you require? Can only overwrite the code with each one of us having been imprinted upon, right? You give us the knowledge when the last step is in place. Understood. I promise I won't cast a spell until you have what you seek. Blue reaches out his hand to him. He shakes your hand and he lacks strength. It's really just like a simple shake. Done. And before he lets go, he does say, I am sorry, though. I really am. Don't be. I found my treasure. Also, back to my question before that slideshow. So destroying this copy of the mirror will effectively get rid of the clone, but it won't destroy the original mirror, correct? That's right. The original mirror exists entirely separate. Good. All right, then. Let's do this. No, let's not do this. Han steps forward. There's got to be another way out of this. Right? Damien, come on. You always have the good ideas. Don't you have a way out? we could get out of this without... Hmm? Do you know something that I don't? You, you normally... You normally have some idea. Hmm. I have plans, but nothing really applies. I don't know what to do. Don't worry, Duke. I don't care what you're saying right now. <laughs> I know you'll come back to us, and you'll get out of this just fine. I know you. You've never let us down before. But Hans just lowers his head. And are you satisfied with that, Duke? Lonnie walks forward. Are you satisfied with this treasure that's been forced onto you? I think so. My whole life, this is all I've wanted. <laughs> and if it means... If it means... <sighs> this isn't gonna sound like the guy you know at all. It means doing the right thing. 
We gotta do what we gotta do. The five of us, once we're purified by you, will be the five purified that stand in, complete this spell. And that'll be the end of it. To purify us, it'll be dangerous. Up until now, the mirror is the one that's been purifying you, but the mirror doesn't want to purify us. You'll have to spread your code to us by essentially bringing us to the verge of death. We're going to open ourselves up to the Hell Train's influence, like you've seen before with Bridget and the others. And once you defeat us, your data should theoretically enter our bodies. Mm. And you're sure you're going to fade away after this, Duke? I mean, you've existed outside of the train already. Why do you think you'll disappear with the rest of them? But we've existed outside the tr well, not outside the train. That's true. She looks at Duke. <laughs> I could exist outside the train. I can. I'm not sure for how long I was alive for 50 years. I'm not sure if it makes me different from these guys or what, but... <sighs> the spell needs five bodies of data that contain that purified essence. So I can recast the spell, all of us in position, and we'll complete it. If it only required four or three, sure, maybe me or Growler, we could probably exist outside the train for who knows how long. But you don't believe it would be for very long? I really don't know. I... I existed... for years. Maybe I could just live as an ordinary person. But Damien, I've accepted this. It's okay. I mean, the memories that you remember have accepted this. Do you accept this? If you had never got your memories back, would you have been able to accept it? All I know is that all I've ever known is that I need to find my purpose on this train. And so, well. I found it. I've got nothing else to live for. Mm -hmm. Well, if I find anything else, if we discover more, we may alter the plan, but what you say is true. We'll carry it out to the best of team recall ability. We have varying results on these kind of things, you must understand. You all are... I trust you all. That's... I Chilling, just, almost. I, I told you I'm not in my right mind. <laughs> it's a little bit strange. Should... Try being more of the Duke of Bones. What? I mean, that's the life you were living until now, right? You want me to go back to being a sarcastic asshole? Yeah, why not? I'll try my best. Despite the situations being as they are. Thanks, Damien. I appreciate that, actually. But don't worry. Any, any time? Once you Question purify us... 
once you purify us, we can make any goodbyes. And he walks to join the other four that are there. What if we use our code to overwrite the mirror? If the mirror's in error, can't we turn it in on itself? The problem is, without the spell that requires the bodies of data becoming one with this erasure, I think it's simply too much for your bodies to handle. Well, some organization considers us gods. They're the ones that sent us on this wild goose chase anyway. Did you know of somebody named Tearseth? He was loosely affiliated with the workshop, and the workshop's loosely affiliated with Pope at Augustang. I met a kid once. Said his name was Seth. He expressed okay. some interest in my research. How long ago? That would have been 2,000 years ago. Say anything noteworthy? Why he would want to fix your mistake before you even made it? It was a brief encounter. I only remember because the kid seemed wise and smart beyond his years. He... He simply it's encouraged me. Takes. He encouraged you. He did. Did he know about your plane shifting ability? That's not an ability, Aki. It's just some knowledge that I've managed to conjure up over the years. I don't know if he knew. I'm not sure how much he knew. And then the mirror kind of <clears throat> like flickers for a minute. I think we should get started. Are you really happy with this Duke? Is this really something here? I'm okay with it. Like I've told Damien and you. I mean, really think about it. Don't even worry about all that knowledge you had in your brain before. If I don't do this, I'll lose my very reason for living. Well, I'd rather you... You've had a new life, Duke. What is the alternative? Hans and Ryobe are still here. You gave them purpose. What she said. I mean, you know, look how much they look up to you. You wouldn't really leave us, would you? <laughs> we gotta get the boys back together. We gotta go on adventures and... See new sights. I don't know. I'd even enter another mirror if it was with you. Please. I made my decision and part of me scared, scared to lose this drive that I've had all my life. But what's more important than that And he looks at Lucius and the others. We're the ones that made this mistake. If five are required, we'll fulfill that objective. All I ask is that you fulfill your goal. Could you do that for me? Not for me. <laughs> for the tower and all the people within it.
I'll take that yes. as a yes. <sighs> Let's go. This might not be easy. But I believe you all can do this. Let's do it. Wait. We will. His eyes soften when he looks at Iwaki. Thank you. And he walks forward. She'll fall in line behind him like she did when she was a bodyguard. Shion and Han, or Shion and Hugo are a bit more just silent throughout all this. Lonnie is going to pull you aside for a second, Damien. Hmm? Yes? I feel so bad for the Duke. Well, who knows what's going to happen to him. He exists in our world and this one. But anybody it's who's erased difficult. inside of here doesn't make it back outside. I mean, he's been outside the train before. But the current plan that we have is not looking so good for the Duke. I need more information to come up with any sort of game-breaking play. Let's, uh, you know, let's, we should continue on. We're gonna, we'll probably learn more as we, uh, go along. Damien? Mm hmm What? What's up? Are you ready to do what's right for your team? For our team? Always. Okay. Then I'll trust you. Let's do this. Lead and I'll follow. And Duke leads everybody further into just slowly walking with every step he looks around, knowing, just taking everything in as he walks further inside. And then a room starts to like form beneath you, a floor, a floor and walls. I, I, did, I didn't check in. Is Brack just kind of going along with everything, not saying anything? I, He's just following the law. Sure. Like at the back of the pack. Okay, the back of the pack. Got it. Kind of looking over everyone. A room starts to take shape around you. It almost seems as if it's a room of the Hell Train, but the ceiling, there's no ceiling, right? So you can still see the, uh, the sky all around you as it gets darker and darker. I want to investigate the room. <laughs> Please do. Wait, I mean perceive. Oh, damn it. <laughs> I should have said, I want to perceive the room. It's, it's okay. Investigate works, you know? You see, the reason is my perception is much higher, 10. I understand. I understand. Um, you, you're able to kind of notice a couple things about the room, just to kind of that jump out at you. There's a couple pillars that, that form up out of the ground. Um, and you notice, too, that it's, it's Duke and Poja that are kind of helping create this space. Um, and there's also a couple of uh, stairs, like a couple flights of stairs that lead up to a higher vantage point, kind of up up off the uh, up off of the ground. And the rest of the Lucia squad, where what are they up to? They're all they... like in a line with Duke um, oh. at the end of this room. Okay. Anything uh, you know? It's like you guys want to tell me about these cool pillars? Anything about these uh, you know special at all? It's our way of giving you an advantage during the upcoming fight. Interesting. You so it will give us an advantage. Potentially. Use it as you Which see fit. Which means the pillars. The pillars could be the key to the mechanic of the next fight. Hmm, yes. <laughs> Perfect. You seem as well some, done, You seem like someone who's <laughs> I've done this kind of thing before. Mm-hmm. Uh, yes. In a very famous... Uh, video game that I play a bunch. Hmm. I would have liked to hear more. 
I mean, I could talk about it all day, but I mean, we have things to do. Right. But uh, you know, I played all the way to the you know the the Walkender expansion, and it was really good. If <laughs> I never mind, I, uh, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah, settle down, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna stretch that out. Final Tower C14. Listen, the pillars. A massively <laughs> online multiplayer in the tower. It has great, great support. Um, and it's ongoing. And uh, eventually, it's, it's free to play. <laughs> okay, to all right. All right. <laughs> <laughs> getting get back, getting in. back on track. We're not sponsored by Bloodstorm or, or whatever. Um, I mean, some people. You're sponsored by Team Bloodstorm. I guess that's kind of true. Oh my god, and it all comes full circle. Um, there's a bit of a distance between you all and then the Duke and them kind of make a distance between you and them. There's a distance? Like, is it like a big, big As distance? in, like, they don't want to be like next to you. Your... They don't want to be next to you uh, at the moment. Like, let me, let me check on the map here. Uh, there's like, I don't know. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right. I think I'm going to loosely spread away from, uh, you know, just, just, you know, maybe a couple meters away okay. from, from the person. Maybe, uh -huh. you know, veer on to the left, you know? You know what we can do? You know, you know what we'll do, actually? I didn't really plan on it, but this makes a lot of sense. I'm going to bring you to this place on roll 20, okay? All and right, cool. I would like you to choose your starting position. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, who's going to yell to the entirety of, of, of their team, though? Mm -hmm. Just... I just want to confirm. I want to be two spaces away from everyone. I just yeah. want to confirm. Right. I don't want to take any splash damage. You're not going to take this line down, right? Oh, ho, ho. even if the train didn't take us over, we wouldn't go down without a fight. You're not going to really kill us anyway. You're just kind of spreading your purified data. The only reason such a thing is possible is because of the current state of the mirror, without the spell in place. But no. Stop making excuses. I asked you a question. You're not going to take this line down, right? Do you want us to? Do you want to? I want to save the world. <laughs> if that meant taking this lying down, then sure. Well... Let's just say you're not going to get the best out of me if I don't get the best out of you. Don't you worry, Mr. Wu. We will be fighting with as much force as we can muster. That's all I need to hear. Does everybody have their starting placements on the map? I have question. Uh, yeah. uh -huh. Question time, Hello what's up? Pillars and whatnot, how tall and how easily obtainable are they mm -hmm. to get on top of? Very good question. Such? Very good question. So uh, this one's taller, the one on the right here, and I'll show it to people watching in a sec. But the pillar on the right here, I'm going to say it's a good like 30 feet off the ground, so it's pretty high up. Okay. This one is more like maybe 10 feet off the ground, 15, uh -huh. 10 to 15. We'll say like 12, like 30 and 12. Mm -hmm. And then these are just like standard pillars that are in place. Okay. Can Same. we spend our time climbing up on yep. things before everything starts? Okay. Yeah, they want you to be prepared. All right. I will get up on this one. Okay. Sounds good. Who's going to go talk to Brack real quick? You good? I'm feeling fantastic. Really? Never better. I mean, I get the punch to Duke in the face. <laughs> okay. Hugo walks up next to the two of you. Doesn't really matter. We just gotta win, right? Let's win. Fair enough. And then Shion walks over to you, Jong. You good? 
Yeah. Just, uh, getting ready to do what needs to be done. How about you? I know you might think this is weird, but... In some weird way, the Duke's kind of grown on me. It's gonna be... Sad seeing him go, but I'm not gonna hold back. Well, think of it this way. If it wasn't for the Duke and his spell, he and his friends wouldn't have been trapped here for so long. This clone of the mirror wouldn't exist. They made this mess. It's time they help set it right. Whatever it takes. Whatever it takes. Hans, reobey. You don't have to participate in this. Oh. Really? Then yeah, I'll go. Uh, I'll go sit. No, we're gonna participate because we're not leaving without him. And you see like a big smile grow on Wu's face. <laughs> By all means, then. <laughs> all right, Team Recall. Team Lucius. He looks back. Let's go. And each one of them takes a big breath in and a big exhale out. And they close their eyes with their hands in the air, their palms upwards in a very vulnerable position. And then Duke leans forward. <laughs> and he clutches his head. And then Bridget starts to twist like you've seen her do before. <laughs> and then Growler and Poja, Lucius, all five of them, they scream out into the void. And there's like this burst of power you feel from the five of them. Similar to the power you felt when you inhabited their bodies for a time through Breck. <sighs> and through the yells and through the screams, Lucius says, We gave this mirror a consciousness. It's our fault for all of this. Now those of you who've been purified, purify us! And he like cracks his whip. And I'll show the map here on roll 20. Okay, I need everybody to roll initiative, please. It's gaming time. 14. And I game all over them. Six. Whoa, whoa. It's a lot of okay. games. Other Joe, relax, relax. We just started. <laughs> Alrighty. Uh, yo, are we using this new system in this new battle? We sure are. So I should probably explain this for the people watching. We're making a transition uh, to a new system of techniques. We're no longer using TP and SP. We're translating it back into a traditional D&D style. Uh, we're calling them technique slots. So every character has level one, two, three, etc. technique slots that they can expend to use techniques. We're going, we're giving this a shot. So there you go. That's the rundown. Okay. Let me pull this up. I'll do it on my end first. This may take just a moment. Because I, I got a lot of NPCs. I probably should have done this before. All right, we got this. Oh, wowee. Someone got a nat 20. But was it an ally NPC or an enemy NPC? Hmm. Without luck, enemy. Aren't they all enemies? Well, I uh, mean, uh, Shion no isn't an enemy. I mean, no, no, come no, no, on now. An NPC. <laughs> NPCs. Well, I think of them as player characters. Oh, right, that's, that's very sweet. That's very, very sweet. Okay, we got this. 
And we have this. 22. All right. What are the rolls? What do we got? Uh, John. Uh, 16. 16. Brack. Tree. Three? Yep. All right. Let's go. <laughs> Woo. <laughs> Woo. What do we got? It can't. It's a seven Eight. then, because we all have plus four to our initiative. What? I have plus three. What do you mean? But, uh, I didn't think about the initiative. Never mind. Y'all need your initiative. Initiative. I mean, I mean, well, initiative is based on dexterity, though. So everyone's is going to be different. Yeah. But oh. I didn't add one. Oh, I did not add my dexterity to it. I didn't add mine either. Six. Oh. Oh, it's a, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> well, I was gonna say, it can't be that yeah, low. Yeah, <laughs> at the very least, it can't be that low. All right, I woo. <laughs> woo, what's uh, your... 11. 11. Eden. 14. 14. All right, Damien. 6. Uh, Damien and Brack, what are your deck stats? Uh, plus 2. Plus, it should be. Actually, that that would make sense considering what just happened. Three. So, okay. Yeah. You have three. Plus three. Cool. All right. And then we got this. I imagine, like, <laughs> you know, like pencil tricks that you do if you do in your hand? Brack does it plus one faster than you mean. <laughs> just, yeah, just ever so slightly. You can flick the pencil faster just a little bit. Right. That makes sense. Oh, Brack, you're so good at this. <laughs> ah, I broke your spoon. What? I had a pen. Oh. Either way, it's All right. The first to go with the only nat 20 of the fight. Here we go, Bridget. Growler launches forward on all fours. His observer beside him, and he lunges at Jong. Okay. He's going for a claw attack, Jong. Uh, we're gonna do a circle parry, my boy. <laughs> we're just leading with the circle parry. All right. Damn Might as well. Would Why you mind not? telling me exactly what that's gonna do? Um. So yeah, I. Oh, I have it here actually. So you, you have to make a deck save. I see. Yep. Then, yeah. <laughs> like that, you didn't skip a beat. All right, let's go. So I gotta I mean, make a like deck save. Reaction, bro. I gotta be on my, my P's and Q's, you know? He, that is, that is like a, what, like a five or something? So, uh, I mean, some of that added bonuses, but he fails. So, there you go. Uh, Jong, you're able to, as Growler lunges towards you, whoosh, pull out your sword and parry his attack, and he kind of skirts around you, but does not land a blow against you. Okay. Next up is Broom. Duke. <sighs> and he's kind of back to a bit more of a snarky Duke. He kind of like smiles a bit. And he's going to hold out his hands. Brack, I need you to make an intelligence saving throw. Okay, you were muted, but yeah, seven. Okay. I, I I see that. Oh, that's the seven. Okay. Yep, you're good. <laughs> okay, so you feel this tingling sensation run up your spine, and your limbs start to move on their own. And in that moment, you pull out your harpoon and swing it at Hugo. Can you make an attack roll for me, Breck? Ha, uh, uh, Hugo, you gonna be safe, my boy. I promise. <laughs> Let's we see you get that nat twenty. We miss up. <laughs> Ain't that about a bitch? Yo, what? <laughs> it's not a nat 20. It's a 19, oh, no, though. It's like... Oh, no. <laughs> well, Hugo, is nice knowing you, kiddo. Oh, God. I mean, he definitely hits, but who knows? Maybe he, he, maybe he low rolls the damage. Hugo will name the first team dog after you, my boy. I promise. Okay. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, no. Uh, all right. Dan. Three plus uh, strength. Uh, seven. Seven damage to Hugo. All right. You swing the uh, the harpoon, and Hugo was not expecting it. You just splash into him. Blood spurts as he backs away. Brock. And then he glares. Hugo, at sever my spine. He got me. <laughs> oh, no. Just Whoa. take it out. <laughs> Cut it apart. Uh. Okay. Oh. Joe, What's up? I just want to make a 
small continuity thing. Um, so Jong doesn't have his sword on him. So the parry, let's just say, like, oh. he moved out the way of Growler's attack and kind of pushed him to the side. That's true. He doesn't have his yeah, sword yeah, on him. He does not have his sword okay, on him. Okay, so he yeah. just kind of, like, uses lightning to uh, deflect the blow? Is that what we're going with? Yeah, or I mean, like, just... Or his like, body. Do yeah, just dodge. Just with his then, body. Like, his momentum push him aside, yeah. All right, understood. My camera's super fuzzy. Sorry, guys. Okay, excellent. Brack, the tingling sensation does not go away. Okay, it is now Bridget's turn. Wow, we three of the three of the five are on the move. Bridget is gonna zip on over to you, Eden. You thought I'd let you have this vantage point? And she's gonna strike with her spear. <laughs> that is not a very good roll. I'm not gonna lie. That is five plus uh fourteen. That's armor class needs it beats it. Oh, okay. Wow, let's go, Bridget. Okay. So she just barely lands the blow on you. Let's see here. It's going to be 11 damage as she drives her spear, her giant lance, into you. And then she pulls it out and continues to zip around you like an annoying fly. A little bit bigger than a fly, though. Okay. Okay. This first round is going to be a little slower because I'm figuring out the initiative order. It's actually going to be Hans and Ryobe next, okay? The first to move on your side of the field, Hans and Ryobe. Let's go. Shout out. Let's see what they do. They don't even want to go, the poor things. So, so Hans... We're like, yeah, get we out there. Home, homie. We should have left them at home. Hans is going to run up the stairs. I'll save you, Aki! And he's going to slash with oh, his needle okay. at Bridget. He's going to hit the absolute legend. Uh, he's going to deal five damage to Bridget. He slashes out, and Bridget unfortunately gets one blow landed as she's zipping by. And you can see a little spark of blood uh, fly through the air. Yes! And he pumps his fist. Don't worry. I'll guard you, Aki, and then you fire your arrows. Um, now... On the flip side, Ryobe looks around at the field, looking at all the fighting happening. <laughs> and he's going to run into a corner. Ryobe! Buddy! No, no, let him be, let him be. That's where he can do the least amount of harm. <laughs> Look, he's he's go he's going to write, like, a fire stage play of this. It'll be great. Exactly. True. I believe in him. Write the epilogue. True. All right, John. The downfall of Team Recall. <laughs> <laughs> How the legendary team met their end. <laughs> Look, the fall of Team Recall has a ring to it, you know? We're not, not you guys are not on the same page. We're not falling. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not saying we're gonna lose. I just I just said that'd be bro, funny. They're like at our funeral. Funeral, what you talking about? <laughs> you guys want this man to have a, a blockbuster hit? That's what you want? <laughs> it's your turn, Jog. I want the best for my children. Uh, it's my, okay. I'm gonna use Bolt Trap. Alright. Hold on. Let me pull up the classic three, lightning three, token three, we always three. use for this. Um... Oh! oh! Perfect. Oh? Oh? Um, we're gonna put it square in the middle of these three boys. Right Alright. Yeah. Shooting it and through then, the ground. Hold on, hold on. Let, me, let, me, let me just double check. Oh yeah. I, see what, oh yeah. I see what you're doing. Oh, I see what you're doing. I see what you're doing. Um that is a Are you gonna bonus action detonate it early? Yes. Got yep, it. Yep, 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 yep. So one D ten plus your intelligence, my friend. Not I mean if you want to, we could do a little team up thing. If oh. you wanna save your bonus action. Oh there may be a certain thing that you may consider you know, if you consider yourself living, you would probably not think this is a very <laughs> impactful move. But they're not living. What? Come on, just, you know. The you definition. Can, never use, mind. Use, the neurons are going to fire up. <laughs> you can do it, Isaiah. I'm going to go ahead and electrocute these three uh, non existent. Okay. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. All right. Wow. Uh, am I wrong? <laughs> <laughs> I like the idea. Uh, okay, that's going to be a D10 plus int. Okay. Uh, mm, 
and 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 that's gonna be eight. Uh, eight damage to all three oh, of no, them. No, no, I'm sorry. I rolled. It was D10. I'm sorry. I rolled it. I was like, why is it numbered? You're good. I'm just spreading down the HP stats. Twelve. 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 It's twelve. Well, I'm missing Poja. There we go. Okay, can you describe it for me while I'm writing this down? Uh, yeah. So, Jong shoots his bang into the floor, and, like, the wave of electricity kind of rides its way all the way over to where uh, Duke, um, Poja, and uh, um, Lucius. Lucius are. And uh, then he kind of, like, makes this motion with his hands, and a bunch of Shinsu erupts from underneath them and shocks them off. Okay, absolutely. So they seem like they didn't expect it quite so suddenly, and they take the damage. Not too fast. Uh huh. I'm going to move. Oh, uh, hold on. No, I'm not because mm. if I move, does he get attack opportunity? Yep. He sure okay, does. I'm gonna stay right the hell where I am. Alrighty, perfect. So Jong at a seventeen or sixteen, so that's gonna then go to fifteen. Shion. All right, Shion is going to run over and attempt to punch Growler. The first punch is a hit, and then she's going to punch again, but unfortunately the second punch is going to miss, but she's going to do a bit of damage here. Let's see. Okay, she does seven damage to Growler. Uh, he's kind of zipping around, but she's punch, 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 and she finally lands one and smacks his face, but he rebounds quickly. Still dancing around, trying to fight two at once here. Okay, how much HP does he have? Let me double check that. He has some. Perfect. Next on the list, we have Eden. All right. I have three hobos in a nice little place. Ah, okay. Um, let's see here. I'm gonna see. I'll see. I'll see. I see what you're doing. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um. All right. So. <sighs> I hate to use it this early. <laughs> uh huh. But I'm gonna do it because there's so many of them right there. So, um, she's gonna summon her little Shinsu, and by little I mean large Shinsu bow. It's gonna oh. crackle up her hand, and she's gonna pull through it a bang that forms into a devil tailed spear, and she's gonna aim it at the Duke and Lucius and try to shish kebab both of them. I see. Firing it right through here. Understood. All right. What do I gotta um, Do you roll or do I roll? So you, my friend, need to roll. So I gotta make an attack roll. All right. See if I hit them. Yep. You're aiming That's for Duke nice. here. Yes. Um. Just so people know, we also tweaked some of the abilities a little bit, so the info on the screen is not 100% accurate. Keep that in mind. Yeah. Um. So that'll be uh, 17 to hit. Okay, that lands. Okay, and then, all right, so now that, that hits, you need to make a deck save for both of my friends that I'm trying to shish kebab. Uh, oh, yep, yeah, you got it. We got a deck save from the Archduke. That's a fail. And a deck save from Lucius is a fail. That is two failures in a row. Cool, 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 cool. All right. So now you got to so do the means... big You got to do that big I gotta, damage. I got to do, do the big damage. So, okay. all right. They are going to be pinned on their next turn. Right. I got to go, go find it. I only have like two D12. three. <laughs> you two. can roll no, them I separately. You can do, it, do whatever yeah, you have to do. All right, so, um, might need to nerf this. Um, it's 18, <laughs> it's it's 18 for two die. Yep. 
Oh, Jesus. <laughs> um, uh -huh. 21 on the next roll, so that's uh, 18 plus 21. This is your big move, to be fair. This is like it your is, strongest technique that you can only do like So that's, <laughs> that's 39 damage. To that them. is crazy. Holy that's why I'm like, we frick. might. No, that's no, no, no. I think it's good. Though. I think it's good. Now, okay, there is a side effect. Yeah. We have to roll. So four. I got to I got to roll 3d4. Yep. Cuz I just had to do division. Uh, ooh, gosh. Yeah, let me open this calculator real quick. Um, We're working with big boy nine, numbers. It's 9 damage to me. 9 damage to yourself, okay? Yeah. Uh for people who are wondering, every 10, right? We said um, 12. Every 12 damage that Eden does with the technique is a D4 damage to herself. Okay. So that's going to be to Archduke and Lucius. 38 so if damage. They're, if 39. 39, sorry. Uh, if they're pinned, let me get the. Um... Okay. So okay. basically, uh, they are pinned for the, until the next turn, correct? Correct, correct. Okay, understood. Anything else on your turn? Um. Also, if they had any concentration spells up, that would have okay. Yep. Bonked them. Understood. Not sure if little strings guy is is that. Um. And then for my bonus action. My brownish action. Um, uh, where are my bonus actions? Where did they go? Okay. Um, I'll do. Uh, oh, jeez, I had the wrong thing this whole time. Wow. Wow. I'll do a body reinforcement on myself. Got it. And I'm in Bridget's range, so I can't go anywhere, so... Aha! Uh -huh. That'll be the turn. Here. That'll be the turn. You got it. Okay. Hugo's going to go really quick. He's essentially just going to... Uh, you know, while the, he's charging forward, then the arrow happens, so he kind of, like, stops for a minute, but then he continues and strikes the Duke. He should have advantage on since yep. he's pinned. Perfect. He's going to deal nine damage to to uh, the Duke. Nine damage. He whacks him with his hammer, kind of like slamming him even further into the ground. There's a crater that forms in the, into the earth. Beating him up while he's down. Okay, that's Hugo's turn. Then we go up. Poja's turn. Poja! He summons all of his lighthouses. And they kind of scatter around. And he's going to... Well, yeah, he's not pinned, right? He's going to slam his hand into the ground. And these little uh, things start forming up out of the ground. All around you. We're going to do it. Um, yeah, this works. Kind of like these little statues start to erupt out of the ground. These stone statues. One here. I'll give them different colors to differentiate. Here. And here. And then he's going to run behind these pillars. That is his turn. Next, Wu. Um, I have a question. Yeah. Removing my cloak, is that a cantrip? Like, like where, are we, where are we putting that? Oh, yeah, it doesn't take up a slot or anything. Okay, okay. It's just a bonus okay, action, okay. I would say. I'm not going to do that, but I'm just saying. I just wanted to make right, sure. Right, right. Uh, Wu's going to, like, you see, like, Pig kind of tuck out of, like, the top of his cloak. He's going to kind of pat it on the head and be like... I don't think you can stick with me on this one, buddy. Go chill back there with Lonnie. And he kind of sets it off, but sure. And that, and before he goes, like, but make sure you keep watching. And Pixie <laughs> gives like a little salute <laughs> and just runs off towards Lonnie. All right, all right, great. Who is gonna dash? Hold on, how many? Ten. A good 25. All right. Who is going to use uh, Cloud Somersault okay. to get 
about the top of this pillar up here. As he's making that movement, though, he fires a cantrip minigun into the, the blue statue. Okay, yeah. sure thing. Uh, let's see. Um, with the minigun, it's an attack roll, right? Uh, yeah, so. I just have to roll yeah. 1d4. Yep. Yeah. Oh, I see. It's like an... Yeah, okay. Yeah, it's all a nice thing. Yeah. That is a 3. Okay, so that's going to be blue statue minus 3. Perfect. Okie doke. Oh, you know what? Let's... Put that over here. Okay, that's 11. Uh, okay, we have eight uh, here. Sorry, this is taking me a minute to go through, and then we'll be, be a little bit smoother. Um, It looks like it's Lucius next. And then it'll be Brack and Damien. Okay. So. Lonnie Lush. hasn't gone. Yeah, and she rolled the lowest. Okay. Yeah, thank you, though. Okay. Lucius, still pinned to the ground, right? He can't exactly move right now with this... This, like, Shinsu spear in his body. He's gonna crack his whip beside him. And these flames start to form. These flames begin to take shape. And I don't exactly have a great token to showcase this, but it's a little flame dog. It's a little flame dog. Now, Brack, I'm gonna need you... So, Brack, I, I want to say, uh, when Eden attacked uh, Duke and Lucius, the tingly sensation went away. Right? The tingling sensation was gone. However, I need you to make another intelligence saving throw as uh, dex or intelligence. I'll let you choose as these flames erupt beside you. Come on, buddy. You knew what I was going to choose. I'm not <laughs> sure. <laughs> Come yep, on now. Yep. Uh, 15. 15? Okay, you're able to dodge, roll out of the way as these flames erupt beside you. And it takes the shape into a dog, flames dripping from its teeth. And hitting the ground and smoldering. You recognize fighting it earlier when you first boarded the Hell Train. Hey. So, Hound is this? That would be mine. Was that you, Top Hat? Indeed it is. Uh. <laughs> You'd best hope like to I defeat to it. You back to... but no, no, no. I'm just going to send it back to Mr. Peanut. You too. All right, it is now Brack's turn. Okay, so Xion and Jung are jumping. Growler, those two got her. Wu has Poja. Ha. Huh. I know exactly what. Brack readies the harpoon. Okay. And he... Chucks it at Lucian. <laughs> Lucius, okay, all right. Yeah, you're gonna throw it, and you get you get advantage on this. He's pinned currently, so go ahead and uh, roll. I believe that would be Dex. So yes, like a just a normal Dex roll. Let's see, sixteen that hits, or no, it's eighteen with advantage. Yeah, definitely hits. Yeah. So Brack is gonna want to ready the harpoon. He's gonna take a step back, run forward, and chuck it like a javelin throw. <laughs> All right, yep. As it pierces, um, as it pierces Lucian. Yep. Or Lucius. <laughs> yep. Brack one with the poons to the harpoon. All right, how much damage is that gonna do? Oh, damage, 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 damage. I still think I forgot to it, add uh, one with the poon to the uh, sheet. One d ten. Yep, 1d10. Because I know everything has been changed around. Yep, no, that's right. It's in the add your uh, dex. Plus, so plus three, that would be five. Five damage, and you teleport right next to Lucius. Okay, so there's a big battle going on here in the middle of the arena. We have Lucius and Duke fighting Brack and Hugo, still pinned, trying to fend them off. Down here we have Lonnie with the rest of them. But Damien, go ahead. Finally your turn. <laughs> Sorry for the wait. Oh, man, it is my turn. Okay, all right. Um, you know, I guess we're all doing our own thing. Mm -hmm. Um, I mean, we we know how strong these these are. I think we'd focus them down. <laughs> Fighting them separately is more fun, though. Come on, come on. Well, okay. Well, first, what's the deal with these statues? Anything going on with that? What's what, they are what? they are motionless. Unlike what they look like there, they're just they're holding a sword into the ground, and they're they're just made of stone. 
they made my assumption. I, I'm just gonna communicate with you via, you know, our our link as scout. But and just you know, right we're there. just say you're you're telling me above the table. It's cool. No, no, it's not above the table. We talking about this in game, bro. Look. I think that if we disable Poja, then these statues will be useless anyway. Yeah, it remind me, was Poja the one that summoned these statues? Yes. Yeah. Okay. I got a little bit of damage into the blue one, but like my goal is to take him out as soon as possible and disable him, so I wouldn't focus them. I mean, we've got nine people. We can have someone on statue duty. That seems Fair like Fair enough. Little... Fair enough. <laughs> Whatever you think. Do you want to shout? You can shout some commands by any, by all means. I think I'm going to shout in game because I'm going to strike the one on the green statue. Hang on one second. Wait, uh, wait, can I use one of my new abilities? Yeah, please. Uh, Joe, you know this ability as killer whale style goblin bully or something? <laughs> yep, yep. <laughs> word um, for word. Yep. Yeah, I've, I've come up with the uh, the title of, of it. And I think I closed the tab that I was going to rename it with. But I'm going to use that move, and then I'll, I'll tell you what the move is called in real life in a second. I'm going to use my bonus action to set that on the statue. Uh -huh. and I'm going to go in. I'm going to hit it. Kia! 19. That hits. That, I mean, it's a, it's a statue. It's a statue. I I, I'm not expecting it to be like, yeah. you know, a, the 20 AC. King. Oh, shit. That's maximum. Oh, that's not ma quite maximum damage, but... Uh, 10 damage plus 1d8, right? Uh, yep. D can you describe what, like, Damien is doing? Like, what is this move? Yeah. Okay, okay. I'm... You see, I am singling out my prey, which happens to be an inanimate object yep. in this case. But I have sing I, I have targeted this prey, and now every time I attack, I will deal a bonus damage as long as I focus on this target. And it gets Fire. pretty... It is fire cool when it, uh, you know, that's sick. I like it. It keeps going. It's, it's, <laughs> it's, it's, it's actually from D and D, but I mean, don't worry about it. <laughs> we're playing D and D. What do you mean? You know, I know, I know, but we're it's a real move in D and D. Oh my god! So anyways, I go in. <laughs> I go in. I go in. Shut up! I go in. Kia! Hit the statue. What happens to the statue? <laughs> so with with this attack that you're doing with the second, yeah, I've, making... I've done 14 damage to this statue. <laughs> The statue, as you slam it with this radiant damage, explodes. Hell yeah, brother. The is it statue gone? Is it dead? Is de well, it's not. It, was, I, it was never alive. The statue to dead? <laughs> it was never alive to begin with, but uh, it's gone. It's shattered into pieces. 14 damage and it's done? Yep. Okay, it's probably weaker than that, too. All right, bet. There you go. I and have my fist too close to my face. Kia. <laughs> And my turn. All right, it's Lonnie's turn. Uh, should we target the statues? Are you asking me? Yes, Light Bearer. <laughs> Normally, you're the one that issues commands. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, I guess so. If you, I mean, do what your heart does. Yes, actually, aim for the blue one. We'll, we'll damage that one. Okay, she runs over and she pulls out her whip. As long as she doesn't freaking butcher this, I believe in her. You and shouldn't you leave have. the. So you can leave the other one Joseph. alive. As you can clearly see, that's a one. Uh, There's no way she can. Mi oh my gosh, she missed the statue. Look, as long as that, as long as the Nat one curse transfers Zelani instead of Shion, we all be okay. Bro, do I gotta get picked me out of there, bro? <laughs> that's not mean. Shion has that's... taken it for a long time. I guess that's true, but like, Wait, you gave the pig to Lonnie. <laughs> What's oh, wrong I, did, with that? I did give the pig to Lonnie. Yeah. So uh, Lonnie, she, she throws out her whip, but as she does so, she like stumbles for a second as the, the ground is shaking with Hugo slamming the ground, right? And so she's unable to latch onto the statue, but she has a smile and she Hugo, says, that's so crazy. I'll get him next time. And she smiles. <laughs> All right, cool. I yelled, do you see that shit, Lucius? <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> Oh boy! Don't fret. All, right. All right, come on. <laughs> I'm trying to. I'm trying to throw him off. You know, that's my. That's my thing. No, no. Do not meme at the enemy. No, no, no. <laughs> I, Never I, meme at the enemy. I, I've, I've been memeing the enemy for 85 episodes. <laughs> and where has that gotten us? <laughs> I'm alive. <laughs> no, stop. <laughs> no. All right, cool. It's back. To, I. I don't think I've missed anybody. Unless I'm bad. 
We're back to the top. We're back to Growler. So, all right. This time it should be smoother. So Growler is going to not claw at you this time, Jong. He's much more wary as he glares at you, glares at Xion. He's dodging like crazy. His observer, the Growler, is going to whip around behind you and is going to start to fire these lasers around, okay? Uh, both you and Xion need to make a deck save. Cool? What do we got, Jong? What's up? 19, brother. 19! You you uh, succeed. Xion fails. So that's going to be... <laughs> It's, it's not that big a deal. Um, well, actually, let's determine if it's a big deal or not. Let's see here. Uh, wait, let me make sure I'm doing this right. Right, okay. So, Jong, so the initial damage that takes place, Xion takes six damage and you take three. But then, he like motions with his hand and the observer does oh, an additional... You still take half, I'm sorry. That's... I apologize, that's, that's how we're doing it. Uh, but then he motions with his hand, and the lasers continue, and the two lasers that hit the two of you, they then crisscross with each other. I need you to make another deck save. What the fuck is going on here? Shion succeeds on this one. Um, sorry, I keep putting that in my page. Uh, 14. All good. 14. Okay, yep. Uh, you're still gonna take, what is that? Six damage. Both of you take six damage. Oh you're dodging, but these lasers are coming at you so quickly, there's only so much you can do, right? And uh, Shion is not as adept as you quite as, at dexterity, but you're doing your best. He's coming from his, his observer, observer, yep. Here? His observer is really, really small. It's flying around you. I'm gonna say, like, in his vicinity, you could try to hit it, but it's gonna be really, really difficult, just as a warning. Okay. Yeah. yeah. It's like lightning fast. Stuke's turn! Uh, okay, so he is still in a pinned position for this last turn, but he's going to hold out his hand, and Hugo has to make an intelligence save. And last I checked about our boy Hugo, intelligence isn't his strong suit. Let's see. Okay, never mind. He rejects the influence. Never mind. Okay, Hugo. That was a 19. Uh, okay, let me check the arc. Well, yeah, this spell sheet in here. Okay, he fails that one, but then, Brack, you feel a bang coming at you. Uh, this is going to be just an attack roll from him. Okay, you're going to take a bit of damage here. It's not a ton. This is just his bonus action here. You're going to take... <laughs> well, it's more than I thought. 10 damage. Gonna take 10 damage. Big H, what the F? <laughs> he just shrugs. They seem to be getting stronger. Oh, I thought the Duke was controlling him to shrug, maybe. I don't know. No, no, no. <laughs> that would be kind of funny, though. Okay, Bridget is going to fly up into the air. All right, everybody. It's time for the show to begin. And she points her spear at the ground and begins to charge. It's Hans's turn. <sighs> okay, Aki, it looks like we're okay. Uh, the, 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 the girl with wings is gone. What should I do now? Uh... Go help Lonnie. Go help Lonnie. You got it. He starts to run towards Lonnie. And he looks at the statue. And he has this moment of like... After all my training. Uh, hi, Damien. And after saying hi to Damien, he focuses up. He takes his needle. And he throws it through the air. Hurling it towards the statue. And the needle pierces into the statue, dealing five damage. But unfortunately, the statue does not quite disintegrate. I still hit it, though! There you go. Ryobe. <sighs> it's all gonna be for nothing. He's gonna die. 
And then what? Where do I go from there? I don't know how I'm gonna roll for him. He rolled a two. <laughs> he stays in that corner for sure. No, baby. Alrighty, Jong. Um. <laughs> All right. So we're going to. I am actually going to. No, because... All right. I'm going to light sparker myself. Okay. And... I'm just going to melee attack Growler. Melee attack Growler. Go for it. Let's do it. Okay, so that's going to be... Well, As the lightning shoots up your body... This is a, like, swordless version okay. of Light Sparker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so that's 11. Does that hit? No. Ah, oh, damn. All right, all right, all right. Does not. But the Inside. lightning is still churning through your body. Okay. Cool. Cool. All right. We got a Shion. Okay. Oh, actually, Jung, can you roll again? You should have advantage. Because oh. of the... Wait, no. Does this count as flanking with her on the side? It doesn't, does it? She has to be, it like, doesn't. behind him. She needed to be there, Shoot. yeah. All right. Well, on Shion's turn, she's going to get to the other side of him. Uh, and then she is going to charge up for a second. <sighs> Tiger-style bouncing kick! And he needs to... Oh, well, nope. She has to make an attack roll. That one doesn't count. I didn't roll it very well. That one, that one, I just, I just plopped the dice down. Uh, that one does not count. I'm making a DM override on that natural one because I basically didn't even touch the dice. That was a really <laughs> bad roll. I'm not even, like, kidding. That was a bad roll. I barely touched the uh, dice. So. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. It's official. The dice is all loaded against our, our, <laughs> our teammates. We can't let that happen, yeah. dude. And also, at Come the same on. time, brother, you could just roll the dice again. We don't have, you know, you don't have to give us a It's because there's some small but part of me that's one. like, it's, The uh, dice are broken. The dice are broken. Should I have not done that? that? Oh, you're right, we'll right, fix right. it. We'll fix it during the break. Wow. <laughs> you're right. Okay, all right, all right. Understood. That's that. Let me do another. That's, yeah, okay. Well, it's pretty. It's something. He takes six damage, and then he has to make a strength check. Which he. Let me see Growler's stats. Is he good at strength? I can't remember. Growler. Oh, yeah, he succeeds. So, no knocking prone, unfortunately. The two of you still continue your fight with Growler. Eden, your turn. All right. Uh, how much does this cost again? Cool, cool, cool. All right, I'm going to see Bridget Yee Hall way and I see her charging up stuff. And I'm like, not today, princess. I don't say that in the game. I say that above <laughs> Okay, table. yeah. Um, and I'm going to Raya Arrows her. All three? All three, because I don't want, I want to interrupt whatever she's doing. Got it. And let's see, I need three attack rolls. Ooh. Right? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Uh, 18. Okay. 15. Okay. Uh, like 25. It's the last plus. one oh, hits. God. Oh, no! <laughs> the last one hits. She's got big AC. Not cool. Um, so, 7 plus intelligence. What? How smart am I? I don't remember. Seven plus so nine points of damage no. to old Brigitte. Nah, nine. What do you mean Ugh, nine? Is that just enough to interrupt her? No, it's. Uh, she does not get quite interrupted. She's still continuing the channel. Uh, the flame. Ah, uh, fuck. You do okay. set, you do land some damage though. Anything else? Oh, hold on. Do I have any bonus actions I can do stuff with? <laughs> During this time, uh, I wanna. Actually, shout out Dart Angel who just gifted a ton of memberships, and I also want to yeah, shout out Reaper who donated a hundred freaking dollars yeah. during the stream. Thank you so much, guys. Really appreciate that. Shout out to you. Really, really appreciate that. Okay, I don't, I don't have any bonus actions that deal damage, so You're just gonna I stay know. put. All right. Uh, well. Nope. Oh. Let me. Oh wait. Don't I have that feat where if I'm up 10 feet in the air, that, don't I get yes. advantage? Yes. Well, is it so advantage to... or, uh, let me see. Hold on. Yeah. 
there is a feat you have about I having gonna say, some I height. I was going to say, I up there for a reason, and my brain just went... Whoop. Bird's eye view. Yeah, if you're at least 10 feet in the air, yeah. You gain and, and advantage. Higher. Well, yep. I'm not 10 feet higher than she is, though. Yeah, you are. I'm not 10 She's, feet. like, lower to the ground at this point. Oh, so yep. I get to re-roll those other two. Yeah, feel free. 18. Okay. And 19. The the 19 hits. Okay. Yes. Damn, her AC There, is there are some, so I want to make this clear to the people who had the spreadsheets. There have been some changes made uh, to yeah. the spreadsheets you received. But it's very similar. Uh, another nine. Another nine. All right. So this time when you fire the arrow, she yells out in pain and she cancels the channeling. The flames kind of spurt out. And she looks back towards you and just smiles at you as if, all right, let's go. You and me. She's going to change her focus a bit. Cool. All right. Cool. It's, as long as she doesn't nuke the people in front of me. It's Hugo's turn. He's going to run over to this statue. Duke is going to attempt to punch him on the way, which he does land a punch on Hugo. <laughs> Hugo takes max damage from the punch. Let's freaking go. <laughs> we're uh, we're here. You know, he takes 10 damage as the Duke just smacks him in the back of the head. Uh, but he doesn't stop. He keeps running, you know. Um, and he's attacking the red statue. He does land the attack. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. No. Get more go, Hugh, go. Mm. Uh, let's see. Not a great roll. That's going to be eight damage to this statue. Uh -oh. It's still hanging on. Okay. It's Poja's turn. Okay. He sees you above him, Woo, but he slaps his hands together, and the lighthouses that are kind of around him, around the field, they glow, and the statues are going to erupt a beam. Okay. So, basically, this is what he's doing. He says, South! And anybody who's south of the statues are going to be hit by a laser. And I'm going to have you take some. <laughs> I looked up to see what Isaiah would think about that. And uh, I'm not disappointed, but, you know, I'm sorry. Um, Listen, it's totally valid. It's totally fine. He's gonna hit Growler. Wait, did Growler get hit too? Bruh. Yes, yes. Growler oh. does get hit. <laughs> yeah, let's go. Okay. <laughs> that's no. gonna be nine. That's gonna be nine damage. Nine damage. Is it considered fire damage? No. Dang it. Okay. It's not. You said nine? Yeah, but you don't get hit. I'm south of the statue. No, so it's just in yeah, a direct. It's no, just like, in a line, though. Yeah, it's a straight line. Oh. Just in a direct oh, straight line. I thought it was like a laser. Yeah, 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 thing. yeah. You're good, Sorry. You're good. You're good. Uh, okay, it's nine. So uh, gonna go here. Okay, uh, shield. Cool. And then the boy Hans. Excellent. Okay, it's gonna be Poja's turn. Woo. Oh, it's my turn? Yes. Okay. So you'd ignore me and attack my friends. Foolish move, Poja. Wu removes his cloak for the cash and he's going to toss it directly in Poja's face, though. I'll have him make a deck save. He succeeds. He's going to okay. dodge the, as the cloak... The, the, the ground next to him is going to kind of crumble a little bit yeah. off, off, offsetting his belt. Sure, sure, sure. I have you doing this. I am sorry, though. I was going to load in an earth shaker from height descending down upon the mm, Okay, earth shaker. Sounds Remember the height bonus, bro? Remember yep, that? yeah. And let me pull up the new... Uh, we came up with some different... Was that one of the ones that got changed with the new system? No, it's just a level three. It, it, oh, the, okay. The, the mechanics shouldn't change. But yeah, Perfect. I'll so take what off I... the this lot. So what do I got to do? What does Poja have to do here? Uh, so for uh, hold on, hold on. strength save, right? Uh, it is a strength save. No, no, no. It's a um. Yeah, it is a strength save. It is a strength, strength save. save. Okay. And, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, how far is she? How far is she? Because, like, she might have to make one. Yeah, I think bro. so. It's it's 15, is that right? He might have to make <laughs> yeah, one. Yeah, okay, all right. I, 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 honestly. Wait, what's bro, the distance? I'm so, I'm so, so it's 30 feet. Oh, all right, <laughs> okay. They definitely do. And so does Lonnie. No, yeah, Lonnie. 
Lonnie in the statue. Uh, and, and the, the, the fire dog. Oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna Eden, Lonnie, Eden's, Eden's in two. Oh I'm boy. Say, I'm gonna say that, Good job. that he pops up in front of Lonnie and does something before she takes it. I do want to say too, Wu, you haven't moved yet. You know what I mean? If you want to move before you do this, well, you that's can. Fair. I could yeah, move. Maybe okay. you move okay. <laughs> Just uh, slow it out of it. Not, 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 not. I was just mad that he. Yeah, it's fine. All right, I'm gonna move like. Gee, this is perfect. Yeah, I'm gonna move like right here, cause then I can. I'm gonna jump over Pooja's head. Yeah. All right. Does he get an attack of opportunity? No, um, you're still within melee. If you're if you're within melee of right. him, you're fine. But it depends on how high you're floating above. I'm I, I'm like above, like at least. You're fine. Plus, you're more. landing next to like you're fine. Yeah, I. Yeah. It's it's fine. This doesn't help that much. Uh, I'm gonna go. But can, is this part of the arena? No, that's like, actually a wall. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> that's the, that's a wall. Yeah. I'm gonna go like here. <laughs> All right. That's ten. That's thirty. That's 30. Brack is 35. Yep. Okay. okay. So you'll hit so Duke, Duke, Bridget, Duke, Bridget, yeah, Bridget, and the and statue. statue. Yeah. Uh, cool. Well, the statue crumbles. I'm not even going to like bother with that. <laughs> the statue crumbles as you slam your staff into the ground, but everyone else has to make a strength save. We'll start with Bridget. How is Bridget's strength? I don't recall. Uh, she fails for sure. Poja succeeds for sure. He rolled a nat 20, in fact. Uh -huh. um, <laughs> they both... Lucius... Lucius oh, sorry, it was Duke. Yeah, Duke and Duke. Poja succeed. Bridget fails. Okay, so Duke and Poja take half of whatever I yep. roll, and Bridget takes full. Yeah, sounds good. Sounds good. Uh, now, we were, we were going to increase the damage on this. I think we can do it now. I think it should be 3d10. Say, say I think so because it's you, in your, in your technique wrong, sheet. I don't even know if you need to in do your that. technique sheet. I have it listed as like increase of damage to be determined. So okay, I, I know did, I, I want I it to at some okay, point. Okay, okay. Well, so who who fell? Bridget, right? Yep, just Bridget. Bridget takes twenty-eight damage. Okay, you basically high rolled almost every single one there. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't have said anything. Hey, right, cool. And the rest of them take half. Uh, of 28, so 14. All right. 14 damage. Cool. Okay. Very good. Very good. That's actually this. Okay. Poja, like, gets hit by the shaking earth kind of slamming all around him. But once it settles... He turns to stare at you. If you so wish, I'll use the power of my ancestors to bury you on this train! And you kind of see a fire from him you've never seen before. Bro, we're trying to help you. Wu just smirks at him and, like, kind of gives him, like, a stupid, like, like, come at me, bro. <laughs> they're under the possession of the hell. They're, they're not in their right mind, okay? Oh, right, 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 right. Weird, man. Okay. <laughs> listen, listen. <laughs> Let's calm down. All right, cool. That was Woo. Uh, Lucius, all right. Lucius is going to crack his whip, and another fire dog is going to spawn near Hugo. So Hugo has to make a save here, which he fails. So he's going to take some damage. Okay. That's, that's some decent damage. What is that? Seven, five, 13 damage to Hugo. And another little fire dog spawns next to him. Okay. And then Lucius is going to look at you, Brack. He's not going to move to get that attack of opportunity. Brack, it's your turn. You should have moved. Brack is going to... Oh, I didn't add the new moves into the new system yet. Oh, I was... I was... Yeah. I, yeah, I, I didn't have I, time. I Sorry. Too. No, it, it's, uh, it's, it's Brad, a... Jong is going to signal for you to get away from the Duke. So whatever you want to do, just just keep some distance from the Duke. Preferably, do not be in a straight line. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's that's fine. You you want some distance? Yeah. All right. Cool. So like, here, let me let me help you out. This line here. Don't don't be caught up in this line here. <laughs> just the, 
Chunk's like, hey, Brack, this lot. If, if I had, if I were to draw a line in my head, it would be not here. Lash. Look, look, I'm a meta game hard, but like, I'm not trying to hit Brack. I mean, it's say great. less. Actually, you know what I'm going to do for you, just for you, John. Brack is going uh, a wave walker into a whirling strike to knock Duke back. Oh, okay, sounds good. What do I got? So knock him to the side. Like pretty a, much as an attack roll and then a, and then a save, right? Yeah. All right. Uh, hold up. I should have. I know it's not one of the ones in the sheet, but uh, we can just kind of make it work. I, I think that's close. Uh, I, I used it uh, during the workshop. I, I remember, this yeah. was one of the ones I sent to you. Mm -hmm. um, I just don't remember did, how did, to, did, how it works yeah. off the top of my head. I got too many Brack files. I need to <laughs> validate all of these. Yep. Um, oh, here it is. Fight style. Uh, ba, 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 ba. And whirling strike must perform a strength check, a strength save and throw. Strength save. Okay, got it. Yeah. Uh, you said Duke. Yeah. The Arch Duke. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Um. Jeez, his strength is good, but he fails. Fails. Duke, you're getting punched in the face after all. <laughs> he sure is. Max getting all his right. wish. All right. So let's see. So. Blammo. Uh, plus. Strength plus five. Do we still have Shinsu or did we take that away? Shinsu? No, yeah, yeah. It's just technique slots. Okay. Yeah. Right. Well, I'm going to have to rework the ability. Yeah. We'll figure um, it out. This is just a test run. Um, so that should be six damage, and he... I forgot what we said in the workshop the, fe uh -huh. the, the footage was. Right. Uh, when I combined the two, but let's just say he's knocked back 25 feet. Yeah, that, I think that's that sounds about right. And we'll, we'll figure it out after the break. Okay, so the Duke goes flying backwards, kind of hits the ground and catches himself as he flies away from you, just narrowly, narrowly avoiding this pillar. All right. Excellent. Anything else on your turn? World and Strike was my... I mean, uh, uh, Wave Walker was my bonus action, so... Right. Rack just rests, and he just looks Lucian, uh, Lucius in his eyes. What kind of look are Not you doing? I'm going nowhere, pal. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, all right. All right, Damien, we're finally back to you. Hello. Hello, Damien. Thank you for being patient. Huh? I'm always ready to fight. That's what I'd like to hear. Um, if I'm in a... Uh, what is it? If I'm in an intercardinal space, can I can still hit someone, right? Or is that not right? What do you... Like, if, I, if, I move, if I move right next to Brack to hit, hit Lucius... Right. Like, right here, am I able to hit Lucius? Oh, right. oh, yeah, yeah, for sure. It's still, yeah, like, okay. within the five feet, yeah. All right. I move right here, right next to Brack. All right. Are you leaping over All right. frog style? Um, no, I'm running. Oh, okay. I'm using my full movement. 35 feet. Oh, perfect. It was, it was a little it was, bit it was below. Yeah, yeah. I, I understand. Below Hans. But I, I, it, it just makes it. All right. Yep. Now, here's, here's a little cool thing about, uh, you know. Uh-huh. I, I, I want to call it. Killer whale style prominence. Prominence. Instead of goblin bubble? I, yeah, I think that's a more <laughs> fitting name. <laughs> Alright. I so because I killed a target with prominence active, I can recast prominence for free as a bonus action. Yep. And not only is prominence a flat damage buff for me, but it is also a debuff for the opponent. Right. So I get to choose any ability score that uh, Lucius has. Yep. And uh, he gets disadvantage on the ability, uh, any ability check. So, you know, I'm just going to run next to Brack, all right? All right. And, let, let, hey, hey, Brack, uh, you know, what what moves does do you have the most, like, does the enemy have to take a strength check on? Or, you know, is it strength check or dex check? Or, like, what what is it? Con or... Brack? What moves? Strength yeah, like, check? You know, 
Yeah, or, you know, like, anything that makes the opponent have to do one of those checks. Uh, you're, you're, you're speaking mumbo jumbo to me, uh, frog. <laughs> Just, you know, pretend I'm not, though. If you had, if you had to break down people's aptitudes by strength, dexterity, constitution, intelligence, wisdom, or charisma, which one would benefit you the most? Strength. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Lucius gets disadvantage on all strength checks while prominence is up. Got it. All right. He's prominent. And, and I'm attacking. I'm attacking Kia. <laughs> Twelve hit. Uh, a twelve does not hit. I'm sorry. Oh uh, darn. Okay. Well, that's him. That is my turn. Okay. It's Lonnie's turn. Lonnie is gonna look right, at where. So I'm gonna give Lonnie very similar instructions. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah. Because now where Brack hit the Duke puts her in the way, so I need her to not be, uh, right. Like here. Okay. Uh. So ah, I understand. Direction. So you're basically saying, Lonnie, get... Oh, thank you, Wu. Uh, there's a lot to keep track of. Let me pull up here, here. Uh, got it. I got you, Wu. Okay. So, what's going to happen now? Okay. So you're basically saying get to get out of the way for Lonnie, right? Correct. Okay, cool. So she's going to, avoiding this fire creature, run over next to Hugo, and she's going to hopefully not roll a nat 1 this time. That was close, but it's fine. She has advantage, and she's going to throw her whip, and the statue, not throw, you know, what? crack her whip, and the statue is going to crumble. All three statues have been destroyed. Yay. There we go, John. Thank you, Joe. Thank you. Yeah, we needed that, I think. <laughs> okay. So, the fire... I, I actually probably should have... It's fine. It's fine. The fi One fire dog is going to lunge toward Lonnie. Okay. It's going to do some damn... It's going to do uh, 14 damage to Lonnie as it bites into her, dealing flame damage. And she's going to try to, like, you know... Fight it off as best she can. And this other one is going to attack the boy Hugo. But Hugo's able to fend it off and not get attacked. Okay. We're back to Growler. Why are you saying those things? Are you strategizing to defeat us? Maybe I am. Maybe I'm not. We just have to find out. I, uh, let me see here. We have... Who... Where is everybody? Everyone's kind of been pushed away over to this side, now that I'm thinking about it. Growler's kind of by himself. All right, one of his abilities is kind of useless, but, you know, it's fine. Uh, okay. He's gonna look you in the eyes, Jong, and say, Cetus, you gotta make an intelligence save. Um... Is there? Everything is attack? Yes. Like a parryable attack? Your parry is for melee attacks, correct? Okay, so that's what I was asking. Is it a melee <laughs> no, attack? No, it's not. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Well, it's not a melee right. attack. So what, 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 what save is that? It's intelligence. Intelligence. Well, you still fuck because. <laughs> All right, what's up? <laughs> confident. I like it. Well, okay. 14. Maybe not that confident. Yeah, sorry. Uh, it does not work. Uh, so, he is going to fire a giant blast towards you. You're going to take some force damage here. These are some D12s. This could be quite low or quite high. We're going to see. Oh, boy. First one hits the ground. It rolls. That is an 11 plus oh. 4. So, that is 15 damage. But then... There's an additional added effect with his bonus action called the Growler effect, as Hannah would know from uh, portraying this character for like a brief I fight. Do. Uh, okay, so wait, let me see. Oh, I he t I did it wrong. Whatever, it's fine. I, I I gotta read my own character sheets, dude. Uh, let's just say that uh, what you really <laughs> rolled for that, what you really rolled was a ten. 
you really rolled a 10. So that's all it does. You just you rolled Wait, a, 10. I rolled a 10. Yes, like your saving throw was a 10 on on oh, the attack oh, oh, oh. instead of a 14. That's what it does. So okay, you still take 13 damage there. Was it 13? Okay. Yeah, or no, 15. You take 15 damage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. You get blasted by the laser. Alrighty, that is Growler's turn. It is now Duke's turn. <laughs> He's gonna lunge forward this time. His hands spread apart. Wu and Damien, I need you both to make intelligence saving throws so you don't feel that tingle up your spine. <laughs> oh, that's a seven. <laughs> cool. And then Wu. 19. Okay, so Wu shrugs it off. Damien, unfortunately, I'm going to need you to punch Best Buddy Brack. <laughs> oh, no. With my normal attack roll? Yes. Does a is a twenty hit? <laughs> oh Brack, can you can you tank a twenty six? <laughs> that was a crit. That's a crit. Brack, Brack is about to die. Oh <laughs> no! So well, hang on. Let's see how much damage this does first. Okay. Watch and roll max. Oh no. Oh, that's pretty good. <laughs> that's, that's thirty damage. No 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 no. That's with the crit, right? You just clicked it, right? It oh, automatically yeah, applies it. the the crit. Oh, oh, oh. it automatically. Like, oh my gosh! Yeah, 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 yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah, it knows. Sure? The game, the, know, the engine I... knows that it's a crit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, uh. No, it just says one d no. ten. It's one d ten plus three, so it's thirty. No, one d ten plus three. The max would be thirteen, but this is fifteen. If it's one d ten plus three, there's it's impossible to reach fifteen, so it has to be the crit. Yeah. Joe's the DM. It's all you. You decide. Now that's a crit. Oh, it is. It's it, it's technically an eight. Okay, I got it. I got yeah. it. Yeah. Okay. So it's okay. like a yeah. So it's fifteen with the crit. It's fifteen with the crit. So Brack, similarly to how you suddenly <laughs> lunged at Hugo with your harpoon, Damien just kind of clocks you in the face with his gauntlet. Blood. <laughs> yeah, just a boom, just in the face. No. Oh, it is. <laughs> I think it is fifteen. Uh, uh, thirty. No, no it's not. It's not. <laughs> Brack, it's not. <laughs> Brack. No, but like, like, actually, like, actually, like, actually, it's not, no, though. No, no, I'm just, I I'm mean, just about the integrity right, of the is game. I mean, it is hard. Like, is that what you're trying to no, do? No, I think, I think he's right, because the D10 was an 8 on the roll. Yeah. Plus the, 3. It, plus 3. Plus 3, which, which was his strength, and then 11, it gave him a plus 4. Plus 4 I don't is know where his plus four came modifier. Is. So it's 8. Yeah. So technically, yeah. it would be eight uh, double plus the modifier. So wait, how does that? No, wait. I think I, so. The way roll twenty handles crits, I don't think they double it. I think you just roll the damage like you roll a d10 twice. Well, that's right. You you roll. So the damage I, so I die think twice, his first. I it's, think uh, it's an eight plus Joe's a one, right? It's, it's it's Joe's call. Whatever. He In wants fact, to do. no. Okay, guys, hover over the eleven. It's eight plus right. three. Hover over the four. It's it's he rolled a d8. Added on. So it's 15. The crit added on the extra D8. Yeah, yeah. Let, let's just agree with Joe because we're wasting too much time. All right, all right, right. It's 15. It's 15. Not, Thank you for the... I mean, getting a roll right is worth it. It's, it's 15. Okay. We're, we're, we're good. So, Brack, you get clocked and take 15 damage. All right. That is Duke. All around me. You doing okay, Brack? <laughs> Brack? Worn out places. Okay, I ignite uh -oh. my weapon. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just joking. Sorry. Uh, and then Duke is going to... Run up here, kind of right below you, Aki. All right. It's Bridget's turn. All right, then. And she's going to zip on over to you. Aki, look out! What was that, Joe? <laughs> I was, I was, you said you, and I was like, okay. You, uh, you. Okay, okay, I got it. Uh, she's, okay. You know what? Actually makes more sense here. No, this works. Yeah. Okay. She's going to be a little bit away from you. So she's still up in the air. She's off the ground. And she's going to, like, fire a blast at you from her spear. Ba -da -bum. That's going to be a dirty 20. Now, I'm Bad going to roll for damage. Okay. Oh, my God. Okay, normally that'd be 19. However, it's fire damage. Cool. It's fire okay. damage, so you take 
Nine. Eight. Right? Wasn't it 19 damage? So you take nine. Round it down. Okay. That's ten rounded out to nine. So you take nine damage. But then she, you can tell, she realizes, didn't do as much as she would have liked. She's gained some new information from you. It's Hans's turn. He runs around, Bridget, picks up his needle. Aki, what should I do now? My brother in Christ, you need to get your and own then, mind. That's, that's above the <laughs> But as he says it, regard, he looks at Duke. And he grabs his needle with both, on, with both hands. We're taking you back with us. I swear! And he ru- Now is not the time, Hannah! <laughs> now is not the time! I'm sorry, uh, intrusive, Joe, that's Joe, one! Joe. <laughs> yes, what's up? Oh, for Christ. I'm gonna strongly urge <laughs> okay. to not stand right the fuck in front of the Duke. It is very much in his best interest to not be there. <laughs> Go one square diagonal. We're just gonna play you uh, like a chess board. Theoretically, if he were to move, well, he can go where he wants. But I, 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 he has if he warm, were to move one down, is would that theoretically work for John? No, he'd still get blasted. Wow. He's got to be. He's got to be not anywhere. Like, can you do me? Okay. On one of the sides. All right, 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 right. I need. What I, I'm gonna actually do this. He sees Duke. I need you to make a persuasion roll. If you want me, yes, you <laughs> yes, you. Oh, he did. He oh, did. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. These are not looking good for you, buddy. No, oh, no. Um, what is persuasion? God damn it. Oh wait, hold on, hold on. Okay. No, eleven. <laughs> this is my only chance. I'm sorry. He, he runs up to the. <laughs> He oh, really? Don't be sorry to me. He's the one getting blasted. <laughs> really? Is there no way out of this? Okay. I, it, it, <laughs> this just feels pretty oh, big, dude. Me, if Hans like, dies because like of you, hands, instead time. of three, I don't know what to. I I told him to oh get out of the way. Oh my god! And to no. make it worse, Who's he rolled a one that? on damage. All right, it's a, <laughs> it's four to the Duke. You know, the Duke actually looks pretty beat up. I'm not gonna lie. He's not looking great. Uh, he's. The Duke has seen better days as far as combat goes. Um, no. Amongst the five of the people you are all fighting. And Hans is swinging his needle and he lands a couple small blows on Duke. It's Rio Bay's oh, turn. All right, Rio Bay. Oh, What's going on? What's going on? Oh, buddy. He's trying to muster up. Come on, dude. Okay. That is a 19 plus like two. All right. Oh, no. He looks around. What am I doing? What am I doing? I gotta make myself useful somehow. He'll never forgive me. And he charges at Growler. Yeah. And he hits the attack. Growler, not expecting the opponent coming from there. He slashes his needle and deals seven damage to the Growler. Ryobe has joined the fray. With a grimace on his face, he is... Any second now, he might cha change his mind and run away again. Jong, it is your turn. Oh, no. I need to use the washroom. Tell me what Jong does when I get yep, back. Yep, you got it. Ah, uh, cue the Adele. You already know what he's about <laughs> to do. He did cue with this up for a second. I don't know. He might change his and mind. And literally every other motherfucker has been doing nothing but getting in my fucking way. Ah, uh, um, you're living the Lindquist fight. I I understand your pain. Yeah, true, it really true. sucks. Bro, I told... There's too many characters on the field. That's the price to pay with the, all these characters running around Well, I told stuff. Hans to move, and his response was no. Like, what? Okay, well, then get shot. <laughs> like, I don't know what the... <laughs> All right. That's a, a crazy decision to make, boy. But you know, you got it. You got it. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll see you in um, hell. <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. Keep my seat warm for me. Uh, all right, so I'm gonna jump. Oh my god! If it's what I, oh my god, this does so much damage too. Yeah, I, I, oh my bro, god! The only two people that ah! know move set are me and you, bro. You knew what was coming, and you did. Ah. Uh, good good character story. moment, though. Um. Uh, well, well, let's wait to see if it's a good card. <laughs> no. um, all right, all right. Let me get the, the distance on this technique again, because it's been a hot minute since I've used it. 
Oh. Okay. What is the distance? Oh no. <laughs> how how like high or low is Bridget to the ground? Like, She's like in, pretty high. She uh, okay. like Eden's okay. height, like so, thirty feet. Okay, okay, okay. So she's. Oh, actually. Unless you wanna. Like no, no, no. I'm not trying to put ideas in like your that. head, but you can you can like choose like height wise where this. You know what I'm saying? You know, yeah, but if I if I aim for Bridget, then I don't hit Growler. Or rather, if I aim for Bridget up, then I won't hit. I only hit Bridget. If I aim down, I'll hit more people. I'm so. saying like theoretically, yeah. right? This is not. This is God whispering in your ear. If you like okay. got low to the ground and like shot Growler from like this. Oh, like from underneath Growler. Yeah. Basically, you could like hit Growler and it would fly oh, through the air oh, upwards. You know what I'm okay, saying? Okay. Okay. But then it would only hit okay. Growler. And it would. Right? It heaven. would only. Jong is yeah, like. Nothing heaven. yet. <laughs> We're really. <laughs> Jong is changing the trajectory of this. You won't hit Duke though. Well, actually, I'm not. What's more important, Chong? What's more? This well, is up to you. I'm damage not... is more important. I'm no, no, not... no. I, no, that's I, I hear you, and that's actually not a bad play. Okay, okay. Because uh, I still end up hitting two people, which is about all I can do anyway. So, okay. So we're gonna use okay. Uh. Say style morning bolt. And because I have light sparker activated, I do not need to wait any cast turn for casting. I can fire yep. it right now. Yep. And I am going to take you up on your offer. Okay. So this is going to be aimed at uh Growler and Bridget. Han's got I can save on a technicality. <laughs> you, he so, lives another day. <laughs> so go ahead and thank yourself for that. Pat yourself on the back. You just saved Han's life. Um, oh my god. We got here. So Deck saves, do, right? So you, yeah, you got to make two deck saves, and then basically they'll take half damage if you succeed on any of them. Yeah, this is a crazy thing. Uh, so it's Growler. Now, well, luckily, so they're both really good at decks, so this might be kind of crazy. Uh, Hope they fail. Hope they fail. 17 from Growler. And they both succeed. They both succeed. Okay, so they're going to take half damage, but I also need intel. Uh... That's only if they fail. Is it? Yep. Oh, yeah, you're right, you're right, you're right. Okay, okay, okay. All right. So describe this move for me and then roll some damage. Um. Okay, so uh, Jong charges up, and normally, yeah. he, like, he would be using his sword for this. But right. you notice that he doesn't use his sword. He just raises his hands in the air, and like as if his hands or his arms are like acting as conduits for this Shinsu, mm -hmm. the Shinsu starts to pull around his arms. It, you know, very similar to how he would do this technique if he had a sword, except his body is just now the conduit instead of the Sure, yeah. Um, the Shinsu starts to turn into electricity and pull into his arms. And at the last moment, he kind of tries to slide under Growler and fire this in like a upward, you know, diagonal trajectory to hit him and um, Bridget. Uh, Bridget. Okay, Bridget. this bolt of lightning flying through Growler towards Bridget. They both see it just in time not to take the full force, uh, full brunt of the damage. But what do we got? This is this is the potential uh, to be quite a bit, but they did succeed, yeah. so it'll be a little bit less. It's, yeah, they're gonna cut it in half for sure. All right, thirty-two. So half of thirty-two. Sixteen damage to each. That's nothing to scoff at. Nothing to scoff at for sure. It could have fucking been thirty-two. So. <laughs> well, listen, we we take what we can get here. Uh, okay, they both take some massive damage here. Sixteen, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Bridget's still flying through the air, but you notice her uh, her mechanical wings are starting to like sputter a little bit, especially after that electric attack. Um, but okay, anything else in your turn? Um, if I move, yep. does, he, does Growler get attacked? He's gonna, he's gonna get you. Hmm. Hold on. Back away out of this. Oh, wait, I can do it anyway. Yeah, no, I'm done. That's about it? Okay, cool. Shion's turn. Shion is going to use this opportunity. She's going to swing to this side, get some advantage, and punch. Miss. Punch again. Miss. Cool. All right, next uh, we have Eden. Your turn. Dang. 
game sucks, dude. I'm, I'm, we're keeping the we're keeping the pace going, you but know. Also, from the lore, I'm like, bro, you gotta hit more than that. But anyway. Wow, because okay. it's another hot. Okay. You know? Okay. What's up, Eden? Let's let's um. What's the move? Okay. Sorry. Um. I see the fire pups. Yes. And if I remind, okay, Eden would remember this. I don't remember this. <laughs> okay. The, the the fire dogs are unaffected by physical damage, but they are affected by shinsu damage. Yes. Is that correct? That's correct. Okay. 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 All right, I'm gonna spend another ray of arrows, and I'm gonna target the old puppers because I don't want to get that third one on the field because that makes stuff mm, really difficult. Okay, you're targeting this one because she remembers it. Ah, um, uh, okay. She's gonna she's gonna target two by Lonnie. Okay. She's gonna send two arrows to the one by Lonnie and then one up by the one on Hugo. Got it. Two by Lonnie, and one I by Hugo. Okay. Yes, okay. and I still have advantage. So. Okay. That is true. Uh, 19. Okay. Whoa. Uh, <laughs> that sounded so genuine. 21. Okay. <laughs> I, Whoa. I, I, mm, <laughs> yep. We saved that. So 19, 21. Okay. And then over here. Ah, to end a 20. Let's go. And a nat 20? I rolled, I rolled, yes. All right. I rolled crap on the first the one. Advantage the advantage is turned over. We, I was like, yeah. The height here. Let's go. You know, Poges, the team, they were. Trying their best beforehand. So yeah, uh, they all hit. They all hit. So the one, so the last one was a crit, which would have been the one to Hugo. So yep. let me do the first two to long. Sounds good. Uh, Eden's firing off some arrows here. That'd be eight on the first hit to the Lonnie one. Okay. Uh, six to the next hit on Lonnie, so that's 14 Got to that dog. Got it, yeah. And then for Hugo, uh, four, eight, so 10 to that one. 10 to the Hugo one. Got it. Yes. Uh, with the crit included, right? Perfect. Yes. 10. Got I it. rolled a four, so eight, and then plus my intelligence yep. with this yeah. two, so that's 10. Perfect. Okay. Anything else? As the arrows sink into these fire hounds. Uh, do they not disappear? Nope. Well, hail. And those were Shinsu arrows. Yep. Keep in mind. They, they did okay. damage. Like. Cool, cool, cool. All right. Seeing that that's not going to work. That's gonna be a problem. Um, <laughs> bonus action, she's gonna go into since Shinsu boost wore off a long time ago. I think it's um, wearing off like this turn. The turns have been slow turn? because this is a crazy fight with a lot of different characters. But this is like gotcha, the, gotcha. technically only the third uh, turn. So okay, um, she's gonna go. Uh, she'll go into defensive stance for right oh, now. Oh, defensive stance! You got it. Alrighty, it's Hugo's turn. He's looking at the Firehound, but understands that he's not entirely sure if he can even do any damage to it. So he's going to kind of skirt the Firehound and attack Lucius instead. Lucius, Lucius. Wait, where is he at? Lucius! Oh, there you are. All right. Hugo is going to attack and miss. Unfortunately, can Hugo do anything else? Lockhead, explosive charge. Uh, hammer attack, block, lockhead. Okay, so as a bonus action, he's gonna swing back his hammer and it's gonna start charging up. Think like King DDD. He's charging up the hammer. All right. Now that I'm thinking about it, Hugo really is just King DDD, isn't he? All right, cool. <laughs> oh, no. In a good way. Don't wish I'd be born him. No, well, <laughs> in no, a good I'm, way. I'm, I'm, I'm about to send you something there. All right, all right. Uh, Are you charging your special beam hammer, Hugo. He nods. All right. <laughs> Poja. Whatever that means. Poja. <laughs> Poja looks at you, Wu. And he's going to kind of skirt over here, and then his lighthouses are going to surround you. Lighthouse, full control! I need you to make a charisma saving throw. You were? Okay. <laughs> this is... Hold on. Let me just double check this. Yeah, we can we can live with this. Live with this. Hugo holds down B exactly perfectly. <laughs> he starts holding it down. I got twenty. I got twenty. I got twenty. That's what. Yeah. Okay. The barriers. The 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 lighthouses surround you, but you're nimbly able to avert the oh, flow control. Oh, that's it. 
But Poja That's is my gonna. Favorite match <laughs> Let's go! Congratulations, Wu. Uh, Poja is then gonna wrap around uh, these towers. Uh, it's your turn. It's your turn, Wu. Uh, okay. Is he? Let me see. He kind of like ducked behind them. Like there's like a barrier here. Yeah, these pillars are kind of like next to each other in like a ninety degree way. Okay, you know? I see. So ten. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna do something different. Okay. I'm gonna do a moving attack. A moving so I wanna attack. go. I'm gonna. Well, I'm gonna tell you the attack that I do, but I just wanna. <laughs> as I do it, I wanna move from. Yeah, yeah. Basically, yeah. here to here. Right behind yeah, the dude. Yeah, sure. Okay. Alright. Uh. Tell me if you're okay with this. Yes. Right now with the new system, you have forceful thrust as a level one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right? Yeah. I want to do a variant of forceful thrust as a level two or three. By oh you. yeah, yeah. Like, what, what I would what I would do normally would you would be to use SP to use this attack, but since we didn't put this attack in. For sure. For sure. So, let me so you tell me, I'm gonna describe it and you tell me which yeah, one yeah, you yeah. think it. Feel free to do so. Okay. So Wu's gonna dash south, but as he's like about here where the pillars are, he kind of like knows that Poja is behind sure. here, right? And he says, Glue style, weightless staff, heavenly thrust. And the bandages around both of his arms kind of unravel and grasp his staff and launch it through the pillars at Pooja. So like, the staff is going through the pillars. Yeah, the staff is like, him. attached to the bandages, away from Wu, yep. launch at high speed yeah. with high shinsu density at the pillars. So we, we've definitely discussed that. I think that totally works. Basically, yeah, I think that's gonna be level, uh... Probably I, level I'm down for three. three. I think I'm so. Down. If you're down, down for three, three I think like, that makes sense. If, okay. Because like all, all I want is like yeah. the same effects of forceful thrust. To totally. Come through yeah. If, yeah. If he rolled. Okay. yeah okay. I think that makes a lot of sense. So I'm gonna have him roll here. Okay. I'm gonna have you roll three d8 damage. Okay. Thirteen. Thirteen, okay. He's not taking all of it. It's going to be half. But as the staff slams into him, the pillars also start to crumble towards him as you slam through. And he's going to pull up his lighthouses, and he's kind of like holding up the pillars above him. So the lighthouse barrier, he's like maintaining this barrier above him. Does he still get like the pushback too, though? No, because he succeeded on the uh, save. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Is roll 20 not showing? Roll 20? No. What happened? Oh, I had him in my eyes. Cool. So he's currently in a position where he's like holding up I these see. pillars. I got you. Him. I got you. So yeah. anyway, while that happened then, we would have positioned himself like right behind the Duke. Yes. I got you. Yep. That makes sense. But you don't have the staff. No, you see so you like you you like chuck the staff no, through and then was, pulled it back. It was a real yeah. back in fit. Yeah. I understand. <laughs> I see. Cool. Excellent. It is Lucius's turn. Currently fighting Damien, Brack, Hugo. You're, you're all three of you are kind of throwing punches, backing away, punching. <sighs> He's gonna let out a nice long low sigh. <sighs> and he's gonna crack his whip once more. And he's gonna summon a third firehound, Damien, and Brack. Can you make an intelligence save for me? Bring it on. Uh, that's a two. And then a 14 from Brack. You both take eight damage as the flames oh. erupt behind you. A third fire dog. Sorry? Damn. Yeah. That was it. both of us failing? It was, yep. Dang. That's done more damage before. But last one it is. I rolled a two. Or, wait. Yeah. I rolled it. Yeah, you rolled a two. Right, right, right. Perfect. Okay. 
The third fire dog has been summoned. He's not going to move. He's deflecting as much as he can with his whip. It is now Brack's turn. Brack is going to try something new. Okay. Because he's just tired of this top hat man. Brack is going to grab him like a bear hug. <laughs> yep. He's going to wave Walker into the air, twirl around, and slam him on his neck. Like Ryu Hayabusa? No, 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 no. Like, like Rock Lee did to Gara, except he's going to succeed. <laughs> wow. Uh, That's sick. That's sick. Got it. So you just grab him, and you float, you teleport into the air with Wave Walker. Okay, I got to think about that. Um, Let's see. He would have a resistance to the grapple. Like, Lucius right, the first thing you're trying to do is grapple him, right? Mm. So I guess we should probably start there with this grapple. Um, so let me... I need to roll. Let me athletics. know. Athletics. Let me know. Hold up, you know, because I am athletic. They used to you call are. me, you know, <laughs> king captain. Okay, um, okay. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, except, you know, oh, I wasn't sorry. limber. I never stretched. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's see what he rolls. Can I, can oh. I assist Breck in any way? Can I make him? I don't know. Oh, he, he has he has disadvantage on strength checks, actually, right? That's true. Yes, he does. Yeah, he does. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. Right, so I'm gonna, okay. Strength check. Bro. That's true. I'm gonna roll twice. No, but if he rolls lower than you, it doesn't matter. True. That's a high roll. Let's see what the disadvantaged one is. It's oh, fourteen. Oh, you you're okay. rolling great today. It's fourteen. You know? Yeah. Except when it comes to our side. Um, <laughs> you got it. Nah, you're right. You're I'm right. pulling know, for you guys. I, okay, I promise. I oh, want you guys to win. That. Right, is that what you're doing? So, unfortunately, your plan does not succeed this turn. Is there anything else you'd like to do? So, it, it failed immediately when I went for the grab, right? Yes. So, you didn't even wave walker. All right. So, what? I take it grab was a bonus action or a full action? Full. What can we do? What can we do? I know what we can do. Brack enlarges the harpoon. Okay, yep. We get the harpoon expansion. You it's got time. it. Alrighty, Damien. Oh gosh, there's so many things <laughs> going on right now. <laughs> yep. I I I can see Poja struggling. Yeah. And that would be super cool to just be like <laughs> living bomb let them <laughs> fall on you idiot <laughs> there, i don't know okay <laughs> i'm i'm honestly not sure because everything everything sounds fun mm. um i deal bonus damage to lucius though is the thing mm -hmm. so i'm gonna i'm gonna do the smart thing i'm gonna, I'm gonna you know move behind here i'm gonna hit lucius fire dog would get an attack of opportunity oh yeah whatever Okay, let's see. That's a miss. Hey, I deftly dodged the fire dog. All right, yep. Lucius. All right, you're you're a threat. Kia. What was that? Ten. That's a ten. That's a ten. You get buddy. advantage. You're flanking. You're flanking. I was oh, just right. I have advantage. Hey, there we go. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go. <laughs> what do we got? <laughs> Okay, I did it. That's the ooh, that's a big damage. Whoa, that's yeah. twelve, and then I, I get a D eight as well. Yes. Oh my oh. god, that's max okay. damage on both. <laughs> the thing is, Joe, I have a bonus action as well. <laughs> that's true. So oh my I, god. Can I ignite my gauntlet again? Yes. For the yeah, biggest ultimate key, uh? Yes. Just don't roll. Uh, don't roll max again, please. I'll try not to. So it's my it's my charisma. You was it a D eight or oh. a D six? Let me, let me, I don't know. D8, I'll, I'll D8. use a level one okay. spell slot for it. Okay. Of course. D8. Two. All right. Two plus, plus three, plus my charisma, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's... So it's 25 damage. <laughs> All right. Cool. Describe it for me. Yeah. So because of the effect of killer whale style prominence, he, I, I go in there with my fist. I, I, I say weapon, you ignite. 
I do an uppercut, a cool ass uppercut. A cool ass uppercut. Yeah, and it, it does massive damage to him. He's so focused yeah, on the fire dogs, you know? There are there are sparkles. It's crazy. It is just this explosion <laughs> of light. I punch I punch him oh man. If if I could punch him into the into Poja, that'd be sick, but that would be know. badass. Uh but you know, I'm I, I've done a lot of damage. Okay. I don't want to overreach too bad. Sure, sure. I'm happy the advantage worked out. That, yeah. <laughs> I, you can turn, say brother. so. Uh okay. Sounds good. It feels good to be dealing the big <laughs> the big damage. <laughs> I'm so used to low roll confitiers, bro. Oh, poor Joe. You're in this dude. That was a lot of damage. All right, it is Lonnie. What's up? I am my turn. Lonnie, it is your turn. Go. So Lonnie is being up, up. face facing this fire dog. Um, she's remembering the previous fight against this thing. I'm trying to see. What, okay, you know what? You know what I'm gonna have her do? She's gonna skirt around the dog so as not to get an attack. And she is gonna look up at Bridget in the sky and cat throw, crack that whip towards Bridget. This is kind of, inst I mean, this is so unlikely to happen, but we're gonna give it a shot. What what, it, what what's going on, Joe? So 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 Lonnie, okay, Lonnie yells out, cracking her whip. <laughs> And the whip starts to kind of coil around Bridget. And in that moment, as Bridget tries to kind of duck out of the way, it snags onto Bridget's leg. And Lonnie, with, especially combined with Bridget's stuttering wings, she yells out with all her might and pulls Bridget towards the ground. Let's do some damage. This is why she has a whip, people. The whip. Come on in clutch. Holy frick. Okay, the whip itself doesn't do too much damage. We'll take that, but then this is gonna do a lot more. Okay, it's eight damage and Bridget is now prone. So Lonnie pulls Bridget to the ground. And there we go. I'll uh, add a little thing here to show that she's prone. But Lonnie looks exhausted after performing that feat. There we go. Okay. The fight is chaotic. It's all over the place. This is one of the most brutal battles you've all ever had to face. But then, as you're starting to slowly deal damage, and some of these, some of these characters, Bridget looks extremely tired. Duke looks extremely tired. Poja looks like he's, he's taking a few hits, but he's in. Finally, there's this like light that starts to erupt from your bodies, and it starts to slowly fill their bodies too. But then, Poja shrugs it off. And he roars out with all his might, a similar fury to what you saw before. He punches the ground. And the whole stage begins to shake and rumble beneath you. And his lighthouses surround the arena. But, we're gonna take our break. We're way overdue for our break. Uh, don't go anywhere. This is gonna be like 10 minutes. Enjoy the memes and fan art. This fight is coming to an end. When we come back, we'll see you soon. Ta-ta. Bye-bye. Thanks for being here. Leave a like before you Hi go. All, all right. <laughs> here we go.
Kill yourself. Kill yourself. Throat. You okay, Hannah? <laughs> yeah, I just we, swallowed wrong, right? As we were like, three, two. <laughs> it's all good, you know, as long as you're alive. We're back. I'm good. <laughs> Welcome, I'm everybody. Good. Thank you so much to everybody for the memes and fan art. Lots of fan art this week, which was really cool to see. Um, so if you want to submit, you can do so in the link below. All that jazz. And there's been some fun discussion in the Discord as well. And uh, as things are winding down with this arc, I'd love to see more of that discussion. So, uh, yeah, thank you to everybody who submitted. Really, really appreciate it. It always brings a smile to my face whenever I see a new meme or new fan art. So, okay, let's dive on in. Last time we ended, back to the fight. Back to the fight. So, th basically, mustering up a lot of this uh, power, right? Poja did one final move as he slammed his hands onto the ground, and the stage beneath you started to shift and twist. Depending on where you were standing, you're split apart from your partner. Things are just like in a, in just one mo movement, the map changes. The map swivels and becomes a new plane, a new arena. And surrounded by this void, you now find yourselves in a completely new position. I'm going to move you on roll 20. You've been split up. The maps have shifted. New terrain has erupted. You each find yourselves in a different spot with a different opponent. Eden, you find yourself oh. with Shion. Huh? I do? Jong. Where am I? Oh, okay, 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 okay. You're by yourself. Oh, Brack, Hans, and Ryobe are at your sides. Damien and Hugo, Bridget, her wings sputtering, lies on the ground in front of you. And Wu, you can sense Poja's presence nearby, even though there's a huge, thick wall between you, him, and Lonnie's at your side. None of them say you know anything. How, you know how much, I want, how many curse words I want to say right now? <laughs> Everything okay, Wu? You didn't see it, peachy. but I... Huh? Absolutely peachy. She's like patting the back, patting your back. How's Poja been? I haven't seen him all, all fight. Did you say, how's Poja? <laughs> how hell, like... <laughs> What? She's not good at talking. Okay, come on. <laughs> we know this. We, we know this about her. Dang, I okay, okay, okay. okay. <laughs> to be fair, Wu kind of understands Lottie's personality and how she speaks after Thank all this time. So, like, he doesn't take any of his. Uh, like, he's like, I'm not well, a vet. I'm just. just well, never mind. Never let's mind. move on. Let's I'm move on. on. I'm done. Yeah. Is Pixie with you? Pixie? Oh, yeah. And then, uh, kind of like hopping under her shoulder is the pig. 
How's he doing? You're about to find out for yourself. <sighs> Let's do this, Wu. We all... We all have to do this. And she looks at you with this resolution you've never seen from her. Got a good look in your eye now. I thought it might do it a little, but no, you're ready. It's because I know what I have to do. I finally figured it out. What's that? We're going to do what Duke wants us to do. We're going to save him. And she smiles. You do get it after all. A Wu, like, puts his fist out. <laughs> she pounds back. He picks it with you. Go left. I'm going to go right. Understood. Hugo kind of gets up next to you nearby, Damien. <sighs> And his hammer is still charging. I just realized he's like looking around, like his hammer is kind of shaking a bit. And he looks at the opponent. He looks back at you. Yeah, we got this. And then uh, Shion looks at you, Eden. <sighs> All right, Eden. I'll cover you. I'll defend while you attack from afar. Sound good? Sure. You, you good? I'm fine. I've been through worse. She looks at you like... You know she's been through worse. Right. But does she look beat up? She like, looks tired. Um, If you were to put... Like, if we were to put a value, she's probably got like half of her HP left. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah. Why? Why are we fighting him? Ryobe! And Hans... Slaps Ryobe across the face. Get it oh, together, shit. man! We're the band of bones! You, uh, okay. <laughs> and Ryobe, I said we're the band of bones! Now help us defeat him! Okay! Brack, do you say anything? I'm gonna punch him really hard in the face. We'll, we'll figure out the saving la later. <laughs> Let's slap some sense back into him and bring him home. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, real quick about the tech. Is, is Wu able to contact Damien at all or no? Oh, um, yeah, I would say you can. Yeah, He's I mean, gonna you do know, that you, as well. You have, you have my Discord and stuff here. You <laughs> You're also fairly close. Like, I, I don't want it to seem like these voids that are separating you are that far apart, right? Like, you can see everybody else's arenas. You know what I mean? Whoa. Oh, you oh you can see it? Okay, never mind. You're, I thought we were like some separate planes. Nope, so. you are all literally like okay, okay. nearby each other. Never mind. This won't help anything. <laughs> Got it's it. It's all good. Now, Jong, you look around and you're by yourself. Jong gets up. He's very low on HP, by the way. I didn't, I forgot to mention this, but he is not looking too hot. He stands up, looks at Lucius. I told you when we started this, this only ends one way. He doesn't speak. He just stares at you, his whip crackling with flame. All right, we're gonna keep the same initiative as before. Oh. Someone sent me a message. I got you. I got you. I got you. All right. Cool. So at the top, we have the Growler. He's like, whoa. He was moving so fast. It almost ruined my roll 20. He's dodging between pillars so quickly before finally arriving behind Shion. He's going to claw her twice. Shion blocks the first one, but then he bites into her arm and she screams in pain. Okay, uh, he's gonna deal 10 damage to Shion. Ah! And then it's Duke's turn. Duke, standing across from you, Brack. He's gonna hold out his hand towards Hans. Resist, Hans. Resist! <laughs> We've trained so much. I'm so used to just letting him take over. Do 
Don't you let him fondle your spine. Oh my gosh, dude! <laughs> Those are the exact words I remember. Yeah, no. No, 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 no. I'm frustrated with this. <laughs> quote, don't let him fondle your spine, end quote. On the one hand, it's the most brack line anybody could have It ever is. Say. It really is. But oh my gosh. On the gosh. other hand, damn, bro. The, the, the image. That conjures oh, one's I'm mind. Oh, uh, never heard anything like that. Well, let's like see. That. Let's see what happens with Hans here. <laughs> and the roll is. It's a fail. I'm sorry. F spine has been. Fondling yeah. <laughs> don't, don't repeat. Don't stop. No. Excellent resistance. <laughs> oh gosh. Stop. Oh, you do it, How could you do it? And uh, Hans. <laughs> He starts to like, his muscles start to grow. Ryobe, I need you to attack Duke, but do it! This is our only way to save him. And his voice gets deeper. And before long, Hans's muscles grow so large, his shirt rips apart. He has entered the Hulk stage. I don't know. That's not his name, but that's what it's been memed at. So... That is Duke's oh, turn. Man. Our teammate has a phase two. <laughs> Damn. It's Bridget's turn. <sighs> she starts shaking her head. <laughs> Fitting that you two handsome ones are the ones to take me down. <sighs> All right. Time to finish this. And her wings are sputtering. I I agree that Hugo is handsome. I don't see another handsome dude here. <laughs> Hugo just shakes his head, and she's gonna fly next to you. Strike. Barrier. Oh, okay. Go ahead and roll. We got a lighthouse barrier, folks. A lighthouse barrier. Oh, Lord. Is that... That was three rolls, right? Correct? One, two, three. <laughs> three fails. That is nuts. Well, to be fair, though, uh, she rolled... Oh, you... yeah, never mind. Yeah, she... I think that's only one... That's one success, I think. Oh, oh, is it? Yeah. Oh, because you didn't add your charisma yet. Plus six. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, okay, one success. Sounds good. She does hit. It's like a 17. That hits, right? 17? Um, it sure, okay. it sure does. So she's going to roll for damage... Six, that's nine. Fifteen damage incoming. Uh, minus D6 or D4? It's a um great question. I have your sheet here. You, uh, just, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, uh, If it's D4. It's D6. It's D6. I'm pretty sure. D6? I'm pre let's say, yeah, D6. <laughs> minus one. <laughs> Sorry, I'm taking 17 damage, you said? No, it's 15. Now it's 14. Minus one, so okay. 14. Damien, you take 14 damage. She avoids attack of opportunity, zips next to Hugo, and attacks him as well. And I say zips. She's, like, running really quickly with these, like, half-sputtering wings. Oh, God. What is Hugo's AC? Does Hugo dodge this? Nope. Takes damage. The big dude gets hit. What's that? 5, 10, 16 damage to Hugo. Hugo's not looking so good, Damien. He's like almost falling to his knee, but he's still, his hammer is still shaking. It's Hans's turn. He's gonna go for a punch into you, Brack. From behind. 18. Hello from the, I'm dead. Are you sure? Yeah. It's only six damage, really low, low, really low roll. I thought you said 18. No, 18 to hit. Oh, 18 Sorry. Hit. Oh. You take six. You're able to mostly block off the attack from Hans. Oh. <laughs> so okay. you're still alive? Yeah. Let's go. All right. We're, we're in this. I thought you said 18. I was about to be like, God dang, right on the button. It's Ryobe's um, turn. He's going to attack the Duke. And miss, but it was worth a try. Jong. Jong looks, he takes a moment to kind of check in with his body. He's got like 
cuts and bruises from Growler, and and you know he's he's pretty low with his health. He just looks up at Lucius. Joe, it's a really good thing. I spent the time to to figure out how that technique works. <laughs> yeah, you, we, uh, we figured it out. Let me guess. Uh, Should I pull up this piece here? We got one mm -hmm. of these? All right, yep. all right. We're spending that crazy spell slot, that one-time attack, as Jong enters the lightning pill. Or enters, he consumes the lightning pill. All right, all right. Cool. So as your and bonus action. eyes yeah? like light up, they ignite with the electricity. He looks over to Lucius. And he just smiles at him. Okay, what do you do? All right, let me pull this technique over. Is there like a little shocked thing? Hey, let's give you a little shocked thing here to show that you are all lightning yeah. pilled up. All jazzed up. All right. Um, you are out of light sparker, by the way, I believe. Well, yeah, but I, like it's the same thing now. It's <laughs> yeah, it's your right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I forgot about the answer. Yeah, I went right back. It's just like it, mega lightning pilled up. All right. Um, all right, so we are immediately and I mean immediately going to spend my last level three spell slot. Okay. And we're just going to like as well. Okay. Hold on. Should I explain and then do the rules or sure explain? Think? Yeah. Okay. So he's going to, from where he's standing, wait, where's the, hold on. like in the blink of an eye, he's just going to dart up into the air and just clock Lucius right in the face. Okay. All right. So I need, I'm going to do what I do what I do. Oh, so it's just an unarmed attack, right? So I yes, just an unarmed. Roll, you get then, some bonuses, okay. but yes. Yeah, yeah. It's um. Let's see. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it's one. It's one d10 plus strength, and then That's add the, the damage. Light bonus. Yeah. Oh. So first we gotta see oh, if it oh, hits, mean, though. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry, sorry. Yep. You're right. You're right. You're right. All good. Okay. Well, it's a 19. So that, that hits. That's, yep. I feel, plus yeah, your. Yeah, yep. Yeah. You're okay. good. Roll that damage. Okay. So Lucius is about to get clocked. Bro, I gotta end this pretty quick. Um, I will say he's not looking super healthy. After well, uh, he, Damien freaking look clobbered him. Worse. Okay. And then Light Sparker is. Ooh. Okay, so he's going to take 18 points of damage as in the blink Ooh. of an eye, Jong just teleports from the bottom floor that he's on and just appears in front of Lucius and just punches him straight off that <laughs> pillar. You punch him, <laughs> his whole body gets shot with electricity. And in that fluid moment, he's gonna, like, kind of do something, but do you do anything else on your turn? Uh, hold on, hold on. Bonus, bonus action. What, can I do anything else? Uh, so, not like... Mm -hmm. I I'm gonna... He's gonna whip out the, the spear. He's not... He's just gonna hold oh, it. Oh, okay, doing, okay. You know, but he's well, just gonna hold uh... it. Or... Is it like? Oh no, you're right. Yeah, sure. Yeah, 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 yeah. As right, your bonus action, to, you're right. whipping yeah, yeah, it out. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh no, it takes an action, I think, to whip it out. Oh, does it? To use the spear, Lanza de Luca. I thought it was coming upon one activating. Action. Yeah, I think it's an oh, action. Oh, you're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. Just okay, to, so then, uh, yeah, yeah. All right, so then, never mind. We're good. Nothing okay. Else. Okay. Cool. Uh, it's Shion's turn. Growler is zipping around her. But Shion has this determined look. She's going to prevent him from reaching Eden no matter what. She's going to go to this side, and she's going to use big boy move. Dragon style waterfall. She's going to kick through the air. <clears throat> she's trying her best here. Does not hit. I'm sorry. Growler is too quick. However, his movements are focused on Shion for the moment. Eden. Oh, Shion. Caught in my line of vision. That's okay. I don't have telepathy like Jong does. <laughs> we can um, metagame. It's fine. I, no, fine no, no. It. It's, fine. it's fine. I mean, I will say there um, are a bunch of platforms here. Like, risen right. platforms. So she's gonna... Oh, that's the wrong tool. She's going to um, run... Did I run up to that one? Actually, I did need this. Yeah, I can. Mm -hmm. So she's gonna use all of her movement and run and get on top of this one. Oh, okay. And then she is going to, how oh, she on? Um, I'm gonna cast aim on myself. Okay. And for my bonus action, I'm gonna cast 
no, I'm not going to do that. Not going to do that. Uh -huh. So just aim, and she's, like, readying an arrow. Yes. But that's, she's holding that right Yeah, now. absolutely. Aim. Let's go. All righty. And then uh, it's Hugo's turn. Bridget is already next to him. She's losing steam. Let me see what this deck attack does. Lockhead Blast. Okay. Attack roll with advantage, but she's got a high AC. Never mind. Hugo lands the attack. He lands Lockhead Blast. Dealing. Wait, Joe, 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 Joe. I'm so sorry to interrupt, but I forgot to add the double <laughs> initiative, which is the reason I spent that spell slot. So we have to... Huh? It was... It was... How much damage did I do to him with that punch? 18? You did 18. 18? 18. So we have to add 8 to that. Oh, okay. That's fine. Yeah. Got it. Okay. He's now going to a big boy attack. Five plus seven. Oh, nine. 14 damage to Bridget. She's unable to dodge. <laughs> and she gets knocked back towards you, Damien. Any, any, any debilitating effects? Are you okay? No, her you wings okay, are Bridget? like, her, her wings have, they're spent. They're spent. They're not flying anytime soon. And she looks bloodied and beat up. <laughs> oh, is she, de is she defeated? She's she's barely oh. hanging on. Oh gosh! But you remember their words ringing through your head. I do. It's Poja's turn. Wu, I need you to make a deck save. Seventeen. Seventeen. Okay, you're still gonna take half damage. But as you're like up against this wall. Wow, wait, hold on. Okay. It's two. It's two damage. Uh next to this wall, a hand like bursts forward out of the wall. Like from behind me? Yes. Yeah. Like okay. from the wall. A, a hand uh, bursts I see, forth. I see, I see. And uh, you're able to dodge out of the way. And then Lonnie suddenly has these lighthouses all around her. She fails, and she's frozen in place. I can't move. Lonnie is frozen. Woo. I underestimated him. Okay. That was such a low roll. I rolled a one on a d10. All right, go ahead. Oh, uh, no, I was going to... Oh, it's my turn? Yes. Uh, I haven't taken damage up until this point, right? All right, buddy. Oh, I don't, maybe, maybe you haven't. Who's, you, you've it's been, like, uh, that was the first time I adjusted my HR. Wow. Oh, okay, all right. Congratulations. Congratulations. <laughs> must be nice. I'm sorry. Who <laughs> uh, is going to use Cloud Summer Salt and leap over this structure at this point? Then. Yep. Sounds um, good. Directly to be in front of Pooja. Like right here. Yep. Lonnie. Yeah. Break free. Okay. Just you and me. It's a shame it had to be this way. <clears throat> He's like twitching. <clears throat> Defeat me if you can, or I'll kill you. Please try. Hina. <clears throat> and Wu's Observer pops up. He does. One bonus damage. Let's freaking <laughs> go now. Let's go. All right. He and gets then, blasted. And then, and then he's going to um, make a note. Okay. You see he uh, snaps his hand, right? Mm -hmm. And his cloak just reassembles itself back onto him. Oh, okay. Sounds good. Sounds good. Lucius. He gets knocked back by your punch, the lightning rippling through him. <laughs> you were so close. And he's going to look at you intensely into your eyes. And then we didn't forget, did we? The three fire dogs he had summoned before appear behind you. And he yells as they all merge into one. 
this massive flaming three-headed beast appears behind you. <laughs> and he smiles and chuckles. Brack! All right. As you said, you know, back during the workshop. Yep. I want to I wanna come up with something on the spot. I sent you the move. Uh, I made this like a, a long, a while back. As yeah. you can see, it's still in the old format. So in the new format, it's going to use an L3. Oh yeah, um, sure. That that seems great to me. But what I'm going to do is, Duke has to make a saving throw. Right. And then just have him do it now, and then I'll explain what he yeah. does. We're still in the experimental phase. We're trying different things to see how they work. So uh, what kind of, it's a strength, right? Yeah, strength. Yeah. Does Damien's uh, ability is Damien's ability still in effect? It only works for me. Oh, sorry. Others. You mean for additional damage or disadvantage on? No, checks? the strength. Uh, the strength. Oh, is oh yes, it is. It is. It, it is. is. Okay. Okay. So, yeah, he fails. He fails. Fails. Yep. All right. So Brack is going to say the to uh, Ryobe. They're the major. I'm sorry. <laughs> And Brock is huh? going to, it, it looks as though like a thin layer of Shinsu is surrounding Brock. Yeah. And he just says, Raging Title Fist, Striker Mode, Posting Geyser. And he launches himself through Duke the first time for the first hit. Mm -hmm. And then you said, uh, we're using technical points now, to, right? Yeah, yeah. Brock is going to spend two technical yep. points to hit him two more times. Yep. So he's going to bounce off the wall, come back at him harder, or is that just the floor? It's just the floor. Oh, well, when he lands, <laughs> he's going to pivot, turn back, hit him again. Yep. Then he's going to dash to the uh, to the left of him, and then he's going to come across and hit him again. Yep. So that's going to be three of those, three of what you sent yeah. me. Perfect. He's kind of like zipping, like punch, 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 kind of zipping around. Yeah. Perfect. All right. So the first one is a 1d10. Wow. Plus four, that's six. I've just been rolling low. <laughs> I'm sorry. Ah, there you go. That's high. Well, that's supposed to be an eight. I accidentally hit nine. <laughs> okay. Um. Oh wait, wow. are you rolling one d nine, one d eight, one d ten? Well, one, they're supposed to both be one d eight, one d eight. Oh, it's fine. Don't worry about it. Oh okay. Yeah. So uh, should be D10s. minus one eight, uh, plus seven, fifteen, yep. plus six, uh, twenty one. You punch him over and over and over, fulfilling that promise that you will indeed punch Duke many times in this fight. Oh, he spits out blood. <sighs> and Hans <laughs> starts to control himself again, punches his hands together. <sighs> <sighs> Not bad, Brack. Not bad. <sighs> Is that your turn? And with that, when he finally stops, he looks back. He, I know we said we're going to rework it, but he enters rage mode. Yeah, yeah, no, it's all good. It's all good. Yeah. We'll figure that out later. Brack enters rage. All right, Damien Frog. All right. Well, Bridget. <sighs> I, you got to pity me, why do you? We... Listen. I... Is there really nothing else you can tell me? I want to... If I can save everyone else... I can save the Duke. There's you, really nothing else you can tell me? You want to die instead? <laughs> Bridget, I know that you want to be free of this. But... If you're a being of pure data... Would you be willing to risk everything? I don't think you get it. Within this world, we're all pure data. I know. All we need is the five purified to be the seals for this new spell. 
This erasure. We've made our choice. When I was on the 20th floor, I offered someone this option. Let me take your data so that I can find a perfect solution to this. Take my data? Your memories, your feelings, they would be copied onto my to my weapon. I don't know what'll happen to you, though. But... I wouldn't mind being copied, but I need to fulfill this objective. You understand, right? I do. Sure, pretty boy. Copy my data. Or whatever. Thank you. I won't let you down. Now purify I stab, me. I stab my arm. Oh, wait, what does British want to say? No, go, go ahead. It was, go ahead. I stab my golden arm into Bridget. Okay. You stab. Eyes closed. And this light begins to envelop her. Her body begins to glow. And then her eyes go wide. And her glasses, her goggles fall off. You did it. <sighs> and you get the feeling that she's not gonna fade away yet. Phew, I'm getting lightheaded a bit. <laughs> yeah. I'm getting, okay, I'm getting a little, I'm good, I'm good. A little bit too much breathing, I think. All right. Uh, can I, can I, uh, incapacitate Bridget? Yep, for sure. For the rest of the fight? Absolutely. Thank you, Bridget, for putting your trust in me. I will save the Duke. Okay. You're able to knock her unconscious. Yeah. On Lonnie's turn. Oh, wait, can I? Oh, I'm sorry, yeah. Can I talk to, can I, talk to, can I tell Hugo? Yes, please. All right, Bridget, Bridget's out of the fight now, right? Yeah. Is that correct? Mm-hmm. All right. And do I still maybe have an action? Because I can teleport me and Hugo over to... Yeah, with your new... With one of the lighthouse skills. Yep, you absolutely right. do. With... Okay. Do I get any sort of inkling as to which... Uh, <laughs> which platform I should go to with my newfound... Uh, yeah. Memory? Roll perception. Oh, gosh. With advantage. What? Oh, well, you might not need it. But. I don't think I need it. Based on what you've, just the little bit you've gathered from Bridges so far and, and, and trying your best to copy onto your gauntlet and based on everything you're seeing, Poja is the biggest threat. Poja remains the biggest threat. All right, Hugo. I grab onto his shoulder. Lighthouse teleport. Okay. Can you describe this for me? Yeah, I just, I put my hand on Hugo. All right. I can teleport myself and an adjacent ally to a place I can see, which I can see that platform, correct? Yep. Exactly. That's you can so... see it. Yep. All right. So as long as Hugo's willing, we can both teleport. He's willing. He's willing. Thank you, Hugo. <laughs> Let us teleport over to the Poja side. All right, you zip hey, on. God, it worked oh. out, bro. That's how it's okay. <laughs> you turn. <laughs> All right, cool. On Lonnie's turn, she's gonna attempt to break free. I still have something I need to do, and she breaks free. She rolled really high, and she's gonna run this I way. Mean, oh, go ahead, Boo. First. She, uh, I was gonna say, Piggy's gonna like clap his, his hands like next to her shoulder. Yeah, and, like excitement. Sure, sure, sure. Okay, and then he's get, she's gonna run over. Damien, Hugo. Hey, what? Hey. Oh yeah, hey. We're finished over on our side, and we came to help. Good. I think we might be in trouble. Don't worry. We're here to help. Okay. The fighting continues. This is almost like a little thing that's gonna play out here. Many of these opponents, Lucius, the Duke, Bridget, 
appear to be, if not incapacitated, ready to be incapacitated. They are on the verge of losing all the strength that they have. And even Jong, with Lucius, it appears that summoning, bringing the three dogs to this platform was maybe the last of his energy here. Eden, over on your side, Growler is continuing to fight against Shion. You're taking aim with your bow, ready to finish on your end. But you hear a voice. Let me make sure I have this right. There we go. Uh, no. <laughs> Give me just a moment. Oh, is it here? There it is. All right. You hear a voice ring through the void towards you. Mama, get down! Oh, no. And you feel this power flying in from behind you. Okay. I guess she'll kneel quickly. You duck down. A voice fills your end of the platform. You hear it. And Shion hears it. Everybody hears it. It rings throughout. You hear, White February! Ignite! And an arrow soars above Eden's head, flying into Growler. Whoops. Sorry about that. It pierces through him. And he looks shocked. Damien and Hugo, you're making your way over towards Wu. Poja is pulling up wall after wall after wall all around him. But Wu, you hear a voice. You didn't forget about us, did ya? And suddenly, out of the void, a staff flings into view, and Poja has to block against it. <laughs> suddenly, bullets are flying in from the void, too. An arrow. Shinsu blasts. They're all converging towards Poja. He has to pull up the walls all around him. Jong, over on your end, you hear a footstep behind you, but still in front of the beast. Let me pull this up over here. And he says, behind you. And then you're back to back with somebody as your blades are dancing towards Lucius. And you catch a glimpse of him. For a moment, he looks like this. But you recognize him better as his younger form. I don't have an OBS. I'm so sorry. Damien and Hugo, you're making your way towards Poja. And Damien, you hear a voice too. The wall starts to erupt around you, Damien. The hands begin to go towards your face and claw at you until you hear gunshots. <laughs> Blow away each of the walls from hitting you. You don't hear a voice but the gunshots from the void. Oh. And that's it. Growler has been pinned to the ground by this arrow. I, I can't give up. Not after everything. He's coughing up blood that we fought for. He's going to run towards you, Eden. Okay. <clears throat> Shion is going to get one last attack off on him, but he dodges right out of her view, right out of her grasp. He's going to go towards you, but you are able to dodge. The two of you are now on this platform together. The Duke slumps down, his head leaning forward. Bridget, incapacitated. It's Hans' turn. He's looking around. We're doing it. We're doing it. It's working! And his form is disappearing as well. And Ryobe drops his needle. And he starts crying next to the Duke. Jong, it's your turn. Um, is the figure still next to him? Yes. You can see it's like almost translucent, like kind of flickering in and out. Jong just looks at the figure and kind of scoffs, and then he turns his head away and smiles. If you want to make yourself useful, deal with that pup. 
And then he turns and looks at Lucius. This one's all mine. What do you do? Alright, we are going to... Actually, I'm going to send you a message. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hit me up, hit me up, hit me up. For sure, brother. Oh, boy! Okay. Yeah. Right. <laughs> I like then this one. I'm gonna, <laughs> the then I'm, gonna, I'm gonna send you a message. In okay, <laughs> let's go. We're, we're pen pals. Let's go. Let's go. Let's figure this out. Oh, I see. Oh, really? Wait, actually? I, 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 if, if this works, I, I think. Oh, okay. Okay. Hey, everybody who's in the middle of this crazy fight, I'm gonna need you to deafen yourselves in Discord. I'm so sorry. What the it's so time. Sorry. It's time for. I got Exponentially so, so skipped to, to, to deafen. Um, it's 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 for the narrative. It's, it's for the narrative. I'm angry. I I know. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm sorry. I hate to do it to y'all. I hate to do it to y'all. I think Joe probably got up for a sec. I'm gonna artificially uh, server deafen him there. Server deafen him. All right. All right. Cool. Cool. <sighs> okay. So Zhang just smiles as he walks over to Lucius and he grabs Lucius by the throat and pulls him down to the ground. With the you know electricity still sputtering off of his body, yeah. his eyes glowing that like bluish purple hue, as he stares and smiles down at him. Don't worry, Lucius. <laughs> I plan on purifying you, but how can <clears throat> I let a power like yours go to waste? <laughs> I'm sorry. And then he like, as he's holding his his him by the neck with one hand, he puts his his the palm of his other hand to Lucius's head. Wait, Power wait, universe. wait! I still Think. haven't finished. Let me finish, and then you can do whatever you wish to me. I promise. Hmm. And why should I believe you? You have no reason to. Hmm. So what's to stop me from absorbing your power? You may have... You go on about your business. <clears throat> you may... If you wish. However... We still need the five purified ones. If I'm not there, we can't. Someone else. Let me fulfill <laughs> that role. Oh, Lucius. Don't you worry. You'll still be around to fulfill your role. It's not your body that I want. And he slowly starts to lift Lucius up off the ground. <laughs> And he brings him close enough to his face so that he can whisper in his ear. It's your power. All right, Joe. You want me to roll religion? Yes. What are we doing? All right. Let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah? What's up, dude? Bro. Uh, bro. I mean, I'm just showing up to the camera, but a gnat. Wait, oh, no way. A gnat actual whole no ass No way. Brother. Oh brother, my that, God. That's the best religion role I've had. Like, yeah, that's the best role I've had doing religion this entire campaign. Wow. I think the way I want to do this mm -hmm. is say you succeeded. Okay. But we'll discuss about what exactly happens, you and I. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. There's like a there's a power that envelops you and envelops Lucius. And we'll talk later. You know what I'm saying? Like like we okay. will we will figure out the specifics of this, but just know that power courses through you. His eyes grow glow white. <laughs> 
and he regains consciousness. Is that okay. fair? That's fair, that's fair. And then I want to say, as he, as that power fades yeah. back, Joan just kind of looks at him and gives him another, like, smug smirk. He's still got that expression on his face as he just drops him to the floor. So weak. And I'll put your power to much better use. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. All right. All right. With that, I'm going to have everybody unmute. Oh, poor Joe is still server tapping. There we go. Oh. <laughs> he wouldn't have had control over that. <laughs> All right. There Whatever we go. Happened, I'm sure it was exciting. Or maybe not. I wouldn't know. <laughs> of course you wouldn't. You wouldn't you wouldn't would be watching the stream now, would you? No, I'm kidding. Huh? No, I was sending a, a gif of Christian. <laughs> it, 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 it did look real fun, though. I wish I could have been a part of it. <laughs> I saw a dice getting held up to the screen, and I'm angry. Bro, we just had, we just had brunch. That's okay, no, it's okay. It's okay. Enjoy, enjoy, enjoy y'all. I like time, brunch. You know? I like food. <laughs> Why didn't you invite me to brunch? <laughs> We're hungry, too, but it's okay. Don't worry. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Oh, man. Okay. No, you're not. And now, <laughs> as this is happening, a voice rings throughout the arena. And, Jong, you're kind of focused on other things, but you do feel and, and, and catch this as well. In one motion, this young Song Hoon walks towards this ferocious, flaming creature, his body flickering, translucent. Blade style. Somersault! And he whips towards the creature. Cross slash! Sundering oh slash! And then in one final move, fall in heaven! And he strikes through the creature. Whether it's because of Lucius becoming incapacitated or through his power alone, the blade soars through. Song Hoon vanishes. And the creature with flames roars into the air and vanishes. And I want to say for just a minute, like when Song Hoon vanishes, the kind of, you know, really smug smile Zhang had on his face fades for just a minute. But then he kind of turns away from them. So much happened there. That was your turn, right? <laughs> I think that was your turn. And I end I would, my turn. <laughs> let's go. Okay, yeah. One whole mute session later. <laughs> 84 years later. It's Shion's turn. <sighs> She's wandering over to Growler. <sighs> it's time. You get purified, Growler! Wagaba's roar! And she channels, and she uses the last of her strength with a flurry of punches towards Growler. Success after success after success after success. No more dodging for Growler as it's almost like, a, you know, like a show, like an anime or something where like the body like pushes forward every punch. He gets flurry of blows and he hits the stair in front of you, Eden. And he looks up at you and he smiles. <laughs> Purify me. Help you. Let me fulfill this last wish. There has to be more. For you, maybe. This is all I need. Do it. She'll just hug him. A tear falls down his cheek. I won't die yet. There's still time for goodbyes. Purify me. And just while she's hugging him, she'll just slowly put more and more pressure to incapacitate him. Okay. His body glows before he falls to the ground. No, she'd hold him. She wouldn't let him well, fall. Well, so, yeah, for sure. He would until you catch him. You catch him she, before he yeah. falls. Yeah, yeah. 
Shion falls to the ground. And she looks over towards Jong's arena and towards the other arenas. <sighs> this has been so crazy. My hand's a little lightheaded, but it's great. It's great. Hugo. No, Sorry, I I'm. You're right. Thank you. Thank you. You can do all the screams for you if you want. No, I'm all good, dude. I'm all good. I'm all good. I'm excited. Hugo is gonna run. Ooh, whoa! Side by side with Damien, apparently holding hands. Wait, yeah. the two of you are linked. How did that happen? Wait, when I move him, it moves you as well. <laughs> you guys Maybe are inseparable. Like Bonded <laughs> forever. Yeah, I, oh I, my I, god, bro. One teleport and now they're inseparable. <laughs> Ridiculous. <Two. laughs> Damien failed the teleport and they, they're like half Wait, molded into that? each other. <laughs> what I didn't tell you there we go. The, the, the teleport requires... Oh, it's a risk. It requires... <laughs> I, I don't think you would have agreed to it oh, if you no. had conditions. <laughs> <laughs> I, I ungrouped it. We're good. He's going to run right. forward. How much movement is that? Yeah, it's just enough. We're going to count it as enough. He's going to run up and attack Poja. Slam with his hammer. And Poja blocking bullets from every angle. And woo, you see another of your staffs crashing into the walls over and over. All these four different attacks from four different angles, joined by Hugo. It's Poja's turn. He's just struggling to hold everything back until it's your turn, Wu. What are you all doing here? Do I hear that? I think so. You're, uh, ma you're making your way there, too. I, I think that's okay. If you guys are close enough, yeah. yeah. Right. Sure. We know you don't need the help, but we had a strong instinct to go this way. Oh, I wasn't talking. Oh, I was not talking to. Like, I think it's cool that he misinterprets maybe. it, though. You oh, can that. No, I. I, I mean, he was, <laughs> yeah, that's not what I was. Talking about. <laughs> but uh, we just kind of like already knew Damien was there, kind of, and like was sure. not like listening to that whatsoever. Damn, <laughs> Don't know walls. Oh god. Oh, wow. <laughs> no, seriously, I don't. I mean, I appreciate it, but why? I told them I'd handle this on my own, and they gave me their word that they would too. So we don't need your help. You hear a voice ring out. You didn't need our help, dipshit. But we wanted to help. If you want to help, why don't you actually make yourself useful then? <laughs> and Wu walks forward, puts his hand on Pooja's shoulder. <laughs> you did a good job. You really did. Ryuji, ignite. And everybody that's present just witnesses Wu staff elongate pretty much like 60 feet upwards in the air at an alarming rate and speed and Pooja's entire body is just obliterated as it rises upwards <laughs> Pooja, Pooja rises into the air his eyes go white and then he falls and hits the ground <laughs> <laughs> and you can see this white glow enter his body Lani runs up with the others <sighs> but then Poja's eyes open for a moment <sighs> and then this glow hits Lani for a second <clears throat> and she like gets knocked back <sighs> but then she appears to be fine there's like a glow and then she... <sighs> Lani you okay? I'm fine I'm fine Probably just his final attack. You did it. And his head hits the ground. Thank you. Rest easy, friend.
Over in the center platform, Brack, you're there with Ryobi and Hans. You notice yours is the only platform with no kind of voice. No one's kind of there for you. That came out more harsh than I intended. Uh, you have Hans and Ryobi there. That counts for something. What do you do? I I'm stop, sorry. Oh. <laughs> well, Brack uh, steps back. He points to both Hans and Ryobi. And he said, and he just tells them, release him. <laughs> Ryobe, let's go. Oh, hell yeah, Brack. You pack a punch. <laughs> this isn't goodbye. Just finish my purification. I don't think it's right for me to do it. They have to do it. Yeah. Can you purify them first? I don't think they're purified, are they? Who? Cool. He looks at Hans and looks at Ryobe. You date a people too? I don't think that's what he means. You were purified. You're the one that has to do it. But we can help. And they like walk up next to you as if like they'll do it with you. Don't take this any kind of way, guys. But I got a plan. It'll be painless for him, but he'll go right out. Okay, okay, okay. Painless is good. Painless is good. Brock walks up to uh to uh the back of Duke. He places his palm on on like the uh between his two shoulder plates. He tells the two of them, Come over here. Place your hands on top of mine. Hans and Ryobe. Ryobe hesitantly, they walk forward and do as you say. Ryobe with tears down his face. Brack just starts to think, I haven't tried this before, but for some strange reason, I have a feeling this will work. And so, after he places his palm onto Duke's back, and they place their palms onto his, Brack channels their inner Shinsu along with his, and they he just completely disrupts Whatever Shinsu that the data created for uh, Duke of Bones. With, with what goal in mind? The goal is just to purify him. I see. As he wants. I see. Got it. Understood. It's a very gentle approach. And your body glows with Shinsu and his body glows. It's like a mixture of the Shinsu with this sort of admin purified data that enters his body. And he smiles and hits the ground. See you in a minute. And hits the ground. You two better be there. You need to be the first ones, Daddy C. You're right. You're right. And he looks around. I think we did it. We did it! And he yells into the air, his voice echoing. Shion goes over to you, Eden. You did it. Yeah. And everything around you, all of you, starts to glow that same glow. The ground and everything. Almost as if you've completed an entirely other purification. All on your own. Five purifications, maybe more all at once. And the next thing you know, your fight is completed. The skies become pink again. You're floating amidst the clouds. 
and you look around at each other. In but a moment, it's almost like you went back in time. Because in front of you are Duke and the others. In that moment, you've snapped forward, backward. But you feel a sensation behind all of you. And as you turn, you see them. You can look at my screen. Translucent, transparent, whatever word you want to use. As soon as you see them, they start to fade away. With one last wave from Ryuji and the others, the frogs begin to wave goodbye. A smile appears on Song Hoon's face and a wide grin on Nari's. Don't go. Duke! Hans and Ryobe run towards Duke. You look at them all, Duke and the others, and they don't appear to be harmed, but they all have this content smile on their face. Hans wraps his arms and hugs Duke in this tight hug, and Ryobe's crying next to him. You guys were fucking awesome. <laughs> Way to go. And he pulls Hans away. Both of you. I'm proud of you. <laughs> and Han starts to cry now, too. And now we can go back, right? It's time! We're gonna see the others! And Duke just smiles. And he looks at the rest of you. And as you look down at your own bodies, you're also... It's almost like you went back. You're healed. Like we're healed healed? Mm-hmm. You're healed, healed. Very cool. All of you. I can't thank you enough. That couldn't have been easy. Almost like a dream, right? But I still remember. And she gives you some finger guns, Damien. We are... Purified now. And the requirement is five purified to seal and completely erase this mirror. I think uh, that was a good time to say goodbye. Come on, all of you, say goodbye. <laughs> There really is no other way. Damien? Yes? I'm going to send you a message. Now, you can feel free to message me back by all means. Don't feel like you have to go along with this. I'm getting a message. <laughs> Joe, whatever it is, I'm gonna. you know I'm going to go along with it. Just don't react, and feel free to respond however you wish. Duke. Please, I... <laughs> and Duke pats him on, holds his arm, holds his shoulder. Hans. When you get back out there, I want you to be the Duke of Bones. What? I can't... I, that's you, man! How could I... Someone's gotta be. 
Someone's got to lead those idiots on the outside. You think it's going to be Ryobe? Hell no. <laughs> Boss. Ryobe. You're going to have to help him out too, you hear? Every leader needs a vice leader. <laughs> I'm nothing. I'm not strong. I'm a coward. <laughs> You've got heart. You've got so much heart and... Uh, hmm. I'm trusting you guys, alright? He just holds his head down. Anyone else? I know we haven't been the best of friends, but, uh... <sighs> Put her there, Duke. My <laughs> darling, darling Duke. <laughs> Do you, like, give him a hug, or...? <laughs> yes. I get as close as I can. I'm telling Flux. <laughs> Damien, I gotta say, you're one weird dude. But... In a good way. In a good way, right? In a way that exists. That is preferably good. In a way that... Even if I didn't acknowledge it at the time, I think... I... Uh, <laughs> You're my friend, okay? And he slaps your shoulder hard. I have a confession. I've only been nice to you because I want to borrow your jacket. <laughs> I just give him a big smile. He looks at his jacket. Fuck it. He takes it off and tosses it to you. Hell yeah, brother. Who knows if it'll make it to the outside, but it's worth a try, right? Well, he's gonna walk up to the dude and extend his arm. We had a deal though, right? Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> And before he says anything, Lou grasps his arm and pulls him closer and gives him a hug. <laughs> Good guy, you know that, right? If I have one regret, and it's that I didn't. It's that I couldn't be. I'll take the compliment. As he says that, I would like looks at him like he's beating himself up a bit too much. Pixie starts rubbing his face against the Duke's cheek. <sighs> he smiles. He rubs Pixie. <sighs> Damien. Hmm? Can I have your... You, you have the memory thing, right? With your gauntlet? I do. He motions you forward. Okay. And he puts you his hand on your gauntlet. Very close to the doof again. <laughs> yep. We forgot about this part. And he, like, takes his hand in yours. And your gauntlet begins to glow. You see these like little strings erupt from his spine and enter your gauntlet before they leave again. <sighs> Sage's relics, it's a goofy name for it, but that's all I know. I, uh, look, the, the Sage's relics, I don't know what I'm 
trying to say, but... Oh, dude, you big dummy. <laughs> stop it, man! Freaking ah! Stop it! I said. I've never been good at goodbyes. <laughs> I always say the wrong thing. Just, you don't have to say anything. Thanks, man. Well, I mean, it's like I said before, I mean, who knows what's going to happen, right? <laughs> That's right? true. Who knows? Maybe you'll see me again. He smiles. I would like that. <sighs> he turns to everybody else, and he looks at you, Wu, and he nods like he fulfilled his end of the bargain. Wu... <sighs> You can tell is pretty sad about the situation, even though he doesn't say anything. He just kind of nods his head. Mm -hmm. He's going to look at Hugo, Shion, Jong, who are all more or less not making an effort to give him an emotional goodbye. But Shion will look at him and say, You know you don't have to do this, right? Is this really... What you want? I have to do this. I'm the Archduke. A wizard, a sage. And he looks at his companions behind him. It's only right that my journey ends here. Hugo gives him a look. And he holds out his hand. And he gives the Duke a firm handshake. <laughs> How about you, pretty boy? Looks at Jong. Jong walks up to the Duke. Sooner or later, Duke, we... all have to pay for our sins it may not feel like it but you are doing the right thing is that a compliment from you take it as a omission of guilt We can't escape the things we've done. And I want to say he almost gets the sense that, like, Jong's not just talking about the Duke. Mm-hmm. Sure. Sooner or later, your past will catch up with you. But I do respect you. I'm trying to make it right. One from you too. He gives you a handshake, holds out his hand. Jong starts to reach his hand out, but then he kind of pauses for a second. And then he just like grabs his wrist and kind of pats him on the arm. <laughs> Thank you, Duke. You showed me that making this kind of leap isn't such a bad thing, maybe. I'll remember this. Be honored to be remembered. How about you, Lala? She was looking down, and she looks him in the eyes, and she smiles, and she walks up, and she gives him a hug. Whoa. <laughs> he pats her head. Okay, <laughs> can let go now. <laughs> and she's hugging him tight. I know what it feels like. 
And then she lets go. And she smiles as she looks at him. And she slowly steps away backwards. And she looks at Lucius's team as well. You notice she looks at them and kind of nods. <laughs> Guess I'll be missed more than I thought. And he turns to Aki. You know, Aki, got a bit of a confession to make. Yeah, boss. I relied on you so much. But not as my bodyguard. I I hired you, sure, as a bodyguard. But you, without me even realizing it. Because I'm such a bonehead. You're one of my closest friends. I didn't hire a bodyguard, I gained a friend. That's all I could hope for. He like holds his arms open. She'll hug him. Without his jacket on and he's just shirtless now because that's, <laughs> ha that's happened. That's canon. <laughs> Hell yeah, brother. <laughs> deserve your rest and you deserve to make that choice even though I think a couple of us disagree with you my I wish I could save you all you didn't deserve any of this no that's that's where you're wrong we did well, he looks at Duke. Some of us did. We paid the price for our own hubris. Such is the way of this tower. And we were handed ours at the expense of yours. We got to see our loved ones. And all you wanted to do was see yours. Learn about this place. Be a closer team. That's a worthy goal that... This stupid fucking tower took from you for no reason. You shouldn't be punished for a pursuit of knowledge. Or wanting to hold your loved ones. You were doing the right thing. So no, you don't, none of you, she'll look at each one, none of you deserve this. And you shouldn't have to pay the penance. You shouldn't. You know, uh... I wish I could. journeying together on this train it was it was not bad he looks up at the sky maybe in another world another universe we'll all journey together even more I won't go where you're going just make sure that Hans isn't a terrible Duke of Bones he doesn't need our help anymore. Neither does Ryobe. <laughs> We're the band of bones, right? She'll look over to Hans and Ryobe. Yeah. <laughs> the band of bones. Forever. Everyone else? Lucius looks at you, Jung. He 
not. Jong also gives him a look. Like, he's not exactly sure how, but he knows what happened, and he just gives him a nod. Also above the table, the Duke got a text on his pocket, which I'm sure doesn't get there, but it goes through this, our sneezy telekinetic device, and Ace sends him a text of get a shirt, get a shirt with Let's buttons. Let's go. Let's go. Well, there we go. <laughs> so he hears that float through his mind. He shakes he his head. He stands there shirtless, covered in Eden's tears. He shakes his head. Peak fiction. <laughs> that is what I mean. <laughs> of course. And then when Lucius looks at you, Jong, his eyes flicker to Shion for a moment, and then he smiles and kind of steps back. Yeah, he does. Sheesh. Hey, handsome! Hugo looks up. <laughs> and then he, like, looks down. <laughs> like, like he shouldn't have responded to her saying that. <laughs> yeah. Okay! Damn, go on the now, buddy. Damn, Lonnie's right there. Relax. Chill. She blows him a kiss. <laughs> Lonnie intercepts. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> no, she doesn't. I don't think you can. <laughs> Poja looks around. I'm the lust of my line. I don't ask to be remembered. I simply ask that you respect the train. You don't ask to be remembered. I don't need to be remembered. Serving on this train was quite nice, in fact. Well, I'm glad you're content, but you don't have a choice. <laughs> you know, part of this spell is that the five of us, the five purified ones that enter, there's a small chance that we won't be entirely erased, but maybe, maybe even become one with the train. And I think that'd be quite nice. He smiles. Regardless of whatever happened to you, whatever possibilities there were, we met. And I'll remember you. And this little guy will remember you. And that's not going to change. You made a difference, Pocho. You should be proud of yourself. He looks down at his two wristlets and... You're a good man, Wu. And he steps back. Growler doesn't say anything. Well, guess it's time. He steps forward, his back facing all of you. Step, step, step. And there's, there's a gap, right? It's like the five of them are on one side, the rest of you on the other side. Damn. This is so sad. Before Growler goes, Eden will bow to him in the hall, former, formal style, to acknowledge him. He looks shocked. <laughs> he like slowly bows back. Step. Far. Duke turns around. Five are actually heroes. I know I've come across as a bit of an asshole these past few years you've known me, Duke. But I appreciate someone doing the right thing. Will you notice Lonnie's hand kind of clench? 
Wait, Lolly, you trying to clench my hand? No. Okay. I was like, yeah. I was like, you can't do that. You see, she she kind of her hand kind of bunches together. Oh, I'm just noticing. Yes. This. Okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm getting a little emotional over <laughs> here. <laughs> Feelings are running high. <laughs> Okay, stop. Up. Stop, brother. Stop. <laughs> Duke walks forward. You see his back. It's like a cross motion. It's like his hand becomes ink for a moment as this cross is etched into the void. And then it starts to glow. And for a moment, the entire void shakes. It flickers back and forth. It rumbles. And you almost hear a voice of sadness from above, a cry of loneliness. But maybe it's just in your heads. And then five, five white circles begin to glow on the ground. A few feet away from each of the five, the spell's finished. Five purified ones. Come on right up. He turns back to all of you. Thank you. All of you. He kind of like walks towards all of you to give you all one last look before he enters the circle. Lucius enters the circle and Growler and they begin to glow. Poja enters the circle. Bridget enters the circle. And Duke is looking out at all of you. And he smiles. And he starts to walk towards the circle. And then you hear A whip crack. Duke vanishes in front of you. He completely disappears. Frickin' and Lonnie, suddenly, dude. he then appears in front of you. What? <gasps> what the hell? And then, a wall appears between you and Lucius' team. <sighs> Duke is standing next to all of you. The hell? What? Someone vanishes next to all of you and appears on the other side. This isn't your time, Duke. And Lonnie appears on the other end. What? Lonnie, what the hell are you doing? What, what, are you, what, are you, what are you doing? Duke runs up to the wall. What are you? Stop! He starts pounding against the wall. You aren't the Archduke. You don't have to pay for his sins. This isn't your time. No, 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 no! He starts pounding against the wall. Help me! Help me! He starts pounding. Lottie! What are you doing? Wu? I'm the variable. And she turns to face you. What do you mean? You're not... You what, what do you mean? You all gave me a second chance. If you hadn't found me, who knows what I would have done. She was my sister. <laughs> I finally said it. All I wanted was to find purpose. Duke, he's just shaking his head. Stop. 
You shouldn't be forced into this. You need to find your own purpose and not let someone dictate it for you. Please, go find your real treasure. And he shakes his head. No, Pojo, why did you do this? You see Pojo's lighthouses glow. Pojo. He... No, he couldn't have... I purified Lonnie. Just as Lonnie, she asked no. me. And this is what You're I want. You're not wrong, but like... This is what I want, Wu. Listen to me! I get it. I agree with you. What you want for him, that is the right way. That's what he deserves. We all deserve to make our own choice that you're making yours, but you promise me. This doesn't end well. There was no easy way out of this. But for the first time in my life, I feel alive. I feel... And she smiles. Like I finally know why I'm here, why I was born, why I'm on this train. Just like the ferryman said. She looks at you, Brack. <laughs> Don't make me do this. I wasn't supposed to be here. That's exactly why I want to do this. You all taught me something that I'll never, ever forget. We need to choose our own paths. And you're taking it away from the Duke by wanting to commit suicide. Hugo he made puts a, a hand on your shoulder, he... Eden. <sighs> oh, please, please, please. Without my treasure, what'll I do? It's a fake treasure, Duke. Lottie! It wasn't real. Don't make me kill you. You're taking away his choice. Exactly what you're making. She's right, though. Duke isn't the Archduke that we know. He's just a kid that received his memories. Does he really have to pay for our sins? Neither do you, Lonnie! All I ask, Duke. All I ask. Is that you give somebody the second chance, too. That's it. And Eden, I'm not. This isn't that. The path that I've discovered for myself is to give you a path, Duke. And I hope you can give it to someone else, too. That's all. And she smiles brightly. Please. You don't have to. This doesn't have to be like this. And Duke is just pounding and pounding against the wall. Tears streaming down his cheeks. I didn't offer you my hand for you to sacrifice yourself. This isn't just a sacrifice. Yeah, it's suicide. She shakes her head. I made a horrible mistake. She'll just glare at Eden. Him stop, she says. To stop. Stop the Duke from pounding on, on the thing, and Eden will just shoot Shiona glare and just go back to the Duke. Who's gonna rush towards Lonnie? There's a wall blocking you from Poja. It's like a light, a wall created by lighthouses. And he glares at Poja. Let it down before I tear it down. She made her choice first. What gives you the right? to allow him to kill himself instead of her. This isn't just suicide. Would you rather one over the other? Yeah. 
She spoke to me. She spoke to me and I listened to her heart. You're telling me that I'm just supposed to let it go? Lottie, look at me! After everything you said, this is really what you want? It is. And she doesn't even look sad, she's just smiling. I lost the only treasure I ever had, but now I found it again. A treasure that shines even brighter. He regrets this. I don't. And Duke, like, his eyes open like she's telling the truth, but he doesn't want to accept it. No, I don't regret it, I don't! I'm sorry, Eden. I'm sorry, everyone, but... This is what I want for my path. Damien, do you think this you could is... disable his lighthouse wall? This is truly what you want. This is your desire? It is. I know what it looks like, but it is. This is what I want. And it's not out of any kind of self-harm or anything like that. You've all shown me what it's like to live, and I want that for him. He deserves it. And right now you're happy with that? She nods. I see. Damien, you didn't want me to throw myself away. I didn't. You didn't want me to end it. So why are you okay with her? Why would you be okay with the Duke? None of this is right or wrong. This is what the Duke has fought for. This is why his companions have been on this train for years. But it's all fake. And years and suffering. They should be together. I'm sorry if this causes division. No, you're not. Hugo looks at you, Damien, like maybe you could take down this wall with your lighthouses? I look, don't, I look at Lonnie. Is she really serious about this? This is the most resolute she's looked. to glare at, at the Duke. You're not lying, are you, to yourself? I, I... I want to live. Fuck! And he slams his hand down. I do, but it shouldn't matter. You didn't make that mistake. You deserve to live. And there's a portal that appears behind you all that's kind of slowly compelling you to leave. Slowly tugging at your clothes, pulling you back. Who's gonna reach towards Lonnie? One last time. I know you're making the choice that you want to make, but I, I can't accept it. 
as wrong of me to feel this way. This is exactly what I don't believe in. It's, it's not. It's just. It's not wrong. I know more than anyone what it's like to not have a dream. And to have one manufactured for you? It's too cruel. I don't want that. And she like holds her hand out and touches one end of the wall. I'm just gonna like reciprocate that and he's gonna just say It's exactly what I never wanted for myself. And I was about to take it away from somebody else without a moment's hesitation because <laughs> Honey you My life wouldn't be the same if I never met you. I'm so glad I did. And she smiles, tears falling. I am so glad I met you. Well. And Wu's hand kind of slides down the barrier in defeat. portal begins to suck everyone towards its mouth. Duke! Remember that photo we took? Those were the happiest days of my life. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. And everyone, the portal begins to engulf you. She smiles. If we ever meet again, you're gonna get a talking to. <laughs> I can't wait. Sooner rather than later. Oh. The portal engulfs you all. <sighs> Lucius sighs. You didn't have to do this, girl. I feel selfish for even... And she just puts a hand on his arm. This is... My decision to give him his decision. Simple as that. Without this journey and that 1% chance they took on me, I would have been nothing. And she smiles with tears streaming down her cheeks. I truly could not be happier. I found something I can cherish. That makes me the happiest person in this tower. That's why you chose this, says Poja. Not necessarily. I also wanted to give Duke a chance. The only chance he's ever had to discover himself. For the first time. And she says that and like holds her heart. And I know he'll pass it on. You are a saint, girl. And he smiles. And the light engulfs Lucius. And he looks up, and his eyes go wide. Marianne? My love. And he smiles. Seeing you is all I ever wanted. It really would be nice, becoming one with this train. Maybe a guardian. <laughs> Wouldn't that be nice?
You ready, Growler? She kind of like pats him on the back. I don't want to be remembered as Growler. My name is Kwong Sun. <laughs> All right, Kwong Sun, let's go. My name, he smiles. I quite like it. <sighs> she steps forward and steps again and again. Goodbye, everyone. I'll always treasure this journey. Once you're absorbed by the portal, each of you finds yourself landing onto the cold ground of the Hell Train, slamming forcefully onto it. <laughs> Duke is crying beside all of you. <laughs> he punches the ground. Thank you. <laughs> I swear. I swear. I'll discover it. I'll discover my treasure. I swear. <laughs> Nearby all of you, you hear a, uh, alone, 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 and you look over, and you see the mirror, like, compressing in on itself. Alone, so, so, alone, and it's compressing and compressing, its hand reaching outwards, alone, And it turns into a circle. Bro 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 brother. Bro Until it closes in on itself. Leaving nothing. walks away from the group. My heart literally sunk. Everyone is there. Duke and Rian... Duke and Ryobe and Hans are all crying together, sobbing. Hey Duke, scooch over a little bit. Come on now. We gotta take a photo to commemorate our journey, right? And you hear a, uh, a snapshot. Shudder.
Now, this isn't the end of the episode, but we're close. All right. What is, what else are you gonna torture us with, Joe? I ain't gonna lie, I got nothing left, bro. So like, whatever you got, please spare me. We're gonna take just a second. Just a second. Let's just kind of collect for a second here. Um, after Brock walked away from the group, probably down some random corridor of the hill train, for the first time since he's entered the inner tower, he's let his rage go. And as he's letting his rage go, he's saying out loud, God damn it, another one. This was another person that I couldn't save. What the f <laughs> A lot you didn't have to give yourself up. And as he's shouting in a fit of rage, he's just hitting the hill train from all sides. I want to take a minute to say that the rest of the train ride is going smoother now. It's like the pace has kind of picked up a bit. You've been on the train about two years now, in total adding in together a couple months from Eden's Purification, about a month from Brax. It's been about two years. You quickly ascend to the 41st floor, and then the 42nd and 43rd. During this time, as you're approaching and climbing and climbing, Is there anything you want your characters to say or do? We're just on the train, Craig. Like, yeah. Throughout the time that we've uh, been on the train, um, after the uh, Lonnie incident, yeah. Rock is just pondering all the people who've come and gone and his uh, time during this climb. Yeah. And it's slowly starting to change him a little bit. And he's becoming more like eight. Great. <laughs> Lovely. I would say that Wu's kind of taking a step back. He, he, for everything that had happened during the, the train, he's a lot more reclusive than he would have been otherwise if everything was okay and he's questioning whether or not his perspective is right at this point while damien understands lonnie's decision it's still affects him greatly but he's thinking about what the next step is I think Eden would very much isolate after everything um her normal red hair by now has lost its color and she wouldn't have redyed it um and she'd just keep her head down and just train she'd mess with the harp she'd try to do anything she could to improve her skill set but she'd make it a point not to talk to or interact with anybody And if you did brush again, you know, if you did run into her or whatever, it's a very cold demeanor. Uh, 
Um, Zhang would have somewhat kept to himself. Uh, would have been doing a lot of training, but also just kind of uh, research and work on his own looking into things. But I would say that he... I don't know, like, if the Duke is still been with us on the rest of this train ride. Um, but if he was, John would have been making a very active effort to avoid talking or looking at or even trying to be in the same room. Um, and you would have definitely gotten the impression that, right or wrong, he blames the Duke a little bit for what happened. The Duke keeps his distance from everybody. Go ahead, Damien. I would also like to say that I'm I'm there. People yeah. want to talk. Okay. About what happened. You make that known not to just everybody. For the, just not just for the players, but even the NPCs too. Hmm. Duke would have um, kept his distance, and any time you do see him, you know, you'll maybe. A, take a test together if there's no other options or whatever else he looks ashamed of himself ashamed guilty especially in those first couple of weeks go ahead Milios I want to add in if if you'll allow it the Brack and the Duke did bump into each other Brack's demeanor towards the Duke was more so pompous, and he uttered these words to him. Don't feel down on yourself. You wanted to live. Who cares how what life did cost? You got what you wanted. He would not have responded. Damien says he makes it clear that he is open to talk. Does anybody take him up on that over the next three months? Ooh, uh, yeah. Zhang would have. For sure, as well. We can uh, I think... Yeah. Let's do it. We doing a group therapy, or is it... We can do... Well, I was going to say, I think, I think Wu, while he feels the way that he feels, I don't think he's trying to isolate from anybody, though. Like, he, he feels what he feels, but he's... Like, I think he's also trying to approach Eden at this time as well. Yeah. Well, I've... Damien's got your back, bro. Bring it in. Give me a hug. A digital hug. I I hope you're so. not in the... I, I... You're in the real not used... he... no, I, He's I, not I... used to it. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I see. No. Nah, the... Yeah, he's not used to that kind of, of reciprocation, but, like, right now he's open to it. I just don't know if he did the right thing. Wait, so I'm sorry. I just want to... This is, like, the three of us in a group? I think that's cool. If you... Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm I just wanted to make sure. Bring it in, Chung. Digital hug for you, too. Come on. <laughs> no, I, I really... I don't have many words for this moment. But... It's definitely hard for everyone. It wasn't great. But she... The Duke was supposed to do the right thing. But that's not how life works, John. I've always thought that... Everybody should be able to make their own decisions and... Make their own choices, but I never... Really thought the ramifications through before. She wanted this. And the Duke didn't want to make that sacrifice, and I didn't see it. I was okay with him dying. And on top of that, I was willing to stop her from achieving what she wanted most. When that's all I wanted for. Her. I don't get it. I... Want it? Huh? Do you mean he didn't want it? 
This isn't about what you want to do. It's right or wrong. Those aren't Lonnie's sins. They're the Archduke's. I know that. But they're not the Duke of Bones' sins either. He has his own will to a certain degree. They're both the victims in this. It's unfair. The Duke fully intended to sacrifice himself. And Alani wanted the Duke to have another chance at life. That's just it. She finally found her footing. She could have done so much more, and that's what she chose. Don't you see? She just met. It's not about what the reasoning is. Don't you see? That's the purity of what she chose. I can't. Times we have to do this. I just. Do you guys think that maybe we should stop sometimes? Like. And we was like fidgeting and like very nervous, almost like a little kid. What do you mean, stop? Like, take a break. Maybe Everyone I... We don't have to climb the tower. Everyone I talk to, everyone I get close to, they end up... I always believe that making your own choices was the best way to live life. Every time I got in the way of somebody else's personal choices, it ruined their life, and... Every time everybody got in the way of mine, it did the same. But now, I'm not so sure. Maybe it's just me. Maybe I shouldn't be around anyone. No. If she'd never met me, this wouldn't have happened. I think... I think I want to believe that this really was her desire. And that if she's truly gone forever, she wouldn't want to see us like this. Tong, you can't forgive the Duke. He stands up as he, like, clenches his fist. No. He feels just as bad as anyone, maybe more. When cowards like us commit sins, we have to pay for them. That's all there is to it. He... Maybe... Maybe you should talk to the Duke. The choice wasn't his. Guys, I know we all feel differently about it, but there's people here that need us to get our shit together and be there for them too. That's right. It is not okay. And I have no idea where to begin with where Brack is at. We gotta pull our shit together for now. You're right. Yes, I agree. But to answer your question, Damien. No. This does not make me want to stop climbing. If anything, I'm more invigorated than ever to get so much power that I can burn down every injustice in this tower. Who puts his hand on John's shoulder? You're not doing it alone. Remember that. I'm tired of this bullshit. 
It can't keep happening. Let's work together to make something better. I completely agree. It slightly seemed like a good ending for us. Seems almost impossible. But... Someone once told me that... She... Was more interested in breaking the game than playing it. I think... I need to change the way I think. Don't do that. Just refocus. I think that... I want to focus on... a win for everyone. I know it sounds crazy, but... I just... think that... maybe wanting to get two out of three objectives complete wasn't how I should have approached things. And now you want to do one step at a time. I think... I think I want to be greedy and get three out of three objectives every time. (laughs) Well, I'm glad that hasn't changed at least. (laughs) I'm gonna work harder, guys. But... I know that you guys are going to stumble and fall, and I'm going to make mistakes too, but I'm with you guys. What's most important is that we're all here for each other. Let's not forget the beacon of which time we help our other teammates out. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah, we're right. So should we uh, draw straws on who we get? Mm. Maybe not a funny thing to do. Uh, We can all just approach it together like we just said, no? Yeah. Yeah. Let's try that. A unified front. I just don't want to talk to eight again if that's cool. Talk to who, sorry? No worries. <laughs> no, I, I I actually didn't hear. Sorry. Uh, he said eight. He said eight. Yeah. Oh. Actually, I'd like to try talking to Greg. Yeah. Well, uh, I will talk to Eden then. I think I'll do the same and leave Brack to you. Might be for the best. Sounds good. Wait, I just said we fight front. Oh, well, it's fine. We got this. Well, I think it's just easier if we divide and conquer for for now. That's true. Get a feel for where everybody's at, and then we'll, we'll assess from there. Yeah. Gather information, plan a course of action, and go from there. I like it. Guys. Mm. this tower it's gonna take more from us before we're done just don't make anybody any unrealistic promises I'm done making promises to people all it does is get them hurt I may stumble and fail, but I will keep trying to make the impossible possible. It's the most you answer you could have given. I'm serious, though. All right. I'm going to go find Brack or Eight. Now... Are we doing divide conquer? I mean, who are you going with, Damien? Uh, yeah, why not? We don't have to separate it. Yeah, why not? Well, I mean, should we go with? Yeah, yeah, let's, let's separate. Let's separate. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, let's do. Let's do. Wu and Damien, you guys can go. With two yeah. yeah, yeah. Sounds good. All right. We'll have these conversations. 
So uh, who's going first? Yeah, who wants to go first? Um, I'll go first, but I want to say like before he goes to wherever Brack is, when Jong gets a moment, like as he's walking away, he's by himself in the hall. Uh, he just kind of takes a moment to stop and looks up towards the ceiling of the hell train and he just kind of softly says to himself money what a terrible wonderful person you are and then he goes you know to go find Brack so we'll do that first um, Brack I know you were this could be over the course of a few days, so it doesn't have to be like that day this all happened, but um, at some point, Jong would find you and approach you and want to talk. How's it going, Blue Leader? I'm not going to lie. It's bad out there. Yeah. Believe it. Did you know when Red Leader's purification, I threw myself in front of Lala to protect her from an attack. And she just gave it away. She didn't think about the life that she could live. She didn't think about anything past that one very, very bad moment. Seems like everyone I meet, they, they meet an end that is completely unnecessary. No one wants to talk things out. No one wants to just try to come up with a plan they just act on the moment that's how I lost Hedge <laughs> the old man decided that well one of us had to go and so he attacked him and then the priestess he shot at a goddamn bubble shield and just dropped the shards on her. I watched her die. She wanted nothing but the best for everyone else. And he took the rest of her life from her. And then I failed at protecting Sil Young. Little Young could have died when I got beat by Leaf. I go around saying that I'm a goddamn defender and I can't even protect a single fucking soul. That is frustrating. Rack. When I was young, I didn't have a lot of friends. So, I spent a lot of time by myself. And before I met... Uh, I was alone for a long time. I was able to... befriend... a small animal. It was a cat. thing was so sick and injured it could barely walk it hid in a small little grove just outside the woods of the estate and I would sneak out of my backyard most days to go give it some food give it company I had made up my mind that this one day I was gonna bring the cat with me home. I was gonna show my mom for sure she'd let us keep it and raise it.
some fellow kids from the estate found out that I was looking after this cat. I went back to that tree the next day and I found nothing but a corpse. Crack life isn't fair. It's not going to be fair to you. And it's not going to be fair to me. Hell, it's not going to be fair to anybody on this team, anybody in this tower, because we all want the same thing. We all said yes to this climb. We all agreed to just the smallest chance at a better life. comes at a cost. But if we just stick our heads up our asses and blame ourselves every time we get taken from, maybe next time nobody's around to save a life. I understand that this is probably going to hit you hard. But Duke made his choice and Lonnie made hers. If you really feel at fault or guilty, then when you're done, when you've cried your eyes out. You come find me in the training room. You pick up that harpoon of yours. And we go turn ourselves into people that are so strong that nobody can get pulled away from us. And if they do, people who make those kinds of decisions will be strong enough to get revenge for. At least that's what I believe. I think that's where you and I differ, Blue Leader. I don't want revenge. Hell. I even know that asking someone to do the right thing is a bit much. Just don't want to see someone go unnecessarily. It's painful. I I put on a very tough exterior sometimes. But sometimes it's... It's hard to watch. And in that moment... Uh, Joe, what we talked about, you said role of religion, right? Uh, yeah. role of religion, right? Yeah. Alright. If it succeeds, it doesn't have to I'll, be a crazy high it. roll. It, it just might affect what you're trying. Okay, that just passes. That's all. Okay. That's, that is what I was looking for. So in that moment, you notice blue eyes come out just a bit. It's not like he left his cage, but Brock just starts to cry as his eyes shift towards blue. The malice intent isn't there. And like every other time where a vision would happen with other people, you take a peek inside the past of blue eyes. And as it goes into the past, you notice him smiling, happy. The, the visual color of his eyes are blue. He's smiling, he's happy. He's walking with about a five foot two lady. They both have like wicked baskets on their back. 
carrying Brock is carrying water and she is carrying like potatoes and they're going all the way back to like their home in the village and then it flashes forward to him holding her body and you notice that there's a bump on her belly and then it brings you out the flashback It's just hard. And Brock gets up and he walks away. John just sits there, kind of with like a conflicted look on his face. Part of him said what he said to Brack, but part of him does agree that all he wants right now is revenge for the people that were taken from them. Okay. Do we want to move on to the other conversation? Does that sound like a good time? Okay. When they find you, Eden, what are you doing? Um, she'd probably be in, you know, wherever there's, like, a training place, um, on the train. And I'd say it would, she's in a state where it would harken back to, like, you know, if somebody remembered seeing her on, like, the second floor, um, when she was, like, obsessively training, or, um, even during the, like, the workshop or other places where she was, like, obsessively, um, training to the point where like you know her hands are bloody like she's just soaked in sweat and um you now see that her all of her hair is like a gray white now um Lucia's gonna walk up to her like if she's in the middle of training currently it, like if that's the case he's just gonna put his hand on the hand that she's using to train and kind of lower it a little bit and look at her in the eye and be like just as sincere as you can we need to talk and about I'm here too about what well about what has happened about how you feel. I don't want you to distance yourself from us again. But there's this pain in my chest and I can't, it won't go away and I don't want to deal with it again get by myself I know we're all feeling it so I want to talk about it and well we believe that you're feeling similar to us so we're here I guess is what we're trying to say What's there to talk about? What's done is done. Everything I touch turns to ash. I got a glimpse of a fairy tale. And here we are. Right back at the end of the fucking workshop. Is that it? Is that... Are we cursed? Like... Feels like it. It's, we're not cursed, it's just, this. What is it, then? This is just. We take Victor and Leif under our wing and they're gone. 
I pulled Lonnie out of that sea of bodies. Now she's gone. If I never met her, she wouldn't even be here. She made her own choice, and that's exactly what I believe in, and yet she's gone. So what the? Just like we let Leaf make her choice. And Victor made his. And Raisha made hers. And Nari made hers. And Dominic made his. And Chong made his with Luca. And Brack made his with everything. I don't oh. think their choices reflect on who we are. You don't, don't see it, Damien. What do you mean? They don't reflect. They're making They've their... shaped us. <laughs> I mean, their choices. What? What do you think they're thinking about when they make these choices? That's just it. It doesn't matter. I think that they should be able to make these choices and look where it's gotten everybody. Well, and I can't save them. What am I supposed to do? I guess. When a choice is made, we just have to live with the result. But when I made my choice, you didn't agree with it. I didn't want you to throw your life away. How's that any different than what Lonnie did? When I looked at her, I believed her when she said that this was her desire. And you didn't believe me? No. No, I guess I it shows how much we don't know each other. Doesn't matter. I'm glad you're still here. I get. We have to be here for each other now. Regardless of what choices we want to make can't believe I'm the one saying this, but it's... Regardless the of the choices, huh? Are you gonna make my decision for me? No. That's the problem. That's why... What I can't get past, I can't do that for you. And I don't know where to be or what my role is for anybody. I think it's just a nuisance. You are, you're not a nuisance, Will. Everybody I've ever known has been worse off because of me. I'm sure that... I'm sure that everyone who made these choices would say otherwise. I have to make it right. Somehow. I'm not leaving you guys alone. Not again. I'm not running away. I want to be here. That's that's good. Because it's, it's, I believe that being alone at this difficult time would not be good. Being alone is the only thing that's kept me sane the last couple months. And it's all but reconfirmed to me that coming back was a mistake. You really feel that way? What good have I done, Wu? Since you met back up with me in Train City, what good have I done? I got the band of bones slaughtered. I got Lonnie. Sacrificed. Or suicided, whatever she wants to call it. None of us have reconnected. None of us have talked. The Duke won't even look at me anymore. 
What good have I possibly done? I don't want you to But it okay. doesn't matter if you did or did. Okay, what are you going to do now? Is the question. What are we going to do now together? Eden, do you remember in Zhang's purification? When the two Zhangs were fighting? Me and Brack tried to talk to the child, and obviously we both weren't very good at that. So you came in and, well, you got things under control. My plan was a good one, but it wasn't possible with me and Brack. If we hadn't got out of Jong's purification, we could have lost more people. So, you have it done good. You just... It would have found a way to resolve itself. Jong has it in him. Just takes a little prodding. And who do you think brought that out of him? Because it certainly wasn't him by himself. That's true. It's just someone who knew how to talk to a kid. No, if you hadn't been around, we wouldn't be able to have made any of the progress that we've made. If you feel as though you fail, like I do, the question is what we do now, what we do moving forward. If we haven't made a difference, if that's how you feel, then let's make one. Let's lean on each other to do so. Let's not let everyone's sacrifices be for nothing. There's still things we can accomplish. There's still things we have to stop. I really do truly believe that we can accomplish our goals without anybody dying. You're a fool, Damien. An absolute fool if you think that. More death, more loss, more pain will follow us up the tower the higher we climb. How do you know? Have you climbed it's, the tower before? It's followed us so far. I mean, you want to stop, though? What does that do to everything that we've lost so far? Sometimes other people need to rest. I carried a lot of burdens, Will. I don't know what you saw in my purification. But I'm tired. I'm very, very tired. That's what you need. I support that too. I just don't want you to feel like, regardless of what you decide, that you have to bear burdens alone. I'll always be here. And I truly believe that we we have had choice, but we've just been in, in a rut so long that it just everything, every positive outcome seems impossible. But moments like Mount Costica, I think, prove that we can do it. Mount Costica was a shit show. But we were lucky that things will it turned out and out the way that they should have. And I would like to get that lucky result on the rest of the floors climbing the tower. You, you might know, say that's foolish. A... But it's not impossible. I don't think that David's outlook is wrong. I mean we have to keep pressing forward. And if we... Yeah, sorry, go ahead. No, I'm just saying if we do it with that mindset, then... Of course we're going to stumble, of course things are going to keep going wrong. That's just life, but... And the more we things can't go wrong, the more we'll blame ourselves. It's... Not a good cycle. 
I want to break the wheel and end the cycle. You sound like Tirseth. Well, maybe Tirseth isn't entirely wrong. Would you need sent us on this godforsaken mission? We would have climbed the the tower. We would have climbed the tower anyways. What did the Duke give you, Tanya? He... well... It's difficult to explain, but... My scissors have memory properties, and the scissors are now my gauntlet, which has enhanced the effects of which I can read the memories more quickly. So you have his knowledge? And his feeling, but, well, the Duke is still here with us. Okay. What, uh, what was on the thing, Joe? So, yeah, as you spend some time kind of observing... You're muted. Thank you. I was unmuted on OBS, but not Discord. Um... As you spend time observing uh, the memories, you're realizing it's it's kind of a collection, almost like an ebook, of everything he knew about traversing, like a you know a spark notes, everything he knew about traversing these worlds or you know any, anything of anything relating to alternate timelines, oh, so dimensions, etc. This is this is the Archduke's yes. memories. Yes, yes, for sure. Oh lord, it's the Archduke's oh, knowledge about and his that and his feelings too. Mixed in there? Sure. Yeah. I think he would probably know better than anyone his feelings. His mixed feelings towards everything that took place. And regardless of how the conversation went, you know, um, and and of course, this is going to be over three months, so things are kind of coming and going. Is there any, like, last... Was that good for the conversation? I mean, clearly it wasn't, you know. But um, I do want to... Yes, please. Yeah. Let's let's try and conclude it. Let's let's give it. A let's finale. conclude it. Yeah, like, sure. I, I feel, please. I feel like we got like ninety five percent of L- yeah. the conversation. Okay. There's, there, we don't have a conclusion to it. I'd I'd love to. Yeah. I agree with that. So, I want to make the impossible possible. And you said it sounds crazy, but wow. Well, I'd like to try. I don't think my approach to things has been exactly positive for morale. I mean, two out of three things getting done, it doesn't exactly inspire confidence. I want to get three out of things done. Three out of three things done. I want to be able to save Lucius's gang help the mirror, and get Victor back. Okay. None of those things are what I'm trying to do right now, but... Sure. I mean, that's that's what I wanted to do in that mm. moment. And, you know, we, we only realistically got, like, maybe one and a quarter of it done. But we can't control everything. Yeah. But I just want to try and... I want to go into it. any any fight with a three out of three mindset, you know? Go 100% sure. all the time. Ian, do you really think you can't move forward from here? After everything? prefer to be alone, but do you really like it? Can't be the case. Not from what you really said, not from what we've seen. Relationships and I are complicated. There are times I need people to fill a void. Make me feel alive again.
But then they come back and they hurt so bad that I get sent back into solace. Where it doesn't hurt as bad. Or at least, I can manage it. It's a sad tug of war. It is a sad tug of war. I cannot deny, but... I mean... You want those good moments, right? Like, you still go back for the good moments every single time. That, to me, doesn't seem like someone who's completely given up hope. Right? With all the hurt it causes, being alone isn't easier. I think I, I learned you. in my purification that um, my good moments are long behind me. That's not true. Yeah. There must have been good moments on this climb. There might have been few and far between, but there were times when you smiled and you were happy and you were excited and and then look what Almost happened. Almost unrecognizable. I mean... And it's gonna keep happening, but we're gonna fight to make sure it doesn't keep happening. We can't avoid every causality. All we can do is try and protect what we hold most dear. Let's fight together for it. Let's lean on each other. I'm begging you. You have a good team around you, Wu. I haven't decided whether I'll be a part of it or not. It's my decision, right? I get to make those? You do. It certainly is. I just... <laughs> Well, I guess... I'll never uh, stop caring. Yeah. I guess, uh, I guess we'll be around. Or, uh, not far off. If you want to talk, because... That's kind of a thing that here, we do. We? Well, I mean... People want their privacy. I know Brack went off on his own, and so did the Duke of Bones. Yeah. We're working on getting everyone together I just you know if I can leave you with one final thing from a poem that I know it's uh let everything happen to you beauty and terror just keep going no feeling is final I know that you'll be, there will be a moment of happiness somewhere in the future. You just have to find it. All right, I've got no more insightful things to say. I don't know, sir. I'm all I out of, uh, yeah, I'm all, I'm all out of uh, quotes. I hope you, we can be there when you do, but... I'm going to get back to training. Yeah. Good. Okay. Training's good. All right. We'll we'll uh, we'll leave you to that. We're going to go find... Uh, who do we want to find next? Uh, Fion or Hugo? I wonder what they're up to. Yeah, you leave and... Um... I'm just reading chat and... Uh... Yeah, I do want to say that as you keep climbing upwards and you're all going to have, you know, simple conversations with the NPCs, we can keep them, you know, pretty simple. We can have them. But um, I do want to say there's one time, Eden, where you kind of specifically are alone and you kind of 
cross paths with Duke, right? At some point mm-hmm. during that climb. And he kind of, he's like looking down and then he looks up. This would be after the conversation with Damien and Wu. Let's catch his eye and keep going. He doesn't move. He doesn't keep going to where he was going to go. Hey. And he says, he says, hey. What do you need? He looks at you. And after a long pause, I meant everything I said. Aki. For better or worse, for whoever we've lost, regardless of whether it's right or wrong, I'm going to move on. But I don't want to move on alone. Your choices are your choices. I just... I want you to know that as a friend, I care about you. I cherish you. I know another tower climber whose desire it was to live as well. He was a friend who cherished me for a time. I understand that. And I'm glad he can move forward. Good luck. So that's it? You want us to uh, know each other anymore? Didn't say I wasn't your friend. I wouldn't want that. You don't want to be friends anymore? Okay. You said it, not me. Okay, now you're just being petty. (laughs) You know what I mean. You haven't seen the depths of my pettiness. That's just me trying to make things a little less awkward. (laughs) True, I forgot. We're dealing with the petty queen from Train City. (laughs) Yeah, Mr. Muscles. Listen, muscles are good. Yeah, mm mm-hmm. Muscles make the world go round. What the fuck? Oh, sure, dude, whatever. Look. Whether I'm employed by you or not, we will always be friends. He like sighs. If, go ahead. if you're doubting that, then go talk to Hans and Rio, babe. They'll get you through it. Okay. Thanks. Anytime, boss. Anytime. And then he, he walks away. And Amy will continue on her path. With 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 uh, Damien Wu and the others, um, did you want to talk to the other NPCs, or did we could do them off screen, on screen before we? Uh, no, Wu saying no. Huh? Oh, uh, I don't know. We've that had been going on for a while. I know. I, mean, I know. We still what have you, one thing whatever left. everyone else wants to do. Wu saying no. Isaiah, what do you think? I mean, I'm down to have. Zhang try to talk to Xion, mm-hmm. but I don't want to like keep everybody here if we're trying to. Sure, you know. I think. Um, I say, uh, uh, if you got, oh. if you guys got, I, I thought you meant mostly like 
if you guys got specific things you want to do, just do them. Yeah. If we're gonna have a long ep, it's you know wrapping this huge freaking arc up. Right. Yeah. I don't know. It's uh, I'll leave it totally up to you guys. I was okay. gonna say Brack was going to try to talk to Shion mm, okay. next. Okay. Do you want to you know go first? He, he'd been traveling with her and Jong throughout like For the majority sure. of the time. Yeah. So Get those three. Yeah. Do you want to do you want to do it as a, as the three of you, and then maybe it could be Jong and Shion? No, no, Brock want to talk to her alone. alone. Okay. Yeah. Got it. Sure. Okay, you want to go first, Brack? Oh man. Uh, yeah, it's, it's gonna be quick. Okay. All right. All right. You see Shion not training, as you may have thought. Every other time you've tried to go find her or talk to her, it's you know. She's training or something. She seems to be writing something in a notebook. <sighs> she kind of like tucks it away. Brack, hey. I'm hoping you pick up on this. How's it going, Shion? It's, it's going. How about you? I'm all right. At least, you know, I have to be for the moment, you know. <laughs> uh, but, anywho. Right. I know things were tough for you growing up. I saw some things in my purification. It's, it's, it's all kind of vague. Regardless of how much of a goose, goofball that I may be, how hard it may be to approach me, I am here. You and Jong, throughout our climb over those past couple of years, I was able to count on you two a lot. And after recent events, I don't know what I would do if something happened to you two. <laughs> or Eden, or Wu, or even Damien. Especially Damien. Got that going goofball. But. Life is precious. And I just hope that whatever it is that you want to tackle, whoever it is that you may have feelings for, don't say anything. Uh, just don't let time pass you by before it's too late. She looks up at you before she says anything she just stands up and like walks up to you she's like maybe just a little over half your height and she gives you a hug when she looks up she noticed the blue eyes mm -hmm. and she noticed him crying You, me. And he. Go ahead. I was going to say, and he hugs her back. You, me, Jong. We've been through so much. Even Damien. Wu. The others. I never could have imagined I would meet a team like all of you. And she pulls away. Are we perfect? Oh god, no. We have so much to work on, and we're barely even into our climb. Tragedies like this... I think we gotta get used to it. As horrible as that is to say. 
I'll do everything in my power to stop it from happening again. But I also know... Jod's in control, right? Nothing's really changed in this tower pretty much ever. And it's only gotten worse. And worse. And worse. But, but... As hard as it is, and as much as I struggle, if I don't hold on to even just a thread of, 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 of something, I'll become like, and she kind of struggles to say it, like Lonnie. I want to be what she was in her final moments. Strong. Even if we disagree. She made a choice that she felt was right, and that's what I want to do. It's not easy, though. <sighs> if I could, I would pull her out of there and shove Duke back in in a heartbeat. Don't tell him I said that. Actually, you can tell him I said that. I don't care. Thanks, Brack. Don't worry. I feel the same way. You called me Shion. It's your name, isn't it? <laughs> it's been a... Uh rough few days I'm still not well with balancing my emotions <laughs> there was one once upon a time where I only knew rage <laughs> but I appreciate you Shion I appreciate you too Brack alright Brack, like, tries to wipe the tears from his eyes, and she notices that, like, they're turning back red. Don't tell Jong I said any of this. If you do, Tiger and Purse, I'm taking your legs, and he walks away. <laughs> <laughs> she just shakes her head. See ya, Brack. Uh, can I do something for, like, two seconds before yeah. you talk to she on, bro? Oh, okay, okay. I see. You're good. Yeah, go, go. You got it. I see, I see. Yeah, they can take like two seconds. We was just gonna like like the next time you see him after the conversation with uh Eden and Damien, he's gonna be in Hugo's room. And he's just gonna sit next to Hugo. And he's gonna put his arm around Hugo's shoulder. Yeah, right. Why wouldn't I be? Why would you be? And then he opens up his hands, and it looks like you caught him carving a figurine bigger than he usually does, taking his time. <laughs> I can't hide anything from you, can I? You're the, you're the only one that gets me to confess my secret, so seems like an equal trait. I've seen Eden. I understand what she's going through. I don't have any right to say any different. What's done is done. Before, no, me and... before we re-entered that mirror, Lonnie said something to me. She pulled me aside and she told me it's about time I found a treasure. And then she just smiled. She was prepared even back then. How could I find a treasure in this shithole of a tower? 
He puts his fist into Hugo's chest. It's exactly why we have to search for one. We're not done. Remember the promise we made to each other. There's still people we gotta help. There's still things we can craft, and if we stop now, then you're doing a disservice to what Lonnie told you in the first place. He nods. And he just like kind of like pats him on the back of gravity. It's okay, you go. I'll always be here for you. And then as you get up, he like grabs your arm. Same. You see like a tear roll down Wu's face. Glad we met, bro. And he walks off. And when you walk off, he kind of sits there for a moment with the figurine in his hands. And he looks up at the door, back at the figurine, and he kind of like stuffs it away. And then he leaves. Eden, what are you doing? Um, This would not take place the same day, but she'd, she'd come mm -hmm. by you know, on a subsequent day and she'll just lightly knock on Hugo's door. Come in. Hey, Hugo. Eden. Do you remember, um... I told you I had a piece of wood that I'd like you to look at. Maybe... Try to restore one side of it. Yeah. Mr. Woodworker and all. She sees all like the sawdust from the carvings and everything on the floor. <laughs> She'll pull open her inventory and get her quiver and pull open the little special secret compartment and pull the piece of wood out from the bridge. He holds his hand out. She'll place it in it. He like gently holds it. It's a little rotted. Nothing that can't be fixed. <laughs> You're good at fixing things, Hugo. If you have the time, I'd appreciate it. I'm good at fixing things? You are. He like looks back down. I'll get this to you when I can. It's no rush, just... Take care of the other side. She looked like her, you know. The hey. lady who ran my orphanage. She reminds me so much of Ace. You want to hear a crazy thought of mine? Yeah. When we get off this train, wherever we end up, maybe our new mission can be to get Ace out of ice here. I'm down. She doesn't need to be a caged animal. A team can. get Leaf back and we can go do that. I'll be here. Sounds good. And you can tell he like turns back to the wood and you can tell he wants to get started on this soon. She'll just quietly close the door and be on her way. And then Jong and Chiyoung. It's like a similar position, Jong, where she's in the training room. You can tell she's been training, but she's like, le she's like kind of leaning over and looking at something that she kind of tucks away. Hey. Jong walks in. He drops a clipboard in front of her with a piece of paper on it. All right. 
Let's get started. Um, on, on, on what? You don't remember? Oh, well, this makes things awkward for me. Our leader, vice leader review. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> she smiles. All right, I figure I'll let you start this time. Yeah. Let me have it. I can take it. Good and bad. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You sure? Because I don't mince words, as you know. But maybe start with the good. Ease me mm, in. Okay, mm. okay. Well, the good is you've been trying, so that's good. Trying is good. Okay, okay. Now let's get on to the bad. She like pulls up a chair. Ready? Wait, hold on. I gotta sit up for this. <sighs> All right. And she just starts like listing things off, and she starts kind of like going back and forth with you for a bit, and uh, laughing with you for a while. But after she reads off some some bad things, she says. I couldn't have imagined we'd be here. Second floor. Now we're about to get to the last station. With you at the helm. We've been through so much. And we're gonna go through so much more. But I feel ready to take on anything. If we could conquer this hell train, we can conquer anything. Well said. All right, now it's my turn to review you as huh? the vice leader. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, let's see. I, uh, um, I'll just do you the same favor you did me. Start with the good. Um, you're um, a very strong fighter, very capable, easily one of the most dependable people that I can pick in a fight. Um, you're usually not too biased. You know how to pick the side that's right rather than the side you want, which is good. That's the kind of thing you need in a vice leader, someone to kind of check and balance you. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, the bad. Um, you can be stubborn, like really stubborn. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes it does make me think, huh. And then he stops. Make you think what? It makes me think. I kind of like that she's stubborn. makes me think that maybe if I had somebody as the vice captain that was just always saying yes and always agreeing with me, who knows how complacent I'd get. But it also makes me think that if I have to go through any more of this hell, Definitely will. I sure am glad to have. Then he puts his hand on her shoulder. So glad to have a friend like you. She like grabs your hand. I wouldn't have it any other way. And then she like kind of pauses for a minute. But you were, uh, <clears throat> you were in the middle of something, right? Hmm? Um. <laughs> she just smiles. Yeah? The, the rating of me as a vice leader. Oh, right, right, right. And he picks up the clipboard that he was holding. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's funny. Uh, there's actually not really anything on this paper. Um, and he starts, like, 
looking as if he's trying to find something on the on the clipboard or the paper. Oh, jeez, I think I grabbed the blank one, but you know what? That tends to happen. It's been a hellish week, to put it lightly. Um, yeah. I'm sure I have the other one laying around, but you know what? We can just, uh, we can forget it. I'll let you off the hook with the A+. Plus. I'll take it. A+. Plus. Scheduled meeting again in a week? Hmm. Schedule might be packed in a week, but, uh... And then Joan grabs, like, her wrist, and he pulls her in, and he puts his hand on the back of her head, and just pulls her in for a hug. Kind of, like, it, very similar, at least with his body posture, the way he hugged her at the end of his purification. But I will always make time for you. She returns the hug, and you kind of just stay there for a while. Not really caring about the time. Okay. After months, a few months passing by, taking tests, passing trials, Sticking together as a group. You finally hear the announcement that you are approaching the last station on the 44th floor. In just a few minutes, you'll be off of this hell train. Duke and the others, they're in the room, kind of prepping over in a corner. Hugo is making sure everything's all right. Before you get off, he goes over to you, Eden, and he hands you the board. I uh, tried my best. And you can see it's, like, in as perfect condition as you could ask for. <laughs> he tried his best. I, it's, I you know it's not great, fine. but... Uh, you know. You, Hugo, you did great. Truly. What does it say, Joseph? <laughs> Wait, hold on. You just wanted him to restore it, right? Yeah, restore the name on the other side. Right, right, right. I see. You're saying the name. Yeah, so written across What's it. What's the name <laughs> on the other side? <laughs> so... Just to clarify, I want to make sure we're on the same page here. Oh, I want to make sure I'm on the same page here. <laughs> I don't want to, yeah, I don't uh -huh. want to, you know, you got I'm this ready, from I'm the ready bridge. for more just mm -hmm. And what was there previously, right? Yeah. The only part you could make out was? Nari. Okay. Good. Yeah. Making sure we're on the same page. So when he hands you the restored wood, you can definitely tell there's there's like a slight dip. You can tell what part is like a little bit refurbished, you know, and, and such. But he tried his best to kind of bring it all together. You see Hanari Jihad. Oh, so there was no name on the other side. Okay. Right. I tried my best. You did great. Thank and he, you. He kind of points. I noticed a little bit of something over here. And he points, and you can tell that there's like, the wood was kind of, there was a part that was kind of unsalvageable, where uh, he kind of speculates there may have been something. But uh, as far as her name goes, he restored it all. Um, I think it's a, an NG here at the end. NG. NG, finishing off this word. Hmm. Well, don't know what that could be. Sorry, I wish I could have done more. No. I appreciate what you did. 
nods. Just tuck it back in her, her quiver that's now affixed to the side of her leg. Mm-hmm. And uh, just kind of wander away. All right, everybody. It's time we leave this godforsaken train behind. Let's go. Oh, last station I heard it's like a resort. This is gonna be nice. Come on, everybody. She's like clapping. Come on. And I actually quite enjoyed the train. <laughs> I, I enjoyed not having to move around. <laughs> sand. <laughs> sand. What about that sand, Other Joe? Quite frankly, sand is rough and coarse. And mm -hmm. We'll get to everywhere. <laughs> we, we made it. We're, we're so freaking back, dude. We made it. We made it. We made it. Um. Oh, man. Sorry. And there's a moment where uh, Shion's kind of looking at her notes. Oh, whoops. That should not have happened. We were on the train for two years, four months. Not bad, considering how many floors we climbed. Good job, everybody. All right. Fresh air smells like. Me too. Being in a train so long. Now, Eden, now that you're kind of like, you're getting closer to the designated exit of this train, and uh, you notice that like any normal person, like, right? Like the closer you get, there's like uh, the necklace that you have is like getting warm, like hot. It's like hot. To the point where like, if you weren't fire resistant, it might be like burning your skin. It's like, you know, the closer you get to the outside, it's, like, really, really hot. Mm. All right, everybody. And there's, like, a countdown on the door. It's time to leave. Let's go. Five. Four. And she, like, looks so excited. Yeah, wait. Hmm? Do you, Joe, do you have her other arm? No, I don't. I'm sorry. I know. Okay, Guys, okay. next week, we're going to have something different here. So, I look forward to that. I'm sorry. I know. I, I didn't even. Well, it's okay. Very good. What was that, Damien? So this was a resort? The last station, yeah. Oh. It's not a resort, bro. <laughs> wait, oh. wait, wait, what do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean it's not a resort? <laughs> oh, maybe, maybe this next floor is going to be easy, you guys. What do you think? Uh, I think you're ridiculous if you think the tower is going to just suddenly take a break on us. I'm ridiculous, but I don't think I'm far off. Can we just go? There's a Five, few things we got to four... Of. Three, yeah, yeah, we're getting two, there. and the doors, <laughs> they open up, revealing... Play the Friends theme song. <laughs> Thanks, Damien. No problem. And as the Friends theme song plays, you see this long, grand, wide staircase leading down into the last station below. But someone is standing right outside the door. I sure hope it's not Mila. It's not, it's not Miller. It's not Miller. Oh, good. Thank God. That would be awkward. Drop your weapons. Oh, damn. Dusk and dawn await oh, right outside oh, the door. <laughs> I'm with you, Isaiah. Oh, my oh, gosh. My dude, go the fuck up. Oh, <laughs> this is it. Nah. I say, R &R. drop your weapons. We need to charge them immediately. And you can Rock see <laughs> really quick, real hot. Okay, let me just jump, jump, let me let me just you can do that. I just want to explain the situation a bit more clearly, okay? Not only is it dusk and dawn, but behind them, Damien, you see Lonzo and Mr. Balloon from Train City. And oh, Lonzo is there oh with a club in his hand, like looking at are you, you absolutely shaking his head. <laughs> what the hell are you talking about? You're not kidding. <laughs> we may have what? encountered the final boss. And they're they're waiting behind them. You see the rest of the Dusk and Dawn team. You see Jennifer and all the rest of them. Oh, that's right. We didn't kill them. Oh, bro. We need to have time. I said, bro. drop. Should have made time to kill them. I said, we'll drop. Really quick. Let's just. We're almost <laughs> sorry, there, guys. Sorry. Let's stay. In, let's N stay. NGL. We're guys, so Blue close. Boy is kind of a raid boss. <laughs> <laughs> bro, don't test. Okay. Me. Let's stay on track. Dusk and Dawn, we'll say it one more time. Drop your, and then somebody comes in from the side wearing a cloak. You don't see their face, but they crash into Dusk and Dawn at top speed. And suddenly, oh, Dusk and Dawn, they're no longer blocking your way, and chaos oh. is about to be created. The person in the hood says,
come on, let's go! And suddenly, more people in the hoods start arriving onto the scene, and there's a big fight breaking out amongst all the regulars waiting for you outside the train. It's like Damn, chaos. He takes, to, he takes his minute to turn to Damien. Still think this floor is gonna be easy? I could do it, you know. <laughs> oh, no, 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 she has a little smirk. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, you oh, see, no. like, weapons being tossed around, you see Shinsu flying, and one person so in a hood says, Go, 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 come on! And they're leading you out of the train, everybody. And they start running down the stairs with you, and there's a moment where, like, somebody tries to attack, and they just punch them in the face, knock them out, and they're leading you down the stairs as fast as they can. Everybody's keeping up, and these hooded figures are doing their best to keep the crowd at bay, and there's chaos. And as you continue running down and running more and more and more, and as you look back and see the chaos, Eden. Keep in mind, Eden never met Tusk and Dawn. She just saw <laughs> she was like, the train. How'd they get on the train? We got gold knight, we got like, silver. Who the fuck are these people? <laughs> Who's this impersonation silly on guy? She's like, what in the world? It's like, oh. Surprise, people hate us. <laughs> no. <laughs> we had a, it was a thing. We forgot to tell but, you. I'm sorry. But, but, but as you make your <laughs> way. No idea. But as you make your way down the stairs, it ends up being one main person kind of leading you down in their hood, running. And they're like looking back to make sure you're keeping up. And then as you look behind, you look forward, they turn a couple corners. We're almost there, he says as he leads you further. Wait, what the hell are you doing here? Hmm? Who says? And then Eden, somebody grabs your hand. The person dashes over to you and grabs your hand. We're almost there, come on! And he's pulling you forward. Ooh, there's a strong urge to not punch this person. She does not want to be touched by random oh. people. Oh. And like, then once you say, make your I would way, say her skin gets really hot. Like, it's a familiar mm. feeling because oh. then once you make your oh. way away from the crowd, he turns around and the hood falls. Hey guys, did you miss me? And he turns around, holding his hand out towards you. And that's where we end. The episode, Eden, with your necklace like an inferno blazing into your skin. I could do it, you guys. <laughs> God damn it, David. <laughs> Not the, no! Not the right. <laughs> I knew, dude, I knew this as, yeah. soon, as, you, as soon as you started to speak. The inflection in your voice gave that shit away. Oh, uh huh. Well, I like, oh, I know that voice. We're so freaking back, bro. All right. Well, I think it's fair to say this was crazy. This was an episode. And next week, we have one last episode before we take our holiday break. So if you want to know what happens next, be here next episode for on Friday. Oh, man. I, I. There was a lot that happened today. There was so much. This was our longest episode yet, I think. And uh, I think we needed it after such a long and crazy arc. Yeah, I'm very, very excited, man. And uh, I'll be very active in the Discord because there's a lot to talk about. Anybody want to say any thoughts from the cast? We wrapped up the arc. We're done, dude. The arc is over. I have a thought. The next lie, time you, you put anything in the Discord about no spoilers, I'm not attending the episode. <laughs> I just won't say it anymore then. I will say, this episode could have gone so many different places. And um, it went this way. And, and uh, I'm honestly, I'm happy, man. I'm happy. This was so crazy. And I want to thank the cast for being here for, for this many episodes. You know what I mean? It's crazy. But, um, yeah. If you have questions about freaking, you know, everything you just saw, next week, definitely be here. We're going to have a nice, a nice episode. And I, I, I'm okay to say it. it'll be like a nice in-between chill episode. I know we just ended with chaos. I don't believe I you I swear, I swear, prepare, grab your swimsuits. We're, we're, we're going to, we're going to take a break. We're going to take a chill I've next episode. I've been cliffhanged. Again. So be there. I have been or scarred be this square. episode. I don't mm, I don't trust you. Be there or be square. Um yeah. I look like Minecraft Steve. <laughs> <laughs> I'm all the squares. You're all the squares all at once.
Thank you guys so, so much. Chat, you've been so nice too. Uh, we will see you in the Discord and we'll see you next Friday. That's what we'll say. Take care, everybody. Have a great night. Bye, bye everyone. Wow, are we with I also yeah, want to well, say, I want to thank Satellite for the uh, art of Duke and his team. Thank you to Satellite for uh, oh, Satellite, collaborating let's on that. Go! And huge thank you to your Reno, who's been working like overtime for uh, these episodes. <laughs> Seriously. Thank you guys. All right. Bye, everybody. Yes. See you next week. Ta-ta. Love the artists. Love you guys. Bye. Ta -ta. Take care. Take care. Bye-bye.